Mei Jun looked at those stalks of tier three orchid heart flowers and involuntarily frowned, showing a pondering look. Elder Mei, if we didn't have Yi Yuan, we wouldn't even have gotten a single stalk of tier three orchid heart flower. He only took five stalks, which isn't considered much. Mo Yuntian saw Mei Jun frown and hastily went up to say. Mei Jun was stupefied, then smiled bitterly and said, Where did that come? From, Yun Tian? I'm not grumbling that Yi Yuan got too many, but because I feel, that it's too little. It's just that I can't really make a decision on this. That's why I hesitated. When he finished speaking, he turned to Yi Yuan and said, How about this? I'll keep the rest of the tier 3 orchid heart flowers first. After returning, I'll report to Sect Master about today's events and request him to give you some more stocks. But Yi Yuan waved his hands and said, No need. Five stocks are enough. Quickly harvest them, Elder Mei. We should set off already. With Yi Yuan saying this, Mei Zhen continuing to insist appeared rather corny. He could only put away the remainder tier 3 orchid heart flowers. This tier 3 orchid heart flower was a core ingredient in a tier 3 cultivation. Medicinal pill, the essence stabilizing pill. Five stalks of tier three orchid. Heart flowers were enough to refine a hundred pills to Yi Yuan. It was plenty to use in the short term. Only after gathering the tier three orchid heart flowers did the tranquil cloud. Sect groups start advancing towards the depths of the mystic realm. Having gone through the Montu Flower Sea incident, the group did not dare to lower their guard again. They were on high alert the entire way. Fortunately, nothing major happened. Rather, it was Yi Yuan's discerning eyes that discovered pearls. He even obtained some rather rare tier 2 medicinal herbs along the way. But ever since the Orchid Heart Flower Sea, they did not encounter any more. Tier 3 Medicinal Herbs On the way, Ti Wujo who was silent the whole time suddenly asked Yi Yuan, Junior Apprentice Brother Yi, you previously said that this Montu flower is a grafting object. Doesn't this mean that that sea of flowers has an owner? Could it be that this mystic realm? With Ti Wujo saying this, all of them include Mei Jun was stunned. Speechless. Using Montu flowers to breed tier 3 orchid heart flowers, this was a huge expenditure. And this was even still the outermost boundary of the mystic realm. Li Zhangyu also said that there were even many tier 4 medicinal herbs in this mystic realm. If this mystic realm really had an owner, then everyone would be in danger. Faction that could create such a spectacle was likely even more powerful than the Heavenly Sky Sect. Previously when everybody was listening to Yi Yuan talk about this tier 3 orchid heart flower, their minds were in a state of shock, resulting in them overlooking this issue. Thinking about it now, the group could not stop breaking out in cold sweat. Could such a powerful influence actually be hidden in this southern domain? Territory? Yi Yuan smiled and said, Senior Apprentice Brother Wujo's thinking is indeed meticulous. This place indeed had a master in the past. However, that should be something a long time ago. Listening to the first half of Yi Yuan's sentence, everybody's heart involuntarily jumped. They only relaxed after hearing the second half. Except, the strong contrast unwittingly left everyone feeling out of breath. How do you know, Junior Apprentice Brother Yi? Di Stai Vuyu inquired. After ranked medicinal herbs absorb sufficient essence energy, they will reach a level of saturation. The essence energy in this place is abundant. That's why it can sustain the medicinal herb state of maturity. But those, Familiar with medicinal herbs can tell the difference in the herb's age. These tier 3 orchid heart flowers probably has the age of several thousand years. Already, if this place had an owner, it's impossible to leave these tier 3 orchid heart flowers unchecked to fall into disuse for such a long time. Yi Yuan explained. Yi Yuan's degree of familiarity towards medicinal herbs was hard to imagine by everyone. He only had to observe slightly to be able to tell the age of these. Tier 3 Orchid Heart Flowers. That was why he was so certain. Moreover, this place has clearly been deserted for a long time. Overgrown with all sorts of weed, and demonic beasts run wild. 
is absolutely not a land with a master. If my conjectures are correct, this place might be some sex medicinal garden back then. It's just that who knows what kind of accident befall the sect, resulting in it being deserted like this. The sect should be much more powerful than the present heavenly sky sect. Ye Yuan uttered his own conjectures. Mei Zhen and the rest nodded their heads quietly when they heard it. This analysis was perfectly logical and reasonable, and it also dispelled their apprehension. Ever since entering the mystic realm, unknowingly, everyone had already regarded Yi Yuan as the backbone. When encountering anything, the first thing they thought of was not to seek advice from Mei Zhen but to ask Yi Yuan. But the strange thing was that nobody felt that this was inappropriate, including Mei Zhen himself. The tranquil cloud sect group did not move quickly. After two days, they arrived at a dense forest. Quickly look, isn't that a tier four medicinal herb, the vermilion lotus? Ice heart fruit? A tranquil cloud sect disciple cried out in surprise when he saw the bright red fruit not far away. Tier 4 medicinal herbs belong to items of strategic significance to the major sects in the southern domain. Even the heavenly sky sect would also have bloodshot eyes when seeing tier 4 medicinal herbs. Previously, Sky Maple practically expended all of Tranquil Cloud sect's tier 4 medicinal herbs in order to refine the seven profound soul driving pill. This was also the reason why the pressure on him was enormous like a mountain. Seeing the Tier 4 medicinal herb currently, it was hard for the Tranquil Cloud. Sect disciples to not feel agitated. That disciple was about to pluck it while talking when he was held back by Yi. Yuan. Senior apprentice brother Pang. Don't go over. Yi Yuan said gravely. What? Senior apprentice brother Pang froze and involuntarily broke into a cold sweat. On the way, under Yi Yuan's lead, they had already avoided several certain death scenarios. So upon seeing Yi Yuan stop him, senior apprentice brother Pang instantly realized his recklessness as cold sweat poured unceasingly. This mystic realm was indeed just as the heavenly sky sect said there were natural treasures everywhere. But to want to obtain these natural treasures, one had to pay the price in blood. These two days, the tranquil cloud sect group also encountered many quasi tier for medicinal herbs along the way, but not one of these medicinal herbs. Surroundings was not abnormally dangerous, even for crystal formation realm martial artists, a moment of carelessness would result in death at the scene. But Yi Yuan lead everyone time and time again, avoiding the dangers. So up, until now, the tranquil cloud sect did not lose a single man. In the beginning, they were still somewhat disapproving of Yi Yuan stopping. Everyone from harvesting the medicinal herbs. Yi Yuan even utilized the cleansing sandal flame lotus avatar body because of this to probe multiple times. But the results made everybody's hair stand on. It ends. After several times, everyone knew just how great the significance of Yi Yuan's existence was. If they did not have Yi Yuan, they would probably have to lose half their forces in just these two days. This would be an unbearable blow to the Tranquil Cloud Sect. Yi Yuan was extremely familiar with these medicinal herbs characteristics. Some medicinal herbs had accompanying beasts, some had accompanying toxic entities. One careless move and they would succumb to it. When senior apprentice brother Pan got excited seeing the tier 4 medicinal herb just now, he almost forgot the dangers previously and threw himself headfirst. Vermilion Lotus Ice Heart Fruits have a type of accompanying demonic beasts called Seven Colored Poison Spider. Its toxicity is extremely ferocious. Furthermore, the poison spider's size is very small, exceedingly difficult to detect. If one were carelessly bitten by it, Crystal Formation Realm Marshal. Artists would perish from the eruption of the poison within several breaths of time. Yi Yuan said solemnly. Senior apprentice brother Pan sucked in a cold breath. Cold sweat started, pouring once more uncontrollably. Who's there? Right then, Meijin suddenly roared. This brat is indeed quite abnormal to actually even know about this poison. Spider. Eh, you guys actually haven't lost a single man until now. 
Looks like it's all due to this boy's credit. Hey, I already said before, boy, don't bump into me in the mystic realm. Wang Fan. Several silhouettes appeared from the neighboring forest. When Mei Jin saw people coming, his brows involuntarily knitted together. Wang Fan and Yu Feng brought the High Clarity Sect group out of the dense forest, their faces showing amusement like they had the Tranquil Cloud Sect within their grasp. To think that we met so soon. What a coincidence. Wang Fan said with a cold laugh. Meijin snorted and said, Wang Fan, I advise you to better not clash with. Otherwise, let's fight to the bitter end. You guys won't be able to get any benefits either. But Wang Fan burst into laughter and said, Bitter end? With the likes of you, your tranquil cloud sect even brought a seventh level spirit condensation. Realm disciple out to present a show. Are you even fit to fight to the bitter? End with our high clarity sect. However, although this punk's realm isn't high, he is extremely abnormal to even know about the seven colored poison. Spider. Just a while back, we even lost a fifth level crystal formation realm. Disciple for the sake of harvesting this vermilion lotus ice heart fruit. But you all are actually completely unscathed up till now. Wang Fan took it all into his eyes, the tranquil cloud sex groups. Performance earlier. If not for Yi Yuan holding back that senior apprentice brother Pang, his outcome now would definitely be the same as that disciple of theirs. The high clarity sect beat the tranquil cloud sect to this place but lost a fifth level crystal formation realm disciple. One could call it heavy losses. They were currently thinking of ways to harvest the vermilion lotus ice heart flower when they just happened to see the tranquil cloud sect people coming over. Hence, they found a place to hide, wanting to see the tranquil cloud sect suffer a huge loss too. That senior apprentice brother Pang was about to rush up when he was forcefully held back by Yi Yuan. These two days, two disciples already died on their side. Could be said to be heavy losses. In contrast, seeing how the tranquil cloud sect team looked exactly the same as they were when they entered made Wang Fan inadvertently furious. This sort of contrast between expectations and reality made Wang Fan even more displeased when looking at Yi Yuan. Looking at the situation earlier, this boy truly had many abnormal areas. Humph! After entering this mystic realm, life and death are up to fate. Your disciples died, but you can't put this blame on our heads. Right? Meijin snorted icily. So what if we lay it on you? When we just entered the mystic realm, if this punk just gave a light reminder, we wouldn't have lost a disciple in vain too. Do you feel whether we should put this score on your heads or not? Mei Zhen involuntarily choked up. But Yi Yuan said, What duty do I have to remind you? Even if I reminded you, will you be grateful to me? Will you not find trouble with me now? Having experienced several interactions, Yi Yuan had long seen through this. Wang Fan's character. He was simply some loose principle person without any bottom line. Even if he reminded the high clarity sect when he entered the mystic realm, it would also be the same situation right now. This type of people basically did not know what was called gratitude. Ha ha ha. I said before, you, boy, your bones are very tough. Previously. Outside the mystic realm, I let you escape a calamity. Now no one is going to step forward to mediate, right? Wang Fan laughed maniacally. Mei Zhen's expression turned grave, and he said somberly, Wang Fan, don't push us too far. But Wang Fan paid no attention. He said to Mei Zhen, Mei Zhen, I give you all a chance. Hand over that boy and I'll let you leave. Otherwise, none of you shall escape. In Wang Fan's view, they had two sea transformation realm experts over on their side while the other party only had Mei Jin alone. The disparity between both parties' strength was too great. The tranquil cloud sect simply stood no chance at all. Mei Jin's realm was similar to his both third level sea transformation realm. As long as he delayed Mei Jin, Yu Feng could freely reap the rest. Under such an enormous difference in strength, the Tranquil Cloud Sect team could only hand over Yi Yuan if they wanted to live.
Wang Fan did not know that the target they previously robbed was currently observing everything not far off. If Yi Yuan were here, he probably would not be able to recognize that these two women with unparalleled looks were the two people he saved. How did the current Liur and Yenner still had any hint of ugliness right now? Ignoring Liur, even Yenner who was a servant was soul-stirringly beautiful. As for Liur, it was simply impossible to find words to describe. If one had to describe it, they could only say such beauty should only belong to the heavens and not the mortal realm. But currently, Yi Yuan was completely oblivious to this. Miss, it seems like they are going to fight over there. Should we help save? Mr. Yi. Yenner transmitted. Lear shook her head and said, Watch a while more. Still watching? Mr. Yi is only at the seventh level spirit condensation. Realm. Once they fight, he will be instantly killed in a single move. Yi Yuan gave the Divine Soul Mystic Art and Tier 8 Medicinal Pill to Lear. With any hesitation, this improved Yenner's impression towards Yi Yuan, tremendously and genuinely treating him as a savior. So when she saw that Yi Yuan was in danger, she could not wait to lend a helping hand. In truth, with the pair's strength, they did not need Yi Yuan's saving at all. On the contrary, Yi Yuan's appearance saved Wang Fan and his group instead. If Yi Yuan did not show up at that time, this group from the High Clarity Sect would most likely already end up as a feast in the stomachs of the Cloud Dream. Mountain range right now. Liur and Yenner did not wish to reveal their strength. That was why they purposely pretended to be Crystal Formation Realm martial artists. Even the Sea Transformation Realm Wang Fan and Mei Zhan were unable to see. Through Liur and Yenner's strength, one could see just how powerful they were. So when Yi Yuan saved them both, master and servant, Liur was still all right, but Yenner did not welcome it at all. One had to say that she was even more curious that a spirit condensation realm. Martial artist actually rescued them master and servant without any traces. From a bunch of sea transformation realm and crystal formation realm martial artists. But after Yi Yuan perceived Liur's ailment, Yenner's thoughts were completely turned around. It's fine. If Mr. Yi is really in danger, I'll make a move in time. Identities are special. We mustn't make a move easily unless there are no other alternatives. Moreover, I also really want to see just where Mr. Yez. Limit lies, Lear said composedly. But Yenner was not very supportive as she said. I know that Mr. Yi is kind of special, but what kind of limits can a seventh level spirit condensation? Realm martial artist reach even if he's strong. Lear broke into a smile, her beauty unequaled. That might not be so. I keep feeling that he's extraordinary. All right, all right. Ever since that person left, it's rare to see Miss Peso. Much attention to something. Do whatever that makes you happy then. Yenner realized that she misspoke after she finished talking and involuntarily stuck her tongue out playfully, appearing embarrassed. A hint of sorrow flickered across Lear's beautiful eyes. She shot Yenner a fierce glare and no longer bothered with her. Mei Zhen gave Yi Yuan a glance and gritted his teeth as he said to Wang Fan, Since that's the case, then let's fight to the bitter end. Wang Fan was confused and even thought that he heard wrongly. He looked at Mei Zhen and the other tranquil cloud sect disciples and saw that. Their faces actually revealed resolved looks. Mei Zhen actually wanted to turn violent without even thinking. One had to know that even though their high clarity sect lost two crystal. Formation Realm Disciples, the power of Sea Transformation Realm was not something that Crystal Formation Realm martial artists could resist. Were this group of people from the Tranquil Cloud Sect daft? Everyone did not want their lives anymore for a seventh level spirit condensation realm? Wang Fan was completely ignorant of Yi Yuan's significance to the Tranquil Cloud Sect. I'll delay them. Yun Tian, you quickly bring them away. Mei Jin drew his sword and said without even turning his head back. Evidently, he already harbored the resolution to die and protect the others. Retreat. In Mei Zhan's heart, these disciples were all the sect's future. Any one of them was more important than him. 
He was only a sect elder without much room for improvement anymore, while these disciples were going to cause a stir in Southern Domain in the future. Yi Yuan was rather overcome with emotion when he saw such a situation. Although the tranquil cloud sect's strength was not great, their cohesiveness was very strong. The tranquil cloud sect had people like Luo Qingfeng, Xiao Jian, and Mei Jin. What was there to worry about not being able to charge back to the northern domain? It was fine if the sect declined. As long as the people's hearts did not scatter, there would eventually come a day where they would shine once again. The high clarity sect is a bunch of motley crew. Why is there a need to fight? To the death. Yi Yuan smiled calmly and wielded Songhua's sword with a wave of his hands. Once Wang Fan saw that Songhua's sword, the greed in his eyes could not be concealed anymore. 32 Restrictions Spirit Artifact Her her, Senior Mountain Shaker's eyes are pretty good. Yi Yuan mocked. Ha ha! Misfortune may actually be a blessing. Losing a stalk of crow orchid. Ganoderma but acquiring a 32 Restrictions Spirit Artifact, heaven really. Treats me well. Wang Fan cackled. Yi Yuan sneered and said, Don't crack your old teeth. Humph, razor-tongued brat. Watch if old me don't take apart your bones. Today, Wang Fan snorted coldly. Mei Jin panicked in his heart when he saw Yi Yuan not leaving and said, Yi, Yuan, you guys quickly go. They have two C transformation realm experts. You, all staying is courting death. Go? Can you leave? How could Wang Fan give him the opportunity? With a wave of his hands, his disciples encircled the tranquil cloud sect team. Mei Jun was exasperated that they failed to live up to his expectation when he saw the situation and said angrily, You guys! Sigh! But Yi Yuan had a nonchalant look as he transmitted his voice, saying, Calm! Down, Elder Mei Jun, just keeping watching. Sigh! Yi Yuan, I know that you're relying on that this place doesn't allow the existence of strength above the crystal formation realm. But even if it's peak crystal formation realm, you're also not a match. Mei Jin sighed. Yi Yuan smirked and said, Not necessarily. Yi Yuan took a step forward and said to Wang Fan, Senior Mountain Shaker, aren't you just trying to find trouble with me? How about this, let's have a one-on-one. -on -one. If you win, this sword is yours, and I'll be at your mercy. If you lose, let us leave. Wang Fan was stunned when he heard this. A spirit condensation realm. Challenging a sea transformation realm? Just now, he was still thinking that this boy was rather abnormal. Now it looks like he was simply a moron. Wang Fan did not even speak yet when Mei Jun involuntarily became very anxious and said, How can that do? Wang Fan, I'll duel with you. But Wang Fan ignored Mei Jun and guffawed loudly as he said, Boy, did your brain crash from fear, one on one with me? You aren't thinking that you're invincible because you're holding a 32 restrictions spirit artifact, right? When he said this, the high clarity side laughed unceasingly. Haha, -ha. so hilarious. I've grown so old and this is still the first time that I'm hearing a spirit condensation realm challenging a sea transformation. Realm. Did the brains of Tranquil Cloud Sex upper echelons go bad? They actually handed a 32 restrictions spirit artifact to a fool like this. Her her, they are teeming with spirit artifacts and came to deliver a spirit artifact to Elder Wong. Do you want to stop them? The group chimed in here and there and burst into laughter again. But Yi Yuan did not smile. His eyes were staunch as he said to Mei Jun, Elder Mei, just leave this place to me. You bring the seniors and retreat to the side. Seeing Yi Yuan's commanding gaze, not knowing why, Mei Jun swallowed the words that were at the tip of his tongue. Then, then you better be more careful. Mei Jun unexpectedly agreed. This whole trip, Yi Yuan had already unknowingly replaced Mei Jun's position and became the backbone of this trip for the Tranquil Cloud Sect. Even Mei Jun was unconsciously influenced too. Having convinced Mei Jun, Yi Yuan turned to Wang Fan and said, How is it? Do you dare? Wang Fan ridiculed when he saw the situation. Don't look at me with those 
Eyes. I'll really be a little scared. But, since you're so sincere, wouldn't I be too unamenable to not agree? Yi Yuan smiled when he heard this and said, Senior mountain shaker's true. Color indeed doesn't change. Your skin is as thick as always. Wang Fan was already used to Yi Yuan's tone and knew that he could not beat him in a contention of tongues so he might as well not argue. He looked at Songhua's sword in Yi Yuan's hands, his gaze sparkling. Don't say that I'm bullying you. I'll only use 10% of my strength to fight. With you. If you can beat me, then consider it your win. Wang Fan said with a cold smile. This was not Wang Fan boasting. He was at the third level C transformation. Realm. Even 10% of his strength was greater than ordinary ninth level crystal. Formation realms. Such strength was plenty to deal with a seventh level spirit condensation. Realm boy, if he were dealing with Mei Zhen, he would really need to fight seriously. But his opponent was Yi Yuan. Wang Fan honestly could not attach any importance to this, even if he knew that Yi Yuan surely had areas where he excelled in the enormous disparity in realms was simply insurmountable. Even if his opponent were a ninth level spirit condensation realm, he would win with certainty. As for dealing with a seventh level spirit condensation realm, there was basically no suspense, right? At this time, Wang Fan had the thought of playing cat and mouse. But Yi Yuan's eyes lit up when he heard him and said elatedly, You said it. Don't regret it when the time comes. You said you'll only use 10% strength. Wang Fan became even more amused when he saw Yi Yuan's appearance and deliberately assumed an expert's demeanor, saying, I'm a dignified high, clarity sect elder. Why would I renege on my word against a puny spirit? Condensation realm? You can rest assured. I said 10% means it's 10%. The people from the high clarity sect were whispering to each other on this. Sighed. Full of pity towards Yi Yuan. This fool, he isn't na. V enough to think that he can win just because elder. Wang is only using 10% of his strength, right? You look at his thrilled appearance, he definitely thinks so. When he experiences 10% of Elder Wang's strength in a while, he'll probably even have the intent to die, right? Hee <laughs> hee. There's a good show to watch. I really can't figure out why the Tranquil Cloud Sect would send such a fool to the Mystic Realm. The negotiations were set. Both parties each withdrew a distance away, clearing out a space for Yi Yuan and Wang Fan's face-off. Both parties stood there. Yi Yuan suddenly cracked a smile again and said, Senior Mountain Shaker, help someone all the way. Why not you allow me a move? Two. How about that? Wang Fan's eyes narrowed slightly. He looked at Yi Yuan disdainfully and said, Calmly, forget about one move. How about I allow you ten moves? Yi Yuan grinned and said, No need, no need. Why would I need so many? Just one move is ample. Yi Yuan's display incurred another bout of mocking laughter. Even Yen Er who was hiding secretly could not help having suspicions about Yi Yuan's IQ. Miss, I always felt that Mr. Yi was a wise person. But looking at it now, why does he seem very foolish and very na? The, the other person is a third. Level C transformation realm expert. Forget about allowing him one move. Even if he stood there unmoving, Mr. Ye's attack might not be able to penetrate his protective essence energy. Right? Yenner said. Lear likewise had a doubtful look. But since Yi Yuan was not in danger, she also played along with him. Watch a little longer. I feel that Mr. Yi is not somebody who is foolish. Mo Yuntian looked at Yi Yuan with scorching eyes. Only he knew Yi Yuan's greatest trump card in here. After Yi Yuan entered the Tranquil Cloud Sect, he had never exposed his strongest trump card before. Mo Yuntian knew that Yi Yuan was deliberately appearing weak to the enemy in order to win with one blow. But the problem was, would Wang Fan really stand there honestly and wait for Yi Yuan to release a mighty blow? That was a third level C transformation realm expert. An existence who could instantly wipe out spirit condensation realm martial artists with a wave of his hands. 
Wang Fan was not some rookie martial artist like Yao Qin. His combat strength was more than a level greater than Yao Qin's. Where did Yi Yuan's confidence come from? But the matter was already done. Thinking too much would not help. If Yi Yuan could not take him down, at the very most, everyone just fought to the death. Senior Mountain Shaker, are you ready? I'm attacking. Yi Yuan purposely shouted. Attack then. Why would I need to prepare to deal with you? Wang Fan scoffed. Her her. Since that's the case, then I won't be courteous. Senior Mountain. Shaker. Please receive this move. Finished talking, Yi Yuan became solemn. Songhua sword pointed at Wang Fan. The surrounding heaven and earth essence energy immediately produced a faint. Fluctuation. Wang Fan was initially still relaxed with a laid-back appearance. Sensing this sort of situation, his heart involuntarily jolted. It's not so sinister, right? Why would there be heaven and earth essence? Energy undulations? Could it be this boy's sword move? Wang Fan secretly pondered. See, transformation realm experts were much more sensitive to heaven and earth. Essence energy ripples than those crystal formation realms experts. That was why the other disciples had not reacted yet. When the high clarity sect disciples saw Yi Yuan put on a stance but there was no movement at all, there was another wave of mockery. Is this guy a joke sent by monkeys? Putting on a false front to scare a sea. Transformation realm expert. Ha ha. Elder Wang is also very happy from playing. This mystic realm is so dangerous. Relieving a little is good too. This fellow finally managed to win over the offensive and wasted it like this. Indeed, there are fools every year, but this year is especially plentiful. All shut up for me. The few of you are the fools. Yu Feng's heart also kept drumming. He seriously could not listen anymore. Hence, he asked them to stop. Those disciples could not help being befuddled. They could not figure out why. Elder Yu looked like he was confronted by a powerful enemy. But they understood very quickly. The heaven and earth essence energy undulations became increasingly stronger, gradually forming countless motes of light in midair. They looked like flowers, raining down from the skies. Wang Fan stared until his eyes became wide saucers. How could such a horrifying sword move appear on a spirit condensation realm? Martial artist? Also, why could a spirit condensation realm martial artist mobilize heaven and earth essence energy? Wasn't this ability unique to see transformation realm? Experts, although this move did not finish forming yet, Wang Fan dared to confirm that. Once this move was completed, it could absolutely cause tremendous injury to him. A spirit condensation realm martial artists could hurt a sea transformation. Realm martial artist. What kind of joke was this? In the hidden place, when Lier and Yenner saw this scene, their faces similarly changed drastically. The astoundment in their hearts could not be any greater, except the reason for their astonishment was completely different from Wang. Then, others could not see through the realm of this move from Yi Yuan, but Li and Yenner could understand. Supreme true intent. Miss is that. Is that. Supreme true intent. Yenner cried out in shock first, then was somewhat uncertain towards the end. How could something like supreme true intent appear on a spirit condensation? Realm martial artist? Lier's beautiful eyes wandered. Shock likewise written all over her face. She only sucked in a deep breath after a long while and replied Yenner. It's indeed the elementary form of supreme true intent. The sword move already took the form of power showing that his comprehension towards supreme true. Intent has already taken not a small step. If Mr. Yi and that person's cultivation realm was similar, no, as long as he has late-stage crystal. Formation strength, instantly killing that person is not an issue. There was an extremely huge gap between crystal formation realm and C. Transformation realm. One could see how high Lier's appraisal of Yi Yuan was. But Mr. Yi is only at the crystal formation realm. How can he grasp? Supreme true intent. Yenner still felt that she did not dare quite believe. Lear sighed and said, 
I guessed that Mr. Yi surely had some trump card, but I didn't think that his trump card was actually a supreme true intent. This trump card is too unexpected. Mr. Yi He will definitely be a figure who shakes the divine realm in the future. In the era where divine Tao dwindled to zero, supreme true intent was the paramount profound meaning. The earlier one grasped supreme true intent, the more supreme true intense one could grasp, the greater the accomplishments of the martial artist as well. But even among the divine realm's major factions, it was already pretty impressive for those peerless geniuses to be able to comprehend the elementary form of supreme true intent in the sea transformation realm. It was unheard of for spirit condensation realm martial artists to be able to comprehend the elementary form of supreme true intent. The spots of light filling the skies caused everyone's hearts to palpitate, especially those from the high clarity sect. They only knew now that they were the clowns. Just this move was sufficient to instantly kill anyone beneath sea. Transformation Realm Azure Dipper Floating Zero Sword Art Thousand Flowing Petals Attack! With a light cry from Yi Yuan, countless petals swept over towards Wang Fan. How could Wang Fan bother with whatever conduct of an expert right now? The petals-filled skies sealed all of his escape routes shut. If he still did not make a move, it would at the very least be the outcome of heavily wounded. 10% strength? Screw his mother's 10% strength. Wang Fan used his fingers as a sword, activating the high clarity imperial. Reverence law. He bellowed. Five lighting dipper law. Break for me. Only to see electric arcs pervading around Wang Fan. The aura belonging to a sea transformation realm was exhibited beyond doubt. When the floating petals touched those electric arcs, they vanished abruptly. With any traces, it actually could not approach his body. Wang Fan sneered and said, Boy, you really have some capabilities. If your realm is similar to mine, this move is sufficient to instantly kill me. But, sadly, I won't give you this chance. Yi Yuan's expression changed drastically when he saw the situation. And he rebuked furiously. You deceitful person. You said that you would only use 10%. Strength in front of so many people earlier. Now, you actually reneged. Wang Fan roared with laughter and said, Young man, you're too na. In the martial arts world, the victor becomes king and the loser a bandit. Only the victor can laugh to the very end. So, go and die. Five lightning dipper. Law go. Wang Fan tapped with his sword finger. An extremely horrifying flow of Electric current directly tore through the air and attacked Yi Yuan. But just when everyone thought that Yi Yuan was dead for sure, the wind and clouds suddenly changed. It was originally a stretch of cloudless blue skies within the mystic realm. Presently, a stretch of dark clouds suddenly gathered on top of Wang Fan, and that electric arc he fired out dissipated into nothing just like that. Halfway through, virtually in the same instant that the dark clouds amassed, an exceedingly terrifying pressure came from the skies. Even as a sea transformation realm expert, Wang Fan felt asphyxiated too. W what's going on? What happened? Why? Why did my attack vanish? Not knowingly why, a foreboding premonition suddenly birthed in Wang Fan's heart, resulting in him stammering even when talking. By the side, when Yu Feng saw that bundle of dark clouds, his expression changed even more. H. Heavenly Tribulation? Why did Heavenly Tribulation? Here, Sage Asterisk T. Senior Apprentice Brother Wang. Quickly dodge. Yi Yuan looked at Wang Fan who was opposite and said with a slight smile, Senior Mountain Shaker. Goodbye. Yi Yuan won't be seeing you out. The pressure in the air became increasingly more powerful. Wang Fan's Expression also became increasingly uglier. That mass of dark clouds clearly came for him. Especially when he saw Yi Yuan's derisive eyes. He spontaneously had a feeling of being played. It was crystal clear that Yi Yuan surely knew something. This damnable fellow talking about whatever one on one but in reality he was digging a pit for him to jump in. 
Malicious motives. Damn it. What did you do, punk? Wang Fan gnashed his teeth in hatred and said. Yi Yuan spread his hands and said, I didn't do anything. You're the one who did it. At this moment, the sense of crisis in Wang Fan's heart became ever more intense. He looked at Yi Yuan as he said through gnashed teeth, Who cares what you did? I'll kill you first then talk. As he spoke, Wang Fan's figure moved and arrived in front of Yi Yuan. Instantaneously, the five lightning dipper law was already useless then he might as well go. Closer. Rumble. A hint of ferociousness appeared on Wang Fan's face as he smashed Yi Yuan into. Meat paste. Ha ha. Asking for it. Now. Can't jump around anymore. Right? Wang Fan laughed. Madly. In? What are you doing, senior mountain shaker? If I were you, I'd better. Think of a way to extricate myself right now. Over on Tranquil Cloud Sex side. Another Yi Yuan appeared. Turned out that. That earlier was just an avatar body. Wang Fan's face changed. And he said in a low voice. Avatar body. But he no longer had time to be surprised. Right then, a coarse bolt of lightning suddenly released from the clouds, landing straight on Wang Fan's body. Everybody was dumbstruck by this scene. That bolt of lightning directly submerged Wang Fan. When the lightning disappeared and they looked over again, Wang Fan had already turned into charcoal and became completely silent. Wang Fan was actually unable to even give a tragic cry and was instantly wiped. Out like that. After the lightning fell, that mass of dark clouds dispersed very swiftly. As if it had never appeared. Yu Feng could not help shuddering when he saw this scene. The scene was really too astounding. This. What the hell happened here? Yu Feng murmured. He still had not figured out just where this heavenly tribulation came from. Until now. Yu Feng's gaze involuntarily turned towards Yi Yuan. That brat seemed to know something. Although Yi Yuan's thousand flowing petals was strong, his realm was too low. It was simply impossible to threaten Wang Fan. Recalling everything that happened previously, Yu Feng deeply felt that this so-called one-on-one -on -one just now was just a large pit trap. Yi Yuan, what did you do? The eyes Yu Feng looked at Yi Yuan with were filled with fear. Yes, a sea transformation realm expert was actually afraid of a spirit. Condensation realm martial artist. This boy was seriously too abnormal. Yi Yuan smiled and said, Think about it yourself. I don't have any duty to explain to you. Now, are you still going to take revenge for that senior? Mountain shaker. Yu Feng's expression changed. The fear in his eyes became even thicker. He simply could not understand what just happened. This boy was so sinister. What if he also got targeted by heavenly tribulation? In addition, with Wang Fan's death, their side strength fell drastically and was instead no longer tranquil cloud sex match. Take revenge for Wang Fan? You got to be kidding. Yu Feng ground his teeth and said to the disciples, Let's go. Seeing the high clarity sect people off with their gazes, the tranquil cloud sect group also heaved a sigh in relief. Tian Yu pounded a fist on Yi Yuan's chest and said delightedly, Heh! Punk! Didn't think you actually still had such a powerful killing move. If you used this move during the sect grand competition, even senior apprentice brother, Wu Jiu would not be your match. You're only at the seventh level spirit. Condensation realm and can actually communicate with heaven and earth essence. Energy. Truly too monstrous. As the saying went, no discord, no concord. After the sect grand competition. Last time where Tian Yu and Yi Yuan battled bitterly to the last trace of essence energy, they fought out a camaraderie. It was just that Tian Yu could never have imagined that Yi Yuan actually still had such an incredible killing blow that he did not unleash. He thought that that final blow from Yi Yuan back then was already his strongest attack. Yi Yuan smiled and said, this move is flashy without substance. Although it's power is great, the time it needs is too much. Unless it's a specific environment, it can't be used. If I want to use this move on the platform during the grand competition, will you give me the chance? Tianyu thought about it and nodded, saying, Haha, that's true. 
but even that final attack of yours was already sufficiently powerful. I Tian Yu have always praised myself as a genius, but today I'm utterly convinced by you to be able to comprehend the elementary form of true intent senior. Apprentice brother Tian Yu's future accomplishments are also limitless. Oh right, what in the world happened earlier? That was heavenly tribulation, Tian Yu asked rather uncertainly. With him asking, everybody perked up their ears. They also really wanted to know what happened just now. A sea transformation realm expert was instantly trounced in front of them. That sight was overly shocking. Yi Yuan shook his head and said, that wasn't heavenly tribulation, but the electrical energy released by a grand array. What? Grand array? You mean to say that we're currently inside a grand array? Tian Yu exclaimed. Yi Yuan nodded and said, That's right. I noticed it right after entering the mystic realm. This mystic realm is sealed off by a massive grand array. This grand array is called the heavenly thunder essence locking grand array. A type of high-grade Tier 5 Grand Array. Its power is immense. Everybody sucked in a cold breath. High-grade Tier 5 Grand Array formations were even a level stronger than the Tranquil Cloud Sex Sect protecting. Grand Array, Mo Yuntian suddenly thought of something and asked, You said to me before, the Tranquil Cloud Sect might become a Team Second only to the Heavenly Sky. Sect. Could it be derived from this Grand Array? Ye Yuan noted. He recounted the previous speculations for everyone, saying, Originally I was only guessing, but after entering the mystic realm I already confirmed it. That's why I had no fear. They were all unbelievably shocked when they heard it. Ye Yuan actually deduced so much information from a couple of words from Li Zhongyu. It was evident how scrupulous his thoughts were. What kind of grand array is this heavenly thunder essence locking grand array? What did Wang Fan do to trigger the grand array just now? Tian Yu asked. The heavenly thunder essence locking grand array can set up a corresponding realm. As long as there exists strength that surpasses this realm's strength, it will be obliterated by the grand array. And now the realm set by this grand array is Crystal Formation Realm. Ye Yuan ape line it. Everybody could not resist shooting another glance at the super dead Wang Fan. After listening to Ye Yuan's words, the power of this grand array was too terrifying. A third level C transformation realm expert was easily obliterated just like this. So you deliberately challenged Wang Fan just now and then forced him to use strength exceeding the crystal formation realm and from there eradicated by the grand array. Tian Yu marveled. Such a foe was too terrifying. Yi Yuan practically included everything in his calculations, playing with a sea transformation realm expert within the palm of his hands. More importantly, Yi Yuan really forced Wang Fan to use all of his strength. They could not help somewhat rejoicing that Yi Yuan was someone on their side. Having such an opponent was simply a nightmare. Miss, this Mr. Yi is too scary to actually comprehend the elementary form of supreme true intent at the seventh level spirit condensation realm. As long as he doesn't fall, he'll surely be a figure that shakes the divine realm in the future. This battle just now, Yenner watched for a long time with her mouth agape. The astonishment on her face would not fade away. Lier was similarly shocked beyond words. She muttered, Just who is he? Such talent. Even in the divine realm, he'll be a pinnacle existence. Why did he end up in a tiny little endless world? Yeah, the endless world is merely a very unremarkable one among the hundreds of millions of lower planes. Furthermore, how did Mr. Yi comprehend supreme true intent in a southern domain's tiny sect? This is simply something that cannot possibly happen. Lear smiled bitterly and said, I daren't believe it too. But this is the truth. Moreover, Mr. Ye's supreme true intent is rather powerful. This Mr. Yi is really an enigmatic existence. Yenner sighed with admiration. I didn't think that we'd actually bump into such a figure when we came to the endless world. 
Yenner, we're not going back anymore. I want to follow him to see what kind of secrets he has. If there's a possibility, let's form good relations with him. He'd be an extremely strong aide to the family clan in the future too. Lear seemed to have made some kind of resolution. But miss your ailment. Lear waved her hands and said, Doesn't matter. I have a feeling that maybe, for this illness of mine to cured, it will ultimately still fall on Mr. Yes head. Yenner opened her mouth wide and said, How is that possible? That's a tier eight. Pill formula. With Mr. Ye's realm, how long until he can refine it? Then how do you think Mr. Yi acquired the tier 8 pill formula with his? H. Lier retorted. This. How would Yenner know? That's why. This Mr. Ye's background is definitely complicated. All right. Enough talk. I've already decided. Lier said. With Wang Fan's death, the high clarity sex strength was weakened severely. Yufong was only a first-level C transformation realm. His strength was much weaker than Meijin. This entire journey here, the high clarity sect suffered heavy casualties and practically became a bottom-tier sect already. With the various great sects heading further in, the dangers they faced would become increasingly more. Progressing at this rate, the various great sects C transformation realm. Experts who did not know the inside story would more or less suffer some losses. In comparison, the tranquil cloud sex strength appeared stronger instead. This matter is done. We'd better hurry up and leave this place. Mei Zhen opened his mouth to say, Just a moment, Elder Mei. That vermilion lotus iceheart fruit is a tier four. Medicinal herb. Isn't abandoning it like this too much of pity? Yi Yuan said. Mei Zhen's eyes lit up. And he asked, You have a way, Yi Yuan? Yi Yuan grinned and said, Did Elder May forget? I have an avatar body. Mei Zhen slapped his head and said, Look at my brain. Then I'll have to trouble you, Yi Yuan. Yi Yuan smiled and nodded his head. His figure moved and suddenly split into two. Another Yi Yuan walked out from his body. When he was plucking the vermilion lotus ice heart fruit, indeed, a tiny multi, Colored gorgeous spider jumped on Yi Yuan's body. This poison spider was obviously here to attack Yi Yuan. Only to hear a whoosh. That poison spider was instantly burnt and dropped on the ground. It only struggled a few times and stopped moving. That was the tier 4 cleansing sandal sacred flame. Wasn't it courting death? For the seven colored poison spider to go and bite him? Keeping the vermilion lotus ice heart fruit, the group continued walking towards the deep regions of the mystic realm. After three days, Yufong and his team who fled with their tails between their legs were very cautious the entire way and no longer dared to have the slightest bit of carelessness preserving some strength to the best of their abilities. And Yufong also reflected a little at this time. When Wang Fan was confronting Yi Yuan, it seemed like his strength touched some taboo existence. That was why it triggered that Heavenly Tribulation. They had also experienced a number of minor and major fights along the way. Nothing seemed to have happened to the Crystal Formation Realm Disciples, while Wang Fan only used Sea Transformation Realm Strength that one time with Ye Yuan. Could it be that this mystic realm did not permit the appearance of strength? Exceeding the Crystal Formation Realm? Or else it would trigger Heavenly Tribulation. Thinking up to here, Yufong inadvertently became more cautious. Every time he attacked, he suppressed his realm to the crystal formation realm. Elder Yu, over there seems to be heavenly sky sex people. A disciple suddenly said, N. Yufong looked over. Indeed, he saw the heavenly sky sect group currently heading over here. Ha ha. Turns out that it's high clarity sex Elder Yu. I wonder how Elder. Yu's gains are on this trip. Wu Zhao greeted. Yu Feng's expression did not look too good. But their present strength was too weak, so he obviously did not dare to put on any airs in front of the heavenly sky sect. He looked at the heavenly sky sect again and discovered that the heavenly sky sect's headcount did not drop by a single one. His complexion became even worse. Still all right, still all right. But compared to the heavenly sky sect, it's 
definitely way worse. Yu Feng forced a smile. Hmm? Didn't Elder Wang lead the team in your high clarity sect? Where is he? Wu Zhao feigned ignorance and asked. They already had a taste of the heavenly thunder essence locking grand array, so they naturally knew its power. Wang Fan was currently missing. Most likely, he was smitten by lightning. Seeing the high clarity sect again with heavy casualties, Wu Zhao was in a great mood. The route these few days were within the heavenly sky sect's grasp. They avoided some dangerous places and did not have serious losses. But Wu Zhao also knew that the true danger was only starting now. With Wu Zhao asking this, Yu Feng's face turned even uglier. Yu Feng turned back to give the high clarity sect disciples a glance and suddenly made a decision. He gritted his teeth and cupped his hands towards Wu. Zhao as he pled, Elder Wu, my high clarity sect is willing to offer up our gains on this trip. We only implore Elder Wu to take revenge for my senior. Apprentice Brother Wang. Wu Zhao was stunned when he heard this. He didn't think that Yu Feng would actually say something like this. It looks like there was more than meets the eye to Wang Fan's death. Putting away his smile, Wu Zhao said, Elder you needs not do this. What happened to Elder Wang? Tell me. Yu Feng gnashed his teeth hatefully and said, It's all thanks to that stinky brat called Yi Yuan from the Tranquil Cloud Sect. As long as Elder Wu help us take revenge, my high clarity sect group is willing to listen to Elder Wu's orders within this mystic realm. Three days ago, Yu Feng recounted the incident three days ago to Wu Zhao in detail. With Wang Fan's death, Yu Feng could not do much single handedly. He seriously did not have much confidence in walking out of the mystic realm. Rather than that, why not take a gamble and place his bets on the heavenly sky sect? But Wu Zhao laughed when he heard this and said, Is Elder Yu messing with me? He, Yi Yuan, is a seventh level spirit condensation realm, and you said that. He mobilized heaven and earth essence energy and forced Elder Wang to use C. Transformation realm strength. Yu Feng said anxiously, Everything Yu Feng said earlier was the absolute truth. I swear in the name of heavenly Tao, if there are any false statements, I'll get struck by lightning and die a horrible death. Only now did Wu Zhao reveal a grave expression. But how is that possible? Forget about spirit condensation realm, even crystal formation realms cannot possibly maneuver heaven and earth essence energy. I also don't know why he can mobilize heaven and earth essence energy. But I saw it with my own eyes. It's undeniable. Yu Feng was dead certain. Hiss. If that's the case, this child indeed cannot be let alive. Fine, E. Promise you. As long as I meet the Tranquil Cloud Sect group, I'll help you. Eliminate that child. Wu Zhao said ruthlessly. After several days, seven to eight people walked out of a dense forest. Ahead was a large stretch of grass plain. The few people's conditions were not very good. Many still had injuries on them. They had clearly just gone through a major battle. This group of people was precisely the Tranquil Cloud Sect team. Elder May, that Tier 3 9 Serene Ice Lion just now was rather powerful. We only barely managed to fight it to a draw after combining eight peoples. Strength. Why are the Tier 3 Demonic Beast strength so high in this mystic realm? From Tian Yu's expression, one could see that he still had some lingering fear. From that great battle earlier, Mei Zhan said, The mystic realm doesn't permit for existences above Tier 3. So these demonic beasts all suppress their realms and not break through, putting all of their efforts on comprehending concepts. That's why while they may only be tier 3 demonic beasts in terms of concept comprehension, they are much stronger than even me. Demonic beasts' talent in comprehending concepts cannot compare to humans, but their advantage lies in that their lifespan is long. Accumulating bit by bit also becomes pretty impressive. Yi Yuan added on. In this mystic realm, there were surely many demonic beasts that attempted to break through to tier 4 and were killed by the heavenly thunder essence. Locking grand array. With things persisting that way, the demonic beasts naturally gave up on breaking through and placed all of their energy onto comprehending concepts. 
Looks like this mystic realm is filled with dangers everywhere. Nobody knows. What we'll bump into in the future? Tianyu said rather worriedly. This mystic realm is not that simple. It will probably be even more dangerous. Towards the back. Everyone, be more careful. Meijin said. Yi Yuan did not speak. But in truth, he also had a forewarning. Yi Yuan could skate around dangers related to natural treasures. But he was ultimately mortal and not a god. He had no way of grasping some unknown threats. Not knowing why, Yi Yuan kept having a feeling that he was being monitored. But no matter how he observed, he could not find any inkling of it. This sort of feeling like having a prickle on his back made him feel very uneasy. Hee hee, I wonder if junior apprentice brother Yi can break through to the crystal formation realm inside this mystic realm. If he can break through to the crystal formation realm, our tranquil cloud sect, S strength will soar. Dramatically, Tian Yu suddenly said with a laugh. Yeah, junior apprentice brother Ye's cultivation speed is too freakish. He had just broken through three realms in the sect grand competition. It's only been a dozen days or so, and he broke through again to the eighth level spirit. Condensation realm. If he can break through to the crystal formation realm with the suppression of realms inside this mystic realm, even if he confronted a sea transformation. Realm expert, he would have no fear. The essence energy inside this mystic realm was abundant. Yi Yuan originally reached the seventh level spirit condensation realm bottleneck already. After a few days of fighting and absorbing essence energy, he finally took advantage of an opportunity yesterday and broke through to the eighth level spirit. Condensation realm. This was naturally good news to the Tranquil Cloud Sect group. Yi Yuan's greatest shortfall was his realm. Once his realm could rise up, the Tranquil Cloud Sect would become much more confident. They chatted and laughed and were just about to head into the deep regions of the grass plain when alarm bells started going off. Their field of vision was suddenly filled with a dark mass as it surged over. Here. W. What's that? In a blink of an eye, that dark mass showed itself in front of everybody. The tranquil cloud sect group finally made out what those were. Bloodthirsty sky wolf. It's bloodthirsty sky wolf. My god. There are so many. Bloodthirsty sky wolves. Somebody cried out. Meijin evidently recognized them too as he said in a grave voice. The bloodthirsty sky wolf's personality is extremely savage. Once tangled with them it will be to the death. Our head count is too little best to not face. Them head on. Quickly withdraw. They were just about to turn around when they heard a holler. Is that friends? From the tranquil cloud sect over there? I beg you all to lend us a hand. The purple mansion sect will be indebted forever. Ah! At virtually the same time, a disciple who lagged behind the purple mansion. Sect was caught up by the wolf pack which chomped on his leg as he cried out. Miserably, the wolf pack completely did not give him any chance to retaliate. Several more bloodthirsty sky wolves bit down on his four limbs. He could not shake them off no matter how he tried. In just a few short breaths of time that purple mansion sect disciple was torn into ribbons alarming the tranquil cloud sect group who was watching. Greatly. The group only saw clearly now that turns out this group of bloodthirsty. Skywolves was tracking down the purple mansion sect people over here. Yi Yuan smiled bitterly and said, Too late. Can't leave anymore. The tranquil cloud sect people were stunned. Only now did they discover that. Many bloodthirsty skywolves appeared all around from God knows where. They actually surrounded them. And at this time, the purple mansion sect disciples had already converged with. The Tranquil Cloud Sect Disciple. The two teams were encircled like prey by over a hundred bloodthirsty skywolves. Meijin shot a glare at the person who shouted out just now. If not for his yell, the wolf pack would not have completed the encirclement and the Tranquil Cloud Sect Disciples would not have gotten caught in danger. The person who yelled out was a young man, 8th level crystal formation. Realm cultivation even higher than M.O. Yuntian. Seemingly detecting Mei Zhun's unfriendly eyes, he was fully apologetic as he said, 
Elder May, this junior is also at the end of my ropes. That's why I did. That. My purple mansion sect had over ten people but now there are only. These four or five people left. Even Elder Sue also died under heavenly. Tribulation. As long as Elder May can rescue us, we'll definitely compensate. You heavily. If we're fortunate enough to escape this mystic realm, Junior Lin. Chow will definitely report truthfully to Sect Master. I believe that sect. Master will express gratitude to the Tranquil Cloud sect. Mei Jun's face was dark as he snorted coldly and said, It already came to. This, do we still have a way out? Eliminate these bloodthirsty skywolves first. Then talk. Lin Chao was overjoyed when he heard this. Many thanks to Elder Mei for saving us. Junior is eternally grateful. But later on, when Elder Mei is attacking, you must not use C transformation realm strength. Otherwise, it will bring down heavenly tribulation. Mei Jin nodded slightly and said, Of course, I know that. Tranquil Claude. Sect disciple listen up. Set up the eight gates gold lock formation. You all. Each guard one area. Take heed not to let the wolf pack break in. As for the purple mansion sect people, you guys enter the formation first and rest a while. Then come and assist us. Mei Jun could tell at a glance that these remaining disciples from the purple mansion sect were already a spent force and was unable to sustain much longer. Rather than letting them join the battle, might as well rest a while then join. In the Eight Gates Gold Lock Formation was only an ordinary joint attack. Formation. Most great sect disciples knew it. Although this formation's strength was not great, it was very practical in such a messy fight so as to not get taken down one by one by the wolf pack. Of course, how long it could defend for was another question. After all, these bloodthirsty skywolves were all at the early stage tier 3. Realm. A hundred early stage tier 3 bloodthirsty skywolves was absolutely a nightmare. Like existence. Otherwise, these purple mansion sect disciples would not have fled so miserably. With Mei Jun's command, the tranquil cloud sect disciples each laid out the formation to welcome the enemy. They also knew that this was an extremely dangerous juncture and must not be careless. But Yi Yuan's attention was placed on that Lin Chao the entire time. Though it was only a few words from start to finish, Yi Yuan could sense that. He was a guy with extremely deep schemes. From when the wolf pack showed up to now, it seemed very coincidental, but Yi Yuan had a feeling that this was all deliberately done with Lin Chao. No other reason. Just because that yell earlier was too coincidental. The timing of that yell was grasped perfectly making the Tranquil Cloud Sect lose the last chance to escape. Of course, every man for himself. There was nothing wrong with Lin Chao purposely dragging the Tranquil Cloud Sect down into the water. But the reminder to Meijin later on appeared too fake. They had already entered the mystic realm for such a long time. The dangers that each sect faced was too many to count. If Yi Yuan's conjectures were right, each sect's sea transformation realm Elder were pretty much all dead already. There were most likely only the Heavenly Sky Sect and Tranquil Cloud Sect. These two sects who were fully intact. If it was just to stay alive, no harm in scheming a little. But Yi Yuan feared that this Lin Chao had malicious intentions. Compared to demonic beasts, humans were unmistakably scarier. The Purple Mansion Sect was the number two great sect in the Southern Domain, second only to the Heavenly Sky Sect but they only sent one C. Transformation Realm Elder here this time. It more or less seemed somewhat. Uh, to this end, Yi Yuan naturally paid attention to it. The bloodthirsty Skywolves did not immediately attack. They just surrounded. Everyone. Eight people were trapped by a hundred bloodthirsty Skywolves. This sort of pressure was too intense. Many tranquil cloud sect disciples could not help. Feeling a little parched. Surrounding but not attacking. They are playing mental warfare. Her her such. Clever demonic beasts. Yi Yuan said calmly. The tranquil cloud sect group were shocked before recovering only now and could not help feeling deeply ashamed. Humans nearly falling for demonic. Beast strategy. Saying it out loud was overly humiliating. Lin Chao who was presently meditating in the circle could not resist sizing up. 
Yi Yuan while Yi Yuan's gaze also just happened to look over at this time. The pair smiled when their eyes met. The two people's smiles both had deep meaning behind it. Right then, the wolf pack automatically divided. A bloodthirsty sky wolf that was fire red from head to toe walked out of the wolf pack. Everyone's pupils involuntarily constricted when they saw it. That was the wolf king, bloodthirsty wolf king, peak tier three existence. Everyone believed that if not for the restrictions imposed by the heavenly, thunder essence locking grand array, this wolf king would absolutely be a tier. For existence, the bloodthirsty wolf king was awe-inspiring. The aura on his body was even stronger than Meijin, but he did not bother with the tranquil cloud sect group. He just stared fixedly at Lin Chao with scorching eyes. It was as if Lin Chao did not detect it at all. He was making the best use of his time as before to recover his strength. But this scene was taken in by the tranquil cloud sect people. An unusual thought involuntarily birthed in the minds of the disciples. Seniors stopped fantasizing. The bloodthirsty sky wolves are naturally savage and will not let us go. Discuss the purple mansion sect matters afterward. If we don't exert our utmost effort, we'll only end up in the wolves' mouths. Eventually, Yi Yuan raised his voice and said, Mo Yun Tian and the rest only came around now and could not help being dumbstruck. This wolf king was simply even more cunning than humans. Just one look and it caused a chink to form between the two great sects. If there were no reminder from Yi Yuan, they would definitely have some misgivings during the battle. That look from the Wolf King was clearly to make. The Tranquil Cloud Sect disciples think that the Wolf Pack was just here for the Purple Mansion Sect and had nothing to do with the Tranquil Cloud Sect. With this sort of psychological hint would the Tranquil Cloud Sect disciples still defend the Purple Mansion Sect to the death? The Wolf King obviously heard Yi Yuan's voice too. His gaze landing on this. Young spirit condensation realm martial artist with unkind eyes. Both schemes were spoiled by this young man. This wolf clear had clearly become enraged too. Seeing the wolf king's eyes, Meijin secretly thought shit. He hurriedly said, Leave the wolf king to me. Each of you takes care of yourselves. You, whelping from the purple mansion sect, quickly take the time to recover your strength. If someone can't endure it on our side, immediately help out. Lin Chao nodded and said, Rest assured, Elder May. The Wolf King saw that there were no opportunities to take advantage of and also gave up on scheming. He gave a long howl. This was apparently the signal for the Wolf Pack to attack. After those bloodthirsty Sky Wolves heard this howl, each one of them was like, on stimulants as they charged towards the Tranquil Cloud Sect Disciples. Without heed for their lives, Meijin wielded his sword but rushed to the Wolf King first to fight him. This Wolf King was very sentient. He was worried about the Wolf King, retaliating Yi Yuan. But even so, Yi Yuan's side was still being heavily taken care of by ordinary, bloodthirsty sky wolves. It was very obvious that the Wolf King had issued an order to kill Yi Yuan. First, actually, at this time, the tranquil cloud sect people's conditions were not. Too good. They had just fought a great battle with the Nine Serene Ice Lion. Not long before, and some disciples were still wounded. But the Tranquil Cloud sect fought with greater numbers previously. Everyone's losses were not great. Lin Chao mediated to recover essence energy while secretly observing these. Tranquil Cloud sect disciple strength. Although Tian Yu's realm was the lowest inside, he had comprehended the elementary form of true intent. After breaking through to the crystal formation realm, his combat power was tremendous. One person handling seven to eight bloodthirsty sky wolves was not an issue. T. Wujo was third level crystal formation realm, but his fist intent realm was similarly very high, only to see him throw fist after fist solidly. Those bloodthirsty sky wolves were actually unable to approach him as a seventh level crystal formation realm expert. M.O. Yuntian's strength. Barred no questions. Rather, it was the other few crystal formation realm martial artists who appeared to be struggling. His gaze finally stopped on Yi Yuan, 
and his expression involuntarily choked. Although he guessed that Yi Yuan definitely had abilities surpassing others to enter the mystic realm with spirit condensation realm strength, he could not have imagined that Yi Yuan was actually so strong. There were over a dozen bloodthirsty skywolves surrounding Yi Yuan alone. But he relied on one sword to slaughter his way in and out as he liked. Those dozen over bloodthirsty skywolves were unable to do anything to him. After a dozen over exchanges, Yi Yuan was perfectly fine, but quite a few of those bloodthirsty sky wolves were wounded. These were tier three demonic beasts. Each one of them was existences like human crystal formation realm marshal. Artists, an eighth level spirit condensation realm brat could actually treat it like there was nobody in this place under these demonic beasts combined attacks. If one were to say that an eighth level spirit condensation realm crossed, Ranks to battle one or two tier three demonic beasts that was still passable. But being surrounded by over a dozen demonic beasts, that was absolutely a quantitative to qualitative change. Pressure changed abruptly. Furthermore, a bloodthirsty skywolf speed was abnormally fast. Ordinary. Martial artists were simply unable to keep up. But Yi Yuan actually twisted and turned around inside effortlessly. When did such a monstrous existence appear in the Tranquil Cloud sect? That bloodthirsty wolf king was in the midst of an intense battle with Mei. Shen. But when he detected the situation over on Yi Yuan's side, he howled. Again. This time, even more bloodthirsty sky wolves surged towards Yi Yuan's side. With this, the pressure over at Yi Yuan's senior side inadvertently lessened. While on Yi Yuan's side, the number of bloodthirsty sky wolves increased to over twenty all at once. Be careful, Yi Yuan. Mo Yun Tian could not help being worried when he saw the situation. He was fenced in by two middle stage bloodthirsty sky wolves and several early stage bloodthirsty sky wolves over here and could not extricate himself at all. T Wu Jiu's and Tian Yu sides were the same, though the bloodthirsty sky wolves could not do anything to them. They were helpless against the bloodthirsty sky wolves too. And Yi Yuan's side was already completely flooded with bloodthirsty sky wolves. When Mei Zhen saw this state of affairs, his forehead was full of sweat from anxiety and he yelled at Lin Chao. Lin Chao, how long do you want to wait to make a move? The bloodthirsty wolf king's combat strength was extraordinarily powerful. Mei. Jean was suppressed at peak ninth level crystal formation realm to battle it, but was facing dangers everywhere. With this holler, he nearly let the wolf king grasp an opportunity to catch him with its claws. Hu Lin Chao smiled calmly and said, Don't get anxious, Elder Mei. This junior isn't at the end of his ropes yet. Lin Chao Yu. Mei Jun was nearly infuriated until he coughed blood. He did not manage to. Avoid the Wolf King's metal claw this time, and his arm took a hit. Blood started flowing instantly. Meijin clenched his jaws and really wanted to erupt with sea transformation. Realm strength. But the warning left behind by Wang Fan was still vivid in his mind. Sea transformation realm strength simply could not be used. With this confusion, Meijin was immediately suppressed by the Wolf King and fell in a disadvantageous position in all aspects. Although this bloodthirsty wolf king's strength could not compare to that nine. Serene Ice Lion from before, it was still slightly stronger than Mei Jin who suppressed at the crystal formation realm. Right then, Yi Yuan who was engulfed by the wolf pack suddenly exploded with multiple rays of pale yellow light. Swoosh! Swoosh! The sound of a series of sword beams piercing the skin spread out. Then, Number of bloodthirsty sky wolves went flying out. The wolf pack siege crumbled all at once. Ye Yuan, it's great that you're okay. Mo Yun Tian was elatedly seeing the situation. Ye Yuan called out, Elder Mei and senior apprentice brother do not need to worry about me. I have no problems protecting myself. While talking, Ye Yuan released several more sword beams again. A number of Bloodthirsty sky wolves were speared flying again. The eruption on Yi Yuan's side finally stirred the tranquil cloud sect. Disciples fighting spirit. Each one of them released their combat strength to 
the fullest and actually suppressed a hundred bloodthirsty sky wolves with only eight people's strength. For a period of time, only whimperings and whinings were heard everywhere. Many bloodthirsty sky wolves were injured, but the bloodthirsty sky wolf had two notable characteristics. One was high speed and the second was coarse skin and thick flesh. Although many bloodthirsty sky wolves were injured over here, barely any truly died. Ha ha. Everyone, double up. These bloodthirsty sky wolves are nothing more than this. Yeah, just a bunch of animals. Let's kill them. So many tier three demonic wolf. Inner cores. We're going to be rich this time. Buck up, little wolves. I, your little lord, haven't fought to my hearts. Content yet. Due to ye yuan keeping in check quite a number of bloodthirsty sky wolves. Alone, this bout of fighting was exceptionally carefree. Seeing as the combat strength of those bloodthirsty sky wolves were becoming weaker and weaker, everybody's mood eased up quite a bit. Right then, that wolf king howled again. Ha ha! Still howling. It's useless even if you howl again. After we take care of your offspring, we'll pummel you together. Senior apprentice brother Pang derided the wolf king with a loud laugh. But Yi Yuan's face darkened as he said in a grave voice, Seniors, be careful. These bloodthirsty sky wolves are going to go into a frenzy. Bloodthirsty. Sky wolves will have a tremendous increase in speed after entering a frenzy. Don't drop your guard, seniors. Yi Yuan's voice had yet to fade when the eyes of these bloodthirsty sky wolves suddenly turned scarlet red, looking utterly terrifying. Following that, those injured bloodthirsty sky wolves' wounds were recovering. At a speed visible to the naked eye, those wolves had drool dribbling from their mouths looking extremely voracious, as if they could shred anything into pieces. Only a bloodthirsty sky wolf in such a state could be fit to bear the word. Bloodthirsty. Yi Yuan's eyebrows furrowed, and he muttered to himself, Now it's troublesome. Senior apprentice brother Pang, who was still guffawing earlier, was thoroughly mute now. He stared at those bloodthirsty sky wolves in a frenzied state, blankly and could not resist swallowing hard. Those bloodthirsty sky wolves had already stopped their attacks. Currently, the entire grass plain was dead quiet, leaving only the bloodthirsty sky wolves panting. This was the quiet before the storm. Everyone held their breaths because they knew that the next round of attacks from the bloodthirsty sky wolves would be even fiercer than before. Moreover, after that last round of melee, the tranquil cloud sect disciples. Expenditure was also very great. But the bloodthirsty sky wolves' current state was like they were resuscitated. With full vitality, filled with aggressiveness, the bloodthirsty sky wolf gave another long howl. The hundred bloodthirsty sky wolves burst forth abruptly, like a hundred bolts of lightning charging, towards the eight people. That speed was beyond twice as fast as before. Swoosh! 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 The bloodthirsty sky wolves' figures only left behind a series of blurry shadows. Clank! 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 Immediately after were waves of metal clashing sounds. After one wave of attack, everybody felt the pressure soar. Two disciples, even, suffered injuries to their bodies, including that senior apprentice brother. Bum! With a fierce bout of fighting, many tranquil cloud sect disciples were already injured. Now, it could be said to be piling injuries on top of injuries. The scales of victory immediately tipped towards the bloodthirsty sky wolves. Side after this frenzied transformation. After the frenzied transformation, the combat strength of ordinary bloodthirsty sky wolves virtually surged twofold. Adding up a hundred bloodthirsty sky wolves, this sort of increment would be extremely substantial. For a moment, the tranquil cloud sect disciples were unable to cope with the situation. There were some people who were unable to hold on very soon. Rather, it was Yi Yuan with the lowest realm who still appeared to be doing it. With ease presently by relying on the support from the transmission true. Intent to increase his speed after displaying spirit void shattering space. Lin Chao, still not rushing up to support yet? Ye Yuan roared. The tranquil cloud sect disciples had already fought for quite a bit of time. 
For the few people from the Purple Mansion sect, their strength was roughly recovered 50% to 60%, especially Lin Chao this 8th level crystal formation realm. Him, participating in the battle would be a tremendous support to the Tranquil. Cloud Sex side, Lin Chao saw that he could not hide from this, so he could only stand up and call for his fellow martial brothers and said, Juniors, the Tranquil Cloud. Sex seniors and juniors have already strived for a lot of time for us. Now, let's switch with them. If the Tranquil Cloud Sect disciples recalled the formation, the Wolf Pack would attack indiscriminately. At that time, it would also be hard for them to escape. They could clearly only go all out if they want to preserve their lives at this time. Senior Apprentice Brother Pang and Senior Apprentice Brother Du, you guys, retreat inside the circle first to recover. Lin Chao, you bring a person. Forward to support first. Yi Yuan said anxiously. Okay. Lin Chao did not say anything else and filled in the void left behind. By senior apprentice brother Du. But right at this moment, an abnormality suddenly occurred. When senior apprentice brother Pang was just about to withdraw. A middle stage. Tier 3 bloodthirsty sky wolf bit down on his arm. Ah! A heartrending scream sounded chilling the hearts of everyone who heard it. This whole trip, there had yet to be any tranquil cloud sect disciple who met, with an accident under Yi Yuan's lead. So everyone was not mentally prepared. Two. Now, seeing senior apprentice brother Pang falling into danger, they involuntarily panicked. Luckily, those purple mansion sect disciples knew what to do. They rushed up to block the other wolves. But after that bloodthirsty sky wolf bit senior apprentice brother Pang's arm, it was like it went berserk and would not loosen its jaws no matter what. Only to hear a ripping sound. That bloodthirsty sky wolf directly tore off. Senior apprentice brother Pang's entire arm. Ah! Senior apprentice brother Pang cried out again miserably, blood pouring out of his broken arm area. Wan Yin! Senior apprentice brother Pang! That tragic cry immediately roused the hearts of all of the tranquil cloud. Sect disciples. You bunch of damn beasts. I'll exterminate all of you. Montag Yunxian howled. His entire body's aura erupting suddenly. T. Wujo did not say a word, but his fist wind also abruptly became violent. One could see the fury in his heart right now. And the same as him was Tian Yu. And Yi Yuan. Yi Yuan appeared very calm on the surface, and his actions did not seem to have any major changes. But those familiar with him knew that Yi Yuan's rage at this moment was getting greater and greater, just like that time when Luer was hurt. Before this mystic realm exploration, Yi Yuan and Pang Wanyan were not acquainted. But during this half a month, everyone helped each other through hurdles and made deep friendships. Although Pang Wanyan was somewhat reckless when things cropped up, he had no airs and could click with everyone. The reason why Yi Yuan put himself in the limelight the entire trip was in order to bring everyone back. But he did not think that such an incident would happen. He casually fished out a medicinal pill and threw it to Senior Apprentice. Brother Du who withdrew said while dealing with the wolf pack, quickly feed. Senior Apprentice Brother Pang. Senior Apprentice Brother Du was called Du Chang, an elite disciple same as Pang Wanyan. They were both at the third level crystal formation realm, but in terms of true combat strength, the two of them were ranked at the bottom. Even the first level crystal formation realm Tian Yu's combat strength was much stronger than theirs, so the first ones to pull back were them. Du Chang did not hesitate much and directly stuffed the medicinal pill into Pang Wanyan's mouth. When the medicinal pill entered his stomach, Du Chang discovered that Pang. Wanyan's injuries were recovering at a speed visible to the naked eye. It was even faster than the recovery speed of those bloodthirsty skywolves. And Pang Wanyan's complexion became a little rosier before long. Du Chang was unbelievably dumbfounded in his heart. What medicinal pill is? This to actually have such effects. Du Chang was very clear on what effects the sex tier 3 medicinal pills had. Comparing to this pill from Yi Yuan, it was simply trash. Recalling again to the detoxification pills that Yi Yuan took out, the effects 
were similarly much better than the sect ones. Could these medicinal pills all be refined by Yi Yuan himself? But he was only at the spirit condensation realm. For a while, Du Cheng's mind ran wild. Right at this time, he heard a splat, interrupting his thoughts. That sound came from over Yi Yuan's side. Du Chong looked over towards Yi Yuan's side and saw a headless wolf corpse, lying on the ground, while Yi Yuan had already put away Tsanghua sword since. God knows when. Right then, another wolf dashed towards Yi Yuan with extreme speed, only to see Yi Yuan dodge slightly and lightly tap a finger on the wolf's head. Without any unnecessary actions, that bloodthirsty sky wolf scurried back. The next instant, Du Cheng's pupils constricted. When that bloodthirsty sky wolf landed on the ground, its head exploded with a bang. Another headless wolf corpse. Following that, he saw Yi Yuan's profile shuttling back and forth within the wolf pack like a ghost, landing finger after finger on the bloodthirsty sky wolf's heads. Each finger Yi Yuan unleashed, a bloodthirsty sky wolf would fall. In a blink of an eye, there were already over a dozen bloodthirsty sky wolves. That died in Yi Yuan's hands. At this moment, it was as if Yi Yuan had become the incarnation of a god that descended upon the world. His might was without equal. Originally, those frenzied bloodthirsty sky wolves did not fear death and were completely unaware of what being frightened was. But now, those bloodthirsty sky wolves actually took the initiative to back. Away from the areas that Yi Yuan passed through, they were scared. But this sort of avoidance was futile. The areas that Yi Yuan passed through would surely leave behind one or two bloodthirsty sky wolf carcasses. In? What's going on? Mo Yun Tian suddenly felt the pressure around him lighten. Initially, the frenzied bloodthirsty sky wolves that were everywhere pressured him until he felt suffocated. But now, it suddenly lessened by quite a bit. There were Ti Wujo and Tian Yu who also had the same feeling. They all noticed that the bloodthirsty sky wolves seemed to be afraid of something. Now that their pressure reduced right now, they had spare energy to observe. The other areas. It was all right if they did not look. But one look and they jumped in fright. The areas that Yi Yuan passed through left behind wolf carcasses everywhere. The Eight Gates Gold Lock Formation had already automatically dissolved. Following Yi Yuan's departure, and each of Yi Yuan's steps was heading over in the Bloodthirsty Wolf King's direction. Those Bloodthirsty Sky Wolves no longer dared to go forward to provoke Yi Yuan anymore. But even so, their companions still died one after another. The Bloodthirsty Wolf King had already forced Mei Zhen into a desperate situation over on this side. Mei Zhen was covered in injuries right now, looking rather ghastly. Right then, the bloodthirsty wolf king seemed to have detected a thick animosity, and its movements also became sluggish. Seeing Yi Yuan who was walking towards it composedly, the bloodthirsty wolf king's pupils shrunk. Forcing Mei Zhen back with one claw, it turned towards the direction where Yi Yuan was currently approaching him in. As Yi Yuan walked, he slaughtered the Wolf King's progenies. The originally wild and fearless bloodthirsty sky wolves were like paper paste. In Yi Yuan's hands, the bloodthirsty Wolf King's eyes became blood red when it saw its clansmen. Being massacred, an incomparably powerful aura surged towards Yi Yuan. But Yi Yuan continued walking step by step towards it as if he could not feel. The Wolf King actually had yet to enter the frenzied state from battling Mei. Zhen until now. Mei Zhen was very fretful seeing the situation and shouted loudly, Yi Yuan, quickly move aside. The Wolf King is entering frenzied state, but it was like Yi Yuan did not hear it. He moved closer and closer to the Wolf King. Everybody's hearts leaped to their throats. The Wolf King's aura was too horrendous. The Wolf King without entering frenzied state could force Mei Zhen until he did not have the strength to retaliate. His strength after the frenzy. Transformation was totally not what the people present could withstand. But just as Yi Yuan was around ten steps from the Wolf King, a scene that nobody dared to believe occurred. That bloodthirsty Wolf King actually took a step back. Yi Yuan casually finished off a bloodthirsty Sky Wolves and took another step forward. The Wolf King backed up another step again. 
The Wolf King was actually afraid. Yi Yuan currently had a composed look without joy nor sorrow. Looking just like a person who was harmless to humans and animals. But the incomparably powerful Wolf King was actually fearful of him. Yi Yuan advanced. The Wolf King retreated again. The Wolf King's eyes stared fixedly at Yi Yuan. Even humans could see the fury within it. But he just did not dare to attack. Yi Yuan advanced. The Wolf King retreated once more. This time Yi Yuan did not move. He just met eyes with the Wolf King like. This, his expression calm and collected. The Wolf King only faced off with Yi Yuan for several breaths of time. Finally, it could not endure it and let out a long howl, then turned around and ran. With the Wolf King's departure, the remaining bloodthirsty Sky Wolves naturally would not stay on anymore. They left the tranquil cloud sect disciples behind and also fleed. In a twinkle of an eye, the bloodthirsty Sky Wolves that originally had Powerful auras vanished to the ends of the grass plains. The Purple Mansion sect disciples looked at the corpse-strewn ground and looked at Yi Yuan again, their eyes showing fear. This person clearly only had spirit condensation realm cultivation, but even the bloodthirsty Wolf King did not dare to clash with him. He forced the bloodthirsty Wolf King back with one glance. Such a battle result was too inconceivable. Yi Yuan, you're really amazing. How did you do it? Tianyu asked Yi Yuan, excitedly. But Yi Yuan did not reply him. Mo Yun Tian suddenly noticed that something was not quite right. He walked up and patted Yi Yuan's shoulder, asking, You all right, Yi Yuan? But what he did not expect was that Yi Yuan fell stiffly backward just like that. Mo Yun Tian was alarmed and hurriedly went to support Yi Yuan. Ye Yuan. Ye Yuan. Are you okay, Yi Yuan? Seeing Yi Yuan collapse suddenly, the tranquil cloud sect disciples were taken aback and quickly surrounded him. Senior apprentice brother Mo, what happened to Yi Yuan? Is there any problem? Tian Yu asked urgently. Mo Yun Tian waved his hands to indicate to him not speak and reached for Yi Yuan's pulse. After a long time, Mo Yun Tian finally heaved a sigh in relief and said, Shouldn't be a major problem. Hearing Mo Yun Tian said so, everyone also let out a sigh in relief. Since he's all right, then why is Yi Yuan unconscious? The one asking was Pang Wanyan. He ate Yi Yuan's medicinal pill and, currently, his external injuries were mostly recovered already. It was just that that arm would not come back. Seeing Yi Yuan fall unconscious, he was also extremely worried. Previously. Being together with Yi Yuan was fellow sect member relationship. But from today onwards, they were friends in adversity. Friendships that were tested through life and death could withstand ordeals. Better. Just now, Du Chung roughly summarized what happened earlier. Pang Wanyan had a feeling that Yi Yuan only erupted abruptly because of him. This could not help but move him. Mo Yun Tian said to everybody, Yi Yuan he used the tier 3 strength of the cleansing sandal sacred flame earlier, which exceeded the limits that his meridians could withstand. Just now when dealing with those bloodthirsty sky wolves, Yi Yuan's meridians were suffering the agony of being immolated the whole time. He actually endured it without showing the slightest trace. Hearing Mo Yun Tian said so, all of them were visibly moved. As martial artists, how could they not know the torment of meridians being burnt? That sort of anguish was something unimaginable by ordinary people. Even someone with remarkable willpower might not be able to endure it under. The agony of meridians being immolated. Immolation of meridians, one could not faint even if they wanted to. Because even if they fainted, they would also wake up immediately from pain. But how did that nonchalant expression of Yi Yuan's look like suffering the anguish of meridian immolation? Just now, Yi Yuan was like a fiend god that had descended upon the world. That sort of overweening aura even shocked the peak tier 3 bloodthirsty wolf king into retreating. The Yi Yuan under such a state was actually enduring the immolation of meridians the entire time. Hiss. That's also to say that Yi Yuan sang an empty city stratagem just now. 
Actually, he could no longer resist the Wolf King any more earlier. He was just using strategy to scare him away. Tian Yu asked in amazement. Do you think that the Wolf King is so easy to deceive? That Wolf King's intellect is completely not beneath humans. It might even be far more cunning than some humans. How could it be easy to want to fool it? When Yi Yuan was butchering the wolf pack earlier, he condensed his momentum to the limits. Even if the wolf king entered a frenzied state, it would not dare to easily confront Yi Yuan. That's why it chose to withdraw. Mei Jin consumed some healing medicinal pills and also recovered a little before saying this. Mo Yuntian nodded and said, I have a feeling that even if the wolf king really went for it just now, it might not be able to gain any advantages. Otherwise, how could that wolf king retreat so easily given its immense intellect? This conjecture from Mo Yuntian made everyone suck in a deep breath instead. Yi Yuan's might had truly surpassed everyone's understanding. Even the wolf king that Mei Zhan the sea transformation realm expert was helpless against was scared into retreating by Yi Yuan. This was an absolutely heaven-defying battle result. Then, will Yi Yuan be all right? Pang Wanyan asked concernedly. Mo Yuntian said, Don't worry. Although his injuries are heavy, there is no threat to his life. After he regains consciousness, I think he'll have ways to treat himself. Only then did they breathe a sigh of relief. Meijin said, Since that's the case, find a place to rest for a while and wait for Yi Yuan to wake up before making a decision. Bright moon and few stars, there were many blurry outlines under the shadow of a tree. Yi Yuan slowly opened both eyes. When he saw Pang Wanyan's familiar face, he forced a smile and said, S. Senior Apprentice Brother Pang, are you all right? Pang Wanyan was overjoyed at first. When he heard finish Yi Yuan's words, tears flowed instantly. I'm all right, all right. It's great that you woke up. You worried us to death. Elder May, senior apprentice brother M.O. Jr. Apprentice brother Yi woke up. Everybody hurriedly surrounded over when they heard that, all trying to get in. A word of concern. Sensing the worry from his fellow disciples, Yi Yuan felt a burst of emotion. In his heart. How long was I out? Yi Yuan asked. You were already unconscious for a day and two nights. Yi Yuan, are your meridians? Okay. Pang Wanyan asked hurriedly. Yi Yuan shook his head. Nothing major. Senior apprentice brother Pang. I'll have to trouble you to support me up. Pang Wanyan quickly used his remaining arm to lift Yi Yuan up. Yi Yuan retrieved a medicinal pill from his storage ring and started to regulate his breathing. At this time, the tranquil cloud sect people spontaneously circled around him to protect him. While the Purple Mansion sect's remaining four disciples were not far away the whole time, Lin Chao's gaze pierced through the crowd to look at Yi Yuan. Nobody knew what he was thinking of either. After an hour, Yi Yuan refined finished the medicinal pill. His complexion overall looked much better. Meridian injuries were a very troublesome matter. Under ordinary circumstances, even if there were assistance from medicinal pills, it was very hard to fully recover without several months of recovery and recuperation. But look at Yi Yuan's present appearance, he seemed to have already recovered. 60% to 70%. Furthermore, in such a short time, there was normally no way to fully refine. The medicinal pill that was also to say that he might recover as good as new. Very soon as the remaining 30% to 40% of medicinal pill continued to be refined. Inside Yi Yuan's body, such a heaven-defying medicinal pill was simply unheard of before. Towards such a situation, the tranquil cloud sect group were already numb to it and did not have too big a reaction. But the purple mansion sect people apparently found it very shocking. Other than Lin Chao, the other three were furtively whispering together. Yi Yuan got up but walked straight for Lin Chao. Lin Chao seemed to know that Yi Yuan would find him straight away and did not look too surprised. Junior apprentice brother Yi overturned the raging tides yesterday and saved the lives of the four of us. Lin Chao is deeply grateful. Lin Chao bowed deeply towards Yi Yuan. 
looking rather sincere. Yi Yuan accepted it calmly, but said, Senior Apprentice Brother Lin, don't. You owe me an explanation. Lin Chao was shaken inwardly, but had a confused look as he said, Explanation? Junior Apprentice Brother Yi refers to. Yi Yuan sighed lightly and said, Looks like Senior Apprentice Brother Lin refuses to give in. Must I lay it bare? Lin Chao shook his head and said, I really don't know what Senior Apprentice Brother Yi needs me to explain. Are you referring to the matter of deliberately dragging your honorable sect into the water? I've already apologized to Elder Mei and Senior Apprentice Brother Pang about this matter and compensated some natural treasures obtained during this trap as recompense. At that time we were also at a life and death juncture and had no other alternatives but that. I hope that Junior Apprentice Brother Yi won't take offense. Yi Yuan smiled slightly and opened his mouth and said, Although a bloodthirsty Skywolf's natural disposition is savage, it has a particular trait, and that is they are very prudent and will not leave their own territory without special circumstances. And the owner of this region is a nine serene ice lion. They chased you all the way here surely because you guys did something. Well, let me guess. Is it Soul Jade? Hearing the two words Soul Jade, Lin Chao's face changed all of a sudden. But he remained stubborn as he said, Ha ha! Junior Apprentice Brother Yi, I don't know what's the meaning of what you said. What Soul Jade? Yi Yuan suddenly put away his smile and said frostily, Is Senior Apprentice Brother Lin trying to use us as a shield then run off after getting benefits? Yourself? Originally, you guys obtaining any benefits has nothing to do with. Even if I knew that you people obtained soul jades, I wouldn't expose it. Either. It's just that your scheming made us fall into a perilous situation. And my senior apprentice brother Pang nearly lost his life right there and then. You don't think it's over just like this, right? The tranquil cloud sect people were rather bewildered and did not know why Yi. Yuan and Lin Chao were arguing. When Yi Yuan was unconscious, Lin Chao already showed his attitude adequately. To Mei Zhen and Pang Wanyan and apologized profusely, finally earning their understanding. After all, the Purple Mansion sect group lost more than half of their people, leaving only four guys. Substituting anyone into that kind of situation, they would most likely choose to drag others into the water too. Plus, Lin Chao and the rest paid large amounts of natural treasures before the Tranquil Cloud sect group finally agreed not to dispute anymore. But they did not imagine that the first thing Yi Yuan did after waking up was to find Lin Chao's trouble. Yi Yuan, what's the soul jade you're talking about? If it's some inconsequential thing, then just forget about it. Mo Yun Tian inquired. Yeah, Yi Yuan. When you were out cold, Lin Chao already compensated us three stocks of tier four medicinal herbs, ten stocks of quasi tier four herbs, and many tier three herbs. It's more than enough to show his sincerity. Meijin also added on. These things naturally could not bring back Pang Wanyan's arm. But it was already done. Even killing the four of them would not help the situation. Not that the Tranquil Cloud Sect disciples were goody two-shoes, but because the other party had Lin Chao this eighth-level crystal formation realm. Present. Under the situation where Mei Zhen was injured, if he were bent on breaking. Out of the encirclement it would also be very tough for the tranquil cloud. Sect to make everyone stay. At that time, forget about not getting anything they would even openly offend. The purple mansion sect that was second only to the heavenly sky sect. At that time it would not be fun. And the tranquil cloud sect group including Mei Zhen did not know what item. The soul jade was. Yi Yuan did not turn back but looked as Lin Chao as he said coolly. Soul. Jades are a type of very special jade mineral extremely rare. The reason why it's named soul jade is that it has the effect of nourishing the divine soul. Especially to peak sea transformation realm martial artists this is simply an unrivaled miracle treasure because it can help peak sea transformation realm. Martial artists break through their bottleneck and assault the soul sea realm. When Yi Yuan finished talking, they were all horrifyingly shocked. 
such a treasure was way more precious than any tier 4 medicinal herb. Why were there so few Soul Sea Realm powerhouses in the Southern Domain? Was because the advancement of Soul Force was too hard. Martial artists cultivated essence energy. Alchemists cultivated Soul Force. It was a paradox whether to primarily cultivate essence energy or Soul Force. To the vast majority of people in this world, cultivating both at the same. Time would only end up with accomplishing nothing. In reality, the difficulty of breaking through to the Soul Sea realm was lower. For alchemists compared to martial artists. But the problem was that alchemists needed to spend countless energy on the path of alchemy. There were far too many things they needed to grasp. Just the understanding of various kinds of medicinal herbs was an extremely profound study, plenty for a martial artist to research their entire lives. Alchemists still had to take into consideration the cultivation of essence. Energy under such circumstances, that was a virtually impossible thing. But to martial artists, raising soul force was too challenging. If the soul force did not reach a certain level, the divine soul would simply be inadequate to communicate with the essence energy C and breakthrough to the soul C realm from there. It was precisely because so that a treasure that could assist peak C transformation realm martial artists to break through their fetters would naturally be exceptionally valuable. Hearing Yi Yuan say so, everyone from the tranquil cloud sect showed heated gazes. What did the soul jade mean? It meant that the sect could have at least one more soul sea realm powerhouse. Lin Chao's complexion was ugly as he said, Junior apprentice brother Yi must be joking. Where would we get such a treasure? Yi Yuan sneered coldly and said, Each person has to pay the price for their actions. You lured the bloodthirsty Skywolves over, and senior apprentice. Brother Pang lost an arm because of this. Aren't you taking it too easy to want to use some medicinal herbs to dismiss us? But this is also the first time I've heard of such a wondrous item. We really don't have it. Lin Chao said awkwardly, but Yi Yuan pressed on harder. Talking anymore is pointless. If senior, apprentice brother Lin wants to prove your innocence, please take out your storage rings to let us have a look. Lin Chao's expression changed, and his face darkened at once. Isn't this request of junior apprentice brother Yi going too far? Although my purple mansion sect stumbled in this mystic realm, we're still the number two great sect in the southern domain. Does Junior Apprentice Brother Yi really want to fall out with us? This sort of thing like searching storage rings was a burning disgrace to a martial artist, because hidden within one's storage rings were secrets that many did not wish to divulge. But Yi Yuan was indifferent as he said, If Senior Apprentice Brother Lin is confident that the four of you can escape, you can give it a shot. Yu, Yi Yuan am not someone who indiscriminately slaughters innocent people. Can understand you drawing the wolf pack over to protect yourself. But if you think that I'm easy to bully, then you're making a very grave mistake. An eighth level spirit condensation realm martial artist talking this way to an eighth level crystal formation realm. No matter how one listened to it, it sounded rather odd. But at this very moment, Lin Chao sensed an incredible pressure. The scene of Yi Yuan massacring the wolf pack was still fresh in Lin Chao's memories. That sort of casual slaughtering, Lin Chao touched his heart and knew that he was unable to do it. Lin Chao suddenly felt a false impression, as if he was not facing an eighth level spirit condensation realm, but a sea transformation realm powerhouse. Lin Chao did not speak. He was clearly gauging his own strength whether he could disentangle himself or not. Finally, he still sighed disappointedly and said, Forget it. Forget it. Junior apprentice brother Yi is more shrewd than others and is well informed. This Lin admires. I'm afraid that barely anyone can recognize this soul jade in the entire southern domain. To think that junior apprentice brother Yi can guess it without even seeing it. As he spoke, Lin Chao retrieved a gray-colored jade piece the size of a goose. Egg from his storage ring. But Yi Yuan did not reach out to take it. He spoke again. Since senior. 
Apprentice brother Lin already acknowledges it. Why be so miserly? I don't want all of it either, just half will do. Lin Chao's face changed again, but he fished out another four pieces of soul. Jade's from his storage ring, roughly the same sizes as before. We only obtained a total of ten pieces of soul jades this trip. This is half. Already, Lin Chao gritted his teeth and said. Yi Yuan smiled but still did not reach his hand out. Lin Chao was on the verge of collapsing. His hands trembled as he said, Junior Apprentice Brother Yi isn't shooting a random number, right? This is really half of the amount already. Whether it is or not, I naturally have a clear idea in my mind. You just have to bother with taking them out. I definitely won't take more, Yi Yuan said, coolly. Lin Chao examined himself that he was highly devious and was extremely intelligent. But when facing Yi Yuan, he always had a feeling of being unable to exert strength. From start to the end of this exchange, it was always Yi Yuan who grasped the initiative. He had never been so aggrieved before. With a clench of his jaw, Lin Chao took out another seven pieces of soul. Jades, this time it's really half. There's not a single piece more. If you still demand an exorbitant price, then let's fight it out to the death. Lin Chao was about to break down. But this time, Yi Yuan waved his long sleeves and put those twelve pieces of soul. Jades into his storage rings. Looking at Lin Chao's grimacing look, Pang Wanyan secretly felt satisfied. Previously, Lin Chao lowered himself to apologize ardently and pay compensation. Out of consideration for the overall situation, Pang Wanyan grudgingly forgave him, but this matter of losing an arm had always been a knot in his heart. Plus, listening to Yi Yuan mention about the soul jade, Pang Wanyan was naturally even more displeased in his heart. But looking at Lin Chao's expression, this extortion by Yi Yuan was rather ruthless. Pang Wanyan felt like he had gained back ground for himself and his spirit was invigorated. This matter is settled. Senior apprentice brother Lin, are you guys going to leave on your own now or? Yi Yuan said. Lin Chao was dazed. He immediately shook his head and said, Among the four of us, the one with the greatest strength is me. This mystic realm is seriously too dangerous will be eaten until not even remains are left if we move. Alone. I hope that junior apprentice brother Yi can let the four of us travel. Together. As if afraid of Yi Yuan objecting, Lin Chao swiftly spoke again. Rest. Assured junior apprentice brother Yi to be able to obtain soul jades this. Trip is already a tremendous harvest. We don't want any of the natural. Treasures from here on. We only pray to be able to leave safely. Yi Yuan nodded and said, We can travel together, but when we encounter problems, you must help out equally. If I find out that you guys are secretly conserving strength or purposely hindering us, I'll invite you all to leave. Immediately, Lin Chao hurried said, That's of course. Yi Yuan's words directly cut off any possibilities of the Four Purple Mansion. Sect people fishing in troubled waters. Lin Chao knew that it was simply an impossible matter to want to play mind. Games in front of this person. Just like that, the party continued advancing towards the depths of the mystic realm. After several days, the party walked out of a dense fog forest. Luckily Yi Yuan was here, or else we won't be able to walk out of this ghastly place even if we walked until we die. This confounding mist forest is boundless. We simply don't know where the end lies. It's actually an enormous entrapping formation. The person who laid out this entrapment formation truly has horrifying strength. Yeah, this mystic realm is very bizarre. Many places have man-made vestiges, but at the same time seem like naturally formed. It makes people confounded, whether it's real or fact. This confounding mist forest was an enormous entrapping formation. It was cut from the same cloth as the type that Yi Yuan previously set up to deal with. The High Clarity Sect. If the average person got caught in this forest, they could never leave for the rest of their lives. Moreover, this confounding mist forest was filled with jeopardies everywhere. 
It was a land of absolute perils. It was all thanks to Yi Yuan that all of them could walk out with only fear and no danger. And at this time, the eyes that Lin Chao looked at Yi Yuan with underwent. Another change. This young man was seriously too mysterious. He was simply even stranger than this mystic realm, this confounding mist forest, even if that heavenly sky sect quasi tier 4. Formation master were in here, it would not be possible to bring everyone out. Of their safe and sound like this, but Yi Yuan did it. Their group of twelve people walked for a day and night in this confounding mist forest and did not even hurt a single strand of hair. Lin Chao did not believe that this was their luck being good. Nobody would have such good luck. To be able to do it to such an extent was definitely because Yi Yuan was extremely well versed in array formation's path. But Yi Yuan was clearly only 15 or 16 years old. How could he possibly have such profound array Dao attainments? The doubts in Lin Chao's heart grew ever more so. In? You guys look, there are people ahead. And there is also a palace. There. Tian Yu suddenly said. Everyone looked over. Indeed, they saw a bunch of people surrounding before a gigantic palace in groups of twos and threes, discussing something. But nobody entered. Looks like the heavenly sky sex people. No, wait. It seems like the other sex people are all present. But their sea transformation realm experts all doesn't seem to be here. Irekon. The tranquil cloud sect group exchanged glances. Especially M.O. Yuntian, he was unbelievably shocked in his heart. He suddenly recalled the words that Yi Yuan said to him before entering the mystic realm. It actually came true. Sweeping a glance over, other than the heavenly sky sect with all three C. Transformation realm experts present. There was only the high clarity sex. Yu Feng left among the sex C transformation realm experts. And Yu Feng was only a first level C transformation realm. In contrast, the Tranquil Cloud Sect really became the number two formidable sect in the mystic realm. And this result was entirely fomented single-handedly by Yi Yuan. If they did not have Yi Yuan, even if the Tranquil Cloud Sect knew that the existence of strength surpassing crystal formation realm was not permitted. Within the mystic realm, it would also not be possible to walk until here. A single mishap and they might even be completely annihilated. And opposite, Wu Zhao had clearly discovered the Tranquil Cloud Sect group. Two, when he saw the Tranquil Cloud Sect's lineup, he could not help being slightly amazed. The Heavenly Sky Sect brought twenty over people in here this time. Even if they made ample preparations, they had also lost five or six people. They even brought a quasi tier four formation master over this trip. But even so, they still lost quite a few people when crossing the confounding mist forest. Earlier, of course, there were many people from the other sex inside. They were all brought over by the Tranquil Cloud Sex Formations Master. But the Tranquil Cloud Sex team actually did not lose a single man. Not knowing why, thick jealousy welled up from the bottom of his heart. The Tranquil Cloud Sect walked forward for some time and converged with the other sex. Elder May has remarkable abilities to actually bring all your disciples over. Here without losing a single one, anyone could hear the sourness in Wu Zhao's words, but they could emphasize because the sourness in the other sect disciples. Hearts was not lesser than Wu Zhao. Meijin said coolly, just good luck, listening to the meaning of Elder Wu's words, could it be that you'll only be comfortable if our tranquil cloud sect? was completely wiped out. Wu Zhao coughed dryly and said smilingly, Not at all, not at all. I was looking at how the other sects suffered heavy casualties while only your tranquil cloud sect is completely intact and felt rather surprised. That's all. Could it be that your tranquil cloud sect know some things about this mystic realm? These words from Wu Zhao had the suspicions of driving a wedge between them. But this was also his habitual trick. He already used this when just having entered the mystic realm. But Mei Zhen replied, Elder Wu is thinking too much. If we knew anything, this disciple of ours would not be missing an arm too. Everyone followed Mei Zhen's gaze and looked over. Indeed, they saw Pang. 
Wanyin missing an arm and could not help being secretly shocked. Looking at things, the dangers that the Tranquil Cloud sect experienced did not seem to be at all lesser than the other sections. Could it really be that they were only lucky? And right then, Yu Feng could not resist jumping out. Elder Wu, you have to stand up for our high clarity sect. Yi Yuan that punk plotted and caused the death of my senior apprentice brother Wang. Our hatred with him is absolutely irreconcilable. Wu Zhao started to make his move and said solemnly, Elder Mei, everyone, should help each other in times of need after entering this mystic realm. How can you all do such a despicable thing? As the head of the southern domain, my heavenly sky sect has to intervene a little in this matter. How about this? You cripple Yi Yuan's Dantian, and this matter will drop here. Otherwise, Wu Zhao still had half a sentence unsaid, but everyone was clear on his meaning. If the Tranquil Cloud Sect did not cripple Yi Yuan, then that was becoming enemies with his Heavenly Sky Sect. The Heavenly Sky Sect had three Sea Transformation Realm Elders. Even if they could not exert Sea Transformation Realm strength, it was also not what the present Tranquil Cloud Sect could be on par with. Seeing the Heavenly Sky Sect show its stance, Yu Feng also secretly let out a sigh of relief. They were following behind others and serving them carefully this whole road. In order to find Yi Yuan to take revenge today, Yu Feng knew that it was not very practical to take revenge on the entire Tranquil Cloud Sect. After all, the Heavenly Sky Sect still needed cannon. Fodders. But finding Yi Yuan alone for payback was nothing unjustifiable. Furthermore, Yu Feng could tell that Yi Yuan's status in the Tranquil Cloud sect was exceptional for sure. If Yi Yuan could be eliminated, it would absolutely be a tremendous blow to the Tranquil Cloud sect. Upon seeing the Tranquil Cloud sect appear in front of everyone without a single casualty, Yu Feng had a feeling that it would have been impossible for them to do it without Yi Yuan. With the Heavenly Sky sect's might, as long as they were willing to make a Move Yi Yuan would undoubtedly die. Humph! What right does your heavenly sky sect have to listen to their one sided statement and cripple Yi Yuan? Wu Zhao, I'm telling you it's impossible to want me to hand Yi Yuan over. Mei Jin also had an unusually strong stance. This time, regardless whether it was the high clarity sect or heavenly sky sect, they were indeed of the same virtues, wanting him to hand over the person at sight. If they did not have Yi Yuan this entire way, the Tranquil Cloud Sect would have been completely wiped out long ago. If he really handed Yi Yuan over, what kind of person would he, Mei Zhen, be? Wu Zhao flew into a great rage when he heard that. The Tranquil Cloud Sect had always lowered their eyes and been affable in front of his Heavenly Sky Sect. They had never been so domineering before. Wow! Gruesome grit, huh? I want to see today just what you're relying on to. Grow this grit. Also, your tranquil cloud sect better be careful after leaving. The mystic realm. Su Jin. Let's weigh together just where Elder Mei's resolve came from. As he spoke, Wu Zhao and another elder called Su Jin were about to join hands. To deal with Mei Jin. The heavenly sky sect's overbearingness was not without reason. Their strength was formidable and they could send out three sea transformation realm elders. Casually. To other sects, sea transformation realm experts were remarkably precious. Hence, the vast majority of sects only sent one sea transformation realm elder to explore the mystic realm this time. One of the reason was primarily still because they feared that this mystic realm would be too dangerous and that their sea transformation realm elders would fall in here. After all, even a ninth level crystal formation realm died in this mystic realm. Sending sea transformation realm elders over, they might not be able to retreat and scathed either. It was very evident that these sect masters' cautiousness made sense. Because there were already five sects without sea transformation realm elders now. With Wu Zhao and Su Jiang joining hands, Mei Zhen immediately felt the pressure surge. How could he handle two people from the other side alone? Let alone the other side's headcount was many more than this side. Elder Wu, if you're in the mood to throw your weight around here, why not? 
Rack your brain and think about how to enter this palace. Yi Yuan voiced out. Timely. Upon hearing these words, Wu Zhao's expression involuntarily changed. Yi Yuan's words had plainly pricked his sore spot. The reason why this large group of people were pacing around and not advancing was that they could not enter this main hall. Anyone could tell that there was definitely good stuff inside the main hall. But it was all futile if they could not enter. You can actually see through the truth and false of this main hall? Wu Zhao exclaimed in shock. Yi Yuan smiled and said, What can't be seen? Isn't there a number of ash? Piles over there? It should have been left behind when you were forcefully barging into the main hall before, right? Wu Zhao was shaken and thought to himself that this boy had a very scrupulous mind to actually notice even this. Humph! This main hall has an extremely powerful array formation guarding it. Even if we can utilize our full strength, we can't enter too. Listening to what you mean, could it be that you have some means? Wu Zhao said with a cold snort. Yu Feng panicked when he heard this and hurriedly said, Elder Wu, don't listen to this punk's nonsense. What method can he, a puny little spirit, condensation realm have? Previously, senior apprentice brother Wang listened to his flowery words. That's how he fell for his wicked ruse. Wu Zhao's face turned icy as he said, Does this old fellow need you to gesture here and there on how to do things? Yu Feng's words made Wu Zhao very displeased, comparing him to a dead person. Was this a good comparison? Lacking any judgment, he was foolish enough to be struck by lightning and still wanted to blame others for setting up a trap. Moreover, they were at a loss on what to do outside the main gate now. What if this boy really had a way? Wouldn't it be severing their own prospects? The High Clarity sect lost several more disciples on the way. Now there was barely any left. Yu Feng obviously did not dare to argue with Wu Zhao. He could only shut his mouth sensibly. Yi Yuan chuckled and said, What are you saying, Elder Wu? Just as this elder. You said, what method can I, a puny little spirit condensation realm marshal? Artist, have. At this time, the more Yi Yuan intentionally made himself easier to need, the more Wu Zhao felt that Yi Yuan knew something, because he simply had no way of entering. Finally reached here after much difficulty, he could not just turn back. Around, right? It was very clear that this palace was this mystic realm's greatest treasure. Entering a treasure mountain and returning empty-handed? How would he explain to the sect master when he gets back? Yi Yuan, if you really have a way to let us enter, my heavenly sky sect can. Let bygones be bygones about the matter previously. Yi Yuan hurriedly said, Don't. You should just fuss about it. Cripple what needs to be crippled and kill what you want. Please don't be courteous with me. You. Don't refuse a toast only to drink a forfeit. Wu Zhao was so enraged by Yi Yuan that his face turned green. With his status, talking like this was already conscientiously giving Yi Yuan a great deal of face. Who knew that this boy would not buy it at all? He was just about to blow his top when that formation master elder went up and whispered, Senior apprentice brother Wu, perhaps this boy really knows something. In? How so? Wu Zhao asked puzzledly. This grand array in front of their eyes had clearly already surpassed the limits of his junior's abilities. Wanting to go in was impossible. Before this junior of his arrived in front of the main hall, he completely had not discovered that there was a grand array here. Everyone was only abruptly shocked awake when those few disciples were burnt to ashes by that grand array. The confound mist forest is also a humongous entrapment formation. It's pure luck that we can walk out of there. But this group of people walked out, completely without a scratch, which shows that there is definitely an able man. Among them, this boy has nothing to fear. I'm afraid that he has real ability. Wu Zhao listened and thought to himself that this was really the case. When they had just entered the mystic realm, Li Zhangyu even reminded him to Eliminate Ye Yuan. But he did not take it to heart. But such a long time after entering the mystic realm, Ye Yuan this brat was really quite odd.
could it be the grand array that even a quasi-tier four formations master had no way of seeing this boy really had a way? With his thought up to here, Wu Zhao sucked in a deep breath, eased his tone, and said to Yi Yuan, Yi Yuan, just now, it was me who didn't make clear of the situation and was rather one-sided. I apologize to you. Wu Zhao was advanced in years. His skin was already tempered into steel long ago. Changing face faster than flipping a book, it was just that this face change of his also changed the color on Yu Feng's face. Elder Wu, we had a deal. Are you trying to break your word now? Yu Feng said, furiously. Wu Zhao shot him a nonchalant glance and said, What deal did we have? Did I promise you anything? Wang Fan, that moron, failed to even handle a spirit. Condensation realm. If he's dead, then he's dead. What's there to feel pity? For Yu Feng was so incensed that his chest was about to explode. They followed and waited on the heavenly sky sect carefully this entire trip. To blaze a trail with no gains and even lost quite a number of disciples. What they exchanged for was this outcome. Cooperating with the heavenly sky sect was indeed asking a tiger for its skin. Elder Wu, are you trying to tear down the bridge after crossing the river? Yu Feng had a dark face, his chest rising and falling like bellows. Evidently, this feeling of being cheated already enraged him to the limits. But Wu Zhao was indifferent as he said nonchalantly. Tearing the bridge after. Crossing the river? Have we crossed the river yet? You! Yu Feng nearly jumped up. The crossing the river that Wu Zhao was talking about was naturally. Referring to this palace before their eyes. However, were their contributions previously worth nothing? Yu Feng really wanted to fight it out with the heavenly sky sect. But in the end, reason took the upper hand. Finding the heavenly sky sect to risk his life for revenge was no different. From courting death, even if the seven great sects allied together, they might not gain an advantage either. Good, very good. This loss, I, Yu Feng, accept it. But I've also remembered. This grudge. Harumph. Yu Feng forcefully pressed down the rage in his heart and let out a fierce sentence. Except, even he himself did not believe he had any chances of avenging this grudge. There was no way in this mystic realm. It was even more out of the question. After exiting the mystic realm, although the high clarity sect was considerably stronger than the tranquil cloud sect compared to the heavenly sky sect it was much weaker. Wu Zhao was disinclined to bother with Yu Feng too. What was most pressing for him now was entering this palace. Martial nephew Yi, it was this elder's fault for any offense previously. If you have any way of entering the palace, please share. Wu Zhao lowering his status like this and even his form of address towards Yi. Yuan becoming so dear to the point it could be considered doing what others could not do. Yi Yuan saw that the heat was about there but said with a smile, The heavenly sky sect is indeed worthy of being the southern domain's number one great sect. Elder Wu tolerance surpasses others. Yi Yuan admires you. Wu Zhao could obviously tell that Yi Yuan's words had a hidden meaning, but he stroked his beard and said with a laugh, Not at all, martial nephew Yi. Flatters me. Yi Yuan smiled and did not say anything. He slowly walked towards the main hall, scaring Wu Zhao and the rest until their face changed color. Martial nephew Yi, don't walk forward anymore. Don't Zhi. Wu Zhao cried out in shock, but Yi Yuan turned a deaf ear to it and continued walking ahead. Wu Zhao and that formation master exchanged glances, thinking to themselves, could this boy be a fool? Perfectly aware that there was a large array ahead and still colliding into it, but watching Yi Yuan gradually approach closer, their hearts also leaped to their throats. What was this boy trying to do? Right at this moment, Yi Yuan suddenly stood still while that initially calm air suddenly had ripples circulating with brilliance. An invisible barrier actually appeared. Wu Zhao's and everyone's pupils shrunk. Only now did they get a clear view of this large array's true colors. A humongous light veil, an ambulite barrier, surrounded the main hall, completely without any gaps at all. 
that light veil flowed with brilliant lights, looking very stunning. But everyone knew that an enormous danger was hidden behind this beauty. Through this ambulite barrier, Yi Yuan could see clearly that three large words, Eternal Splendor Palace, was written on that palace's main gate. This palace's aura was magnificent. Just by looking at the exterior, it appeared rather run down. One look and you could tell that it had experienced the baptism of time. But this eternal splendor palace was still seeping with an extraordinary aura all over the place. As long as a martial artist came here, they would surely not be able to resist that kind of temptation. And if they were not someone who was extremely proficient in array formations, they would not be able to even enter the gate. Yi Yuan turned around and looked at Wu Zhao with a smile as he said, This Grand Array's name is Absolute Blaze Barrier, a high rank tier 4 with extremely horrifying power. Even if a Soul Sea Realm powerhouse entered, it would be certain death too. Wu Zhao and the rest were all dumbfounded with shock. Certain death for Soul Sea Realm powerhouses. What kind of concept was that? In the entire southern domain, the strongest person was only a Soul Sea Realm. That was also to say that no one in the entire southern domain could pass through this large array called Absolute Blaze Barrier. Just this large array completely cut off all of the southern domain's martial artists outside. The Heavenly Sky Sect had a Tier 4 Formation Master too. But even if he came, here it would probably be to no avail too. Then, does Marshal Nephew Yi have a way to pass through this grand? Array? Wu Zhao asked on tenterhooks. High rank tier 4 grand array was also considered an extremely terrifying existence to the southern domain's number one great sect, the Heavenly Sky. Sect. Yi Yuan did not speak. He turned around, raised his leg, and just took a step forward. Yi Yuan. Wu Zhao and Mei Jin nearly jumped up because Yi Yuan's figure entered that iridescent flowing light barrier just like that and disappeared. Ah, he. He isn't exterminated by the Grand Array, right? Isn't this boy too rash? This is a Tier 4 Grand Array. He entered directly, just like that. Wrong. When those people entered previously, they were burnt into ashes by extremely powerful flames. But there is no reaction at all from that boy. Entering. The crowd who did not understand the inside story all started guessing. They did not know what happened. Wu Zhao really wanted to follow Yi Yuan and walk in like this. But he did not have the guts. Thinking back and forth, he was incessantly conflicted. But right then, that barrier moved again. Yi Yuan's profile appeared in front of everyone once more. When everybody saw the scene, they were all clicking their tongue and marveling. This spirit condensation realm boy is really godly. That is a high tier 4. Grand array. He entered and exited like it was flat ground. Where did Tranquil Cloud Sect find such a monster? If they were to develop like this, what will the southern domain have to do with us? Hee <laughs> hee. I reckon that the ones who are the most worried aren't us, right? The Heavenly Sky Sect will most likely think of ways to eliminate this boy after. Exiting this mystic realm. Of course, the prerequisite is that they can leave. First, it was evident that everyone also knew that this eternal splendor palace was not an easy place. Barring no accidents, it was likely riddled with dangers. Yi Yuan called out to Wu Zhao. The absolute blaze barrier looks to be only one thin layer. In reality, there are innumerable twists and turns inside the Array formation, far from as easy as it looks from the outside. This place is the absolute blaze barrier's sole life gate. If you want to enter, follow in my footsteps. Don't take a single misstep or else bear the consequences. Yourself. Wu Zhao pondered for a moment and said to the formation master, Junior, apprentice brother Yu Yang, I'll have to trouble you to follow Yi Yuan closely. We'll follow you and walk. This formation master was called Zhao Yuyang, a quasi-tier 4 formation master. From the Heavenly Sky Sect, formation masters normally had very high status in sects because they all basically bore the mission of the sect's final line of defense. Once the sect protecting Grand Formation was broken, the sect would not be far from annihilation either. 
Zhao Yuyang's status in the heavenly sky sect could be imagined. Letting him follow Yi Yuan and walk at this time was actually also taking on an enormous risk, because Zhao Yuyang's understanding of this array formation completely cannot compare to Yi Yuan. Once Yi Yuan played a dirty trick, he would naturally be the first to bear the brunt. But at this time, Wu Zhao could not think of any other method to. Musing for a moment, Zhao Yuyang nodded and followed Yi Yuan. But Wu Zhao said to Mei Zhan at this time, Your tranquil cloud sect disciples, and our heavenly sky sect disciples, one person follows another person. Elder. Mei. The two of us cover the rear. This Wu Zhao was apparently a cautious person too, making the heavenly sky. Sect disciples and the tranquil cloud sect disciples enter the grand array in. Turns. Even if Yi Yuan wanted to play any tricks, it was also impossible to bring everyone away, sparing the rat to save the dishes. This was taking the tranquil cloud sect. Disciples as hostages. Everyone understood the prowess of the formation. As long as they took a single wrong step, they could be burnt to ashes. If Yi Yuan really played some tricks, the heavenly sky sect could fling the fire on the tranquil cloud sect disciples too. Mei Zhan was just thinking of refuting when Yi Yuan's voice transmitted into his mind. Elder Mei just do as they say. Otherwise, they won't set their mind at ease. To follow me. Regarding Yi Yuan, Mei Zhen already unconditionally trusted him. He just responded coolly with two words. Got it. Then, he said to Mo Yuntian as if nothing had happened. Just do as Elder Wu says. Otherwise, he would probably feel uneasy even when eating and sleeping. Yun Tian, you follow Elder Zhao then. The rest all follow. Wu Zhao was also disinclined to haggle over the sarcasm in Mei Zhen's words. He still had to do this kind of necessary precaution. Otherwise, wouldn't he be counting money for others after being sold? Him being able to lower his stance to invite Yi Yuan to make a move did not represent that he could trust Yi Yuan let alone that the heavenly sky sect and tranquil cloud sect's relation was far from amicable, but he already made the decision in his heart. He must find an opportunity to finish Yi Yuan off. Letting this boy continue developing, the future would definitely be the heavenly sky sect's nightmare. After the heavenly sky sect side finished preparing, Yi Yuan lead the way. His figure entered the absolute blaze barrier once again and vanished from sight. Zhao Yuyan did not dare delay and followed closely behind, also disappearing in front of everyone. Next was Mo Yuntian, the Heavenly Sky Sect Disciples and Tranquil Cloud Sect. Disciples. Just like this, they entered the grand array one after another. The other sect disciples exchanged glances and also followed in after the two sects entered. They already had no other choices. They could only brave the jeopardies and the large formation. In front was the absolute blaze barrier. Behind was the boundless confounding. Mist forest. With Zhao Yuyan leading, there was simply no way for these people to walk out of the confounding mist forest, let alone leaving the mystic realm. They could only follow Yi Yuan if they wanted to strive for this slim chance of survival. Yu Feng's expression was very ugly. He had similarly fallen into a very awkward situation now, seeing as the people became increasingly lesser if everybody went in and he did not, then he could only wait to die here, because they had no way of catching up to the footsteps of the person in front. Finally, Yu Feng gritted his teeth and said to the disciples, Go! Zhao Yuyang followed Yi Yuan closely and did not dare to even take a single wrong step. As a formation master, he could better understand the dangers of this large formation. As he followed Yi Yuan, he also studied this large formation. As a formation master, his infatuation with array formations was not beneath alchemists, and whether he could understand this grand array or not involved whether the Heavenly Sky Sect could leave this grand array safely or not. This also made Zhao Yuyang feel gravely responsible. Study it just to understand and not crack the grand array. Zhao Yuyang had to follow according to the route Yi Yuan walked to deduce this. Grand Array's escape route. The reason why Wu Zhao made him follow Yi Yuan. The goal laid here. 
Yi Yuan obviously would not explain to him the mysteries of this grand array. He could only rely on himself. As Zhao Yuyang followed Yi Yuan's footsteps tightly, the calculations in his brain were also operating at his limits. High tier for grand array, it was simply impossible for him to understand if he did not risk his life. If he was outside the array formation, even if he was given three or five years, he might not be able to understand this grand array either. But now that Yi Yuan was leading the way in front, it was different. What Yi Yuan walked was indeed the life gate. Zhao Yuyang could see this point when he entered the grand array. Hence, the process of Yi Yuan walking was also saving a portion of this grand array's iceberg for Zhao Yuyang. Cracking the entire grand array unless Zhao Yuyang could advance to become a tier 4 formation master, otherwise it was essentially impossible. But if it were just finding the life gate, the difficulty would drop. Drastically. Of course, if Yi Yuan were not leading the way ahead, this would be an impossible task for Zhao Yuyang. Furthermore, this mission of following Yi Yuan to seek out the Grand Arrays. Life Gate, it also had tremendous benefits to Zhao Yuyang once he could complete it. Rays of light filled the skies of the Grand Array. Iridescent colors circulated, looking exquisitely beautiful. Yi Yuan strolled leisurely like in a courtyard, as if walking out of this. Grand Array was a piece of cake to him. In truth, it was indeed a very simple matter. In his previous life, Ji Qingyun was a Tier 9 Formation Master. Although it was only auxiliary, Tier 4 Formations truly did not pose much difficulty to him. This absolute blaze barrier might be extremely powerful in the Endless Worlds. Southern Domain. But placed in the Divine Realm, it was nothing. Tier 4 Formation Masters in the Divine Realm, one grab and there would be a large bunch. If Yi Yuan could not even crack this kind of array formations, then he might as well find a piece of tofu to commit suicide with. Zhao Yuyang followed Yi Yuan at every step, but did not notice that Yi Yuan's footsteps were becoming progressively faster. His entire mind was placed on the absolute blaze barrier and he simply did not have spare time to consider other things. But the computing in his brain was clearly unable to keep up. Zhao Yuyang did not feel it, but the people behind clearly detected it. Yi Yuan, why are you walking faster and faster? Slow down, Wu Zhao shouted. At the top of his voice, Wu Zhao was shouting, but he had no choice but to increase his pace to catch. If he got lost, then he could only wait to die. But Yi Yuan ignored him and walked faster and faster. After entering the absolute blaze barrier, it was not up to Wu Zhao anymore. Zhao Yuyang had already entered an infatuated state currently and did not hear even Wu Zhao's shouting. All the way until Yi Yuan vanished at the next node and Zhao Yuyang stepped on. The footprint Yi Yuan left behind prior to this was he shocked awake. In? What's going on? Where's Yi Yuan? Zhao Yuyang looked left and right but could not find Yi Yuan's silhouette anymore. Wu Zhao gnashed his teeth in hatred and said to Mei Zhun with a cold sneer, He he. That boy abandoned you all and escaped alone. Elder Mei, you all. Taught a fine disciple. But Mei Zhen said composedly, I think you can also tell that there's no harm. Even if all of us die here. As long as Yi Yuan can exit alive, why would my tranquil cloud sect need to fear your heavenly sky sect in the future? Evidently, Mei Jin did not have much hope either. This was a tier 4 array formation. It was already very impressive that Yi Yuan could, trying to rescue everyone from the Tranquil Cloud sect under the double teaming from the Heavenly Sky sect disciples was something virtually impossible. Wu Zhao's expression involuntarily choked. His beard billowed as he glared and said, Harumph! Do you think that sect master will wait for the day that your tranquil cloud sect rises? However, I'll eradicate you all first before talking. With Yuyang here, we might not be unable to walk out of this grand array. When Wu Zhao said this, every sect's disciples were inwardly alarmed. Could this heavenly sky sect be conniving something? Wu Zhao was just about to make a move when he noticed a blur in front of him. Mei Zhen's figure actually vanished before his eyes just like that. 
same as Meijin, every single onf of the tranquil cloud sect disciples, vanished into thin air just like that. With a swoosh, seven figures appeared in a stretch of empty space. What happened? Yi Yuan, is that you? Tian Yu shouted right after landing on the ground. Right at this moment, there was a blur before everyone's eyes. Ye Yuan's silhouette appeared out of the void in front of them. Tian Yu said in elation when he saw him, Yi Yuan, it's really you. Yi Yuan chuckled and said, Who else can it be except me? Meijin asked in bafflement. This array formation is abnormally profound. Being able to escape by yourself is already very hard. How did you do it? Meijin knew very well in his heart for Zhao Yuyang to be able to lead. Everyone out of the confounding mist forest, his array Dao standards could be seen at a glance. Even if Yi Yuan's array Dao level was more impressive than Zhao Yuyang's, being able to find the life gate when facing a high tier for grand array was already the limit, right? But looking at Yi Yuan's appearance, how was this his limit? Great master's knowledge reaches the heaven. He is extremely proficient in array Dao as well. Since I know the name of this absolute blaze barrier, what difficulty is there in cracking it? Yi Yuan said, Mei Jin was thoroughly speechless. What looked to be extremely profound to him was treated as foundational studies to others. What was this called? This was called losing on the starting line. Yi Yuan. Then what about the other sex people? Mei Jin could not help. Asking. Yi Yuan said calmly. They have no great enmity or deep-seated hatred with me, so I left them a slim chance of survival. As for whether or not they can walk. Out alive, that will have to depend on their fortunes. All right, we can exit. The formation by walking over there. Let's go. After Yi Yuan and the tranquil cloud sex people disappeared, the other people in the grand array were already all muddled up and in a mess. That punk is truly too abominable to actually leave so many of us in the grand array to run our own course. When did such a monster appear in the tranquil cloud sect? If he can grow up, our southern domain setup will most likely have changes. Your mum, you're still in the mood to bother with the southern domains. Set up, we're currently trapped in the grand array. As long as we move, slightly we'll be burnt to ashes. You should think about how to get out. That punk better pray to not let me catch him. Otherwise I'll make him regret being born into this world. The one speaking was a third level crystal formation realm martial artist. Everyone looked at him like he was an idiot. Even if Yi Yuan was an ordinary 8th level spirit condensation realm that would have to wait until everybody got out first, much less at this time, anyone was aware that Yi Yuan was not an ordinary spirit condensation realm. Martial artist. All shut up for me. Wu Zhao bellowed with essence energy. With his shout, everyone indeed quietened down. Wu Zhao shouted to Zhao Yuyang from behind. Yuyang, how is it? Can you find? The way out. Ever since discovering Yi Yuan's disappearance, he had been in lost in thought. He only opened his mouth when he heard Wu Zhao's yell at this time and said, I can give it a shot, but I don't have absolute assurance. Hearing Zhao Yuyang's words, everyone perked up their spirits. The hope of leaving was now all entrusted on Zhao Yuyang's body. All right. Everybody shut your mouth for me now. Yuyang, you lead the way. You have any needs, just say. Wu Zhao was also cutting off all means of retreat now. Yu Yang nodded, but his mind started spinning at high speeds once again. His deduction of the grand array had never stopped since he followed Yi Yuan and walked until now, but currently he already had some gains. One could say that Yi Yuan bringing him from the life gate and walking until here was equivalent to revealing a corner of this grand array's iceberg in front of him, and what he wanted to do now was to deduce the remaining portions. This job, Yi Yuan had already helped him do the better part of it. But even this lesser part was not so easy to complete for Zhao Yuyang. Indeed, after walking safely for over a dozen steps, Zhao Yuyang stopped. His brows were locked lightly as he pondered for a long time. Everybody held their breaths and stared at him. 
but Zhao Yuyang stood like this for an hour without moving. After an hour, Zhao Yuyang turned around and said helplessly, Senior, apprentice brother Wu, it's a crossroad ahead. One path is life, one path is death. With my abilities, I really can't differentiate them. We only have a 50% chance. At this time, Zhao Yuyang was everyone's hope. If he was exterminated from taking a wrong step, then everybody only had the option to wait and die. When Wu Zhao heard this, he asked, How should the two paths be taken? Zhao Yuyang casually gave an explanation about the crossroad. Wu Zhao lifted a low-level crystal formation realm martial artist without a word and threw him over. Then, under everyone's eyes, that martial artist was burnt to ashes. Everybody sucked in a cold breath. This move from Wu Zhao caught them. Unawares, everyone did not react to it. That disciple was only at the early stage crystal formation realm. He simply had no way of resisting under Wu Zhao's hands. Wu Zhao, you, what right do you have to use my junior for pathfinding? The dead person's senior was unbelievably furious. Wu Zhao looked at him coldly and said in a solemn voice, sacrificing him, alone to exchange for a way out for so many of us. What inappropriate about? If you feel unresigned about it, you can scout on your own. You can give it a shot how far out you can walk yourself. That senior involuntarily choked up. But he tried to argue through sophistry. Then, what right do you have to grab my junior? But Wu Zhao said something that made everyone's hearts chill. From now onwards, if my junior apprentice brother Yu Yang encounters such things again, your six great sex will take turns to send someone out to scout ahead. Hence, you guys best pray that you can pick the survival path. But right then, Yu Feng sneered coldly and said, Why should our six sex all send people out except for your heavenly sky sect? Wu Zhao looked at him indifferently and said, a junior apprentice brother, Yang came from our sect. Isn't that enough? If there was no him, would you guys dare to take a single step forward? There is never a free lunch in this world. Of course, you people can also not send anyone out. But please don't follow us. Otherwise, don't blame me for being discourteous. The great sex did not speak again this time. It was very clear that this was their only way out. They had no other alternatives. But Wu Zhao's unyieldingness made the six great sects produce a mentality of being bound by a common hatred for the same enemy. Wu Zhao obviously knew this too, but he did not care. Now there was only the tranquil cloud sect that could threaten him. He did not mind what the other sects' opinions were. A light flashed. The party of eight finally walked out from the absolute blaze. Barrier grand array. Upon exiting, all the Tranquil Cloud sect disciples heaved a sigh of relief. Inside this high tier 4 grand array, that sort of majestic pressure crushed them until they felt asphyxiated. Yi Yuan lifted his head and looked at Eternal Splendor Palace. These three words, an inexplicable feeling welled up in his heart. This sect was surely a very powerful sect in the endless world in the past. But with the passing of time, the people were gone and the chambers empty. It was just like his father's medicine king hall. Be careful, seniors. This eternal splendor palace is most likely not so easy to enter. This place is filled with dangers everywhere. I'm also unaware of what there is, Yi Yuan reminded. Finished talking. He took the lead and stepped up, pushing open the palaces. Main gates. A desolate main hall. Dim lighting serene emptiness, and pressing cold air. SSS. This grim place makes my hair stand on its ends. Tian Yu spoke. A gust of icy wind blew over, making him shudder. This main hall has array formations surrounding it. Although it's deserted, for a long time, it's untouched by any specks of dust. I think that this sect had extraordinary foundations back then in the array formations path. From the inside to the outside of the entire mystic realm, there were virtually large formation guarding, especially that heavenly thunder gold. Lock formation. 
It was also an extremely powerful existence among Tier 5 Grand. Arrays. The southern domain is withered and decayed in terms of array formations. Path. Only a large sect like the Heavenly Sky Sect can nurture Tier 4. Formation Master. But their Tier 4 formation masters are seriously too weak. When compared to this sect, Meijin sighed with admiration. Yi Yuan nodded and said, Everyone, be more careful. Maybe some kind of danger also exists in this main hall. Actually, without needing Yi Yuan's reminder, how could the others dare to lower their guard after experiencing so much in the mystic realm? Yi Yuan, look over there. There's a painting. Tian Yu suddenly shouted. Yi Yuan noted. He saw the painting too. On the outside he was expressionless, but on the inside, a myriad of profanities coursed through his mind. He was all too familiar with the person in the painting. The person in the painting had a sage-like demeanor and was elegant and suave. It was just that the young man's face had some discrepancies with the person. Yi Yuan knew. However, Yi Yuan recognized him at a single glance. The person in the painting was precisely the younger version of the Tier 9 formation's emperor Lu Linfeng. And Lu Linfeng also had another title, which was one of the Divine Realm's Ten. Great Divine Kings. Grand Yen Divine King. The Ten Great Divine Kings were people who all developed their respective domains to the limits. Although each of their developmental directions was different, they had a common point which was transcendent strength. Lu Linfeng could rely on the formation's path to occupy a position in the Ten Great Divine Kings. One could see just how high his attainments in Array Dao was. F asterisk CK his grandmother. No wonder I had a familiar feeling when I entered the mystic realm. After screwing around for so long, this sect is actually the Dao. Teachings that Lu Linfeng that loser left behind. It's just that he probably never imagined that his Dao teachings had already been eradicated for God. Knows how many years. Unexpected. Oh, how unexpected. That loser actually came from the endless world while I reincarnated in his native land. For a moment, Yi Yuan was filled with endless emotions in his heart. After causing a disturbance in this mystic realm for quite some time, turned out that this was the Tao teachings left behind by an old acquaintance. Such a pity. Your disciples and followers are no longer around. Otherwise, I'll definitely discipline them properly on your behalf to vent this frustration in my chest. Yi Yuan thought to himself gloomily. The martial arts world never used age to determine seniority but used strength to rank seniority. Back then, Ji Qingyun was the youngest among the Divine Realm's Divine King powerhouses, but his alchemy Dao strength reigned supreme in that era. Only his father Ji Zhengyang and one or two of those old fellows from the Alchemist Association could suppress him by a head. Hence, Yi Yuan had always interacted with the Ten Great Divine Kings as the same generation. But this Grand Yen Divine King Lu Linfeng was an old demon that had already lived for several thousand years. Speaking of it, Yi Yuan and Lu Linfeng even had a not too minor grudge. That old punk used his formation's Path Nine scripts as a bet back then to goad. Yi Yuan into competing in the formation's path with him. The result was that Yi Yuan suffered a crushing defeat and obediently refined three tier nine medicinal pills for him. Three high grade tier nine medicinal pills. Yi Yuan refined until he was on the verge of vomiting blood back then before. He managed to refine three high grade tier nine medicinal pills. In the end, that fellow sent over a sentence. Haha, let's bet again next time. If we have the opportunity, at that time, Ji Qingyun nearly spewed out a mouthful of old blood. Although Ji Qingyun was also a tier 9 formation master, compared to the Grand Yen Divine King, the gap was naturally not an ordinary kind of big. But Yi Yuan remembered this unprecedented shame until now. Now, he actually accidentally stumbled into Lu Linfeng's old nest but had no way of bullying his disciples and followers. This made Yi Yuan very depressed. Ye Yuan, Ye Yuan. What's with you? Is it possible that you recognize the person in that painting? Pang Wanyan's words interrupted Yi Yuan's thoughts. 
Yi Yuan came around and coughed dryly, saying, That fellow looks so ugly. Why, would I know him? Pang Wanyan looked at the painting and was somewhat puzzled. The person in the painting looked elegant and suave. How was this ugly? But he looked at Yi Yuan again. Hmm, seems like his looks was indeed slightly worse compared to Yi Yuan's. Pretty boys all had such confidence. This old punk, wait until I storm back to the divine realm. I'll definitely find you to avenge my previous disgrace. Yi Yuan said hatefully in his heart. But before he finished venting in his heart, he heard a creak. Yu Cheng actually stepped on a stone board. That stone board sunk slightly. Everyone's heart also sunk down. No one had yet to react when the 18 statues originally in the corners of the main hall actually moved at the same time. This time, the basket was really poked hard. Every person all saw these 18 statues right after entering the gate. They even thought that they were only stone sculptures. But currently, the outer appearances of those 18 statues actually all fell off, revealing brown skin. Apart from the skin being different from humans, these 18 statues were actually indistinguishable from humans. Yi Yuan initially also thought that these were ordinary statues. But at this present moment, another myriad of profanities coursed through his mind again. Sword puppets. 18 sword puppets. Lu Linfeng that old punk loved to fiddle with such toys. When he saw these sword puppets, Yi Yuan knew that this was definitely left. Behind before that old punk ascended. The so-called sword puppets were actually doll puppets that used essence. Crystals to activate. Fortunately, these sword puppets should be the works from Lu Linfeng's early. Years only having tier 3 strength. If it were the toys from after he had ascended, then it would be the end. Today, everyone would have to die here. Yi Yuan had seen before some tier 9 sword puppets at Lu Linfeng's place. They were powerful. Furthermore, what Lu Linfeng was strongest in array formations. He could match divine king powerhouses by using sword puppets to set up a sword formation. Yi Yuan even wanted to ask for a few to play with back then. But that old punk was stingy as hell and was unwilling to give even one. Lu Linfeng, our grudge is growing bigger and bigger. You wait for me to head back to the divine realm to take care of you. Yi Yuan was so furious that his face was contorted. The 18 sword puppets were swift in action and surrounded Yi Yuan's group of eight together very quickly. Though these sword puppets only had tier 3 strength, Yi Yuan knew that these 18 sword puppets definitely would not fight separately. Wanting to break them one by one was impossible. Want to destroy these sword puppets? The only way was to crack the formation. Elder May seniors don't move randomly. In a while when we fight, you all listen to my command. Please do not make your own decisions, Yi Yuan said. Hearing Yi Yuan being so solemn, everyone also felt secretly alarmed. They originally thought that with Mei Zhen and Mo Yuntian around these tier three, puppets were not much of a threat. But looking at it now, it seemed like that was not the case. The 18 sword puppets' bodies shifted. Mei Zhen and the rest immediately felt a powerful pressure. But when Yi Yuan saw the scene, his expression changed. Yi Yuan, I is this sword formation? Why do I feel like each one of these guys suddenly became much stronger? But looking at their auras, it's merely late. Stage crystal formation realm. Tian Yu asked with a baffled look. Yi Yuan's expression had a rarely seen somberness as he said solemnly. Tier 3. Sword formation. Lesser nine revolutions interlocking formation. Tian Yu did not notice Yi Yuan's face and only heard Tier 3 formation. He heaved a sigh of relief and said, Turns out that it's only a Tier 3 formation. That's good. That's good. Good my asterisk is. Yi Yuan could not resist throwing out a curse word. He said, Although these 18 sword puppets only have late stage crystal formation realm. Strength under the augmentation of the sword formation their combat strength. Definitely do not lose out to the full-powered Elder May. What did you say? You meant that these 18 sword puppet strength is comparable to third level C transformation realm? This. How is this possible? Tian Yu had a look of disbelief. 
See Transformation Realm Martial Artists vs. Crystal Formation Realm. Martial Artists was complete crushing. It simply could not be made up for. Using numbers. Forget about 18 9th level Crystal Formation Realms, even 28 or 38 could not. Possibly win a first level C Transformation Realm Martial Artist. But now, Yi Yuan said that the formation formed by these 18 sword puppets could clash head-on with a third-level C Transformation Realm Marshal. Artist, wasn't such an increment a little too terrifying? But Yi Yuan sneered coldly and said, Heh heh, to a Grandmaster of Array Dao, this is nothing impossible. Yi Yuan still had half a sentence he did not say out. If the present Lu, Lin Feng were called to set up the Lesser Nine Revolutions interlocking. Formation, there would be nothing impressive about these eighteen sword puppets. Directly crossing a major realm to face off with a ninth level C. Transformation realm. These sword puppets before their eyes were at most equivalent to Lu Linfings. Standards several thousand years ago, weak to the max. Although Yi Yuan disliked Lu Linfeng in every way, Yi Yuan was still secretly convinced even though he would not agree verbally in terms of Array Dao. This person's comprehension abilities in Array Dao was the absolute number one. In the Divine Realm, his self-created formation's Path 9 scripts was absolutely the dream. Treasure Book of the Array Masters in the Divine Realm. Even Yi Yuan was unbelievably covetous. If not for this, why would he bet with Lu Linfeng? Yi Yuan was not a fool. He also knew that he was not Lu Linfeng's match. The formation's Path 9 scripts was still tremendously alluring to Yi Yuan. In his previous life, Yi Yuan's attainments in the formation's path were second. Only to his alchemy path. If he could advance another step in the formation's path, perhaps he could go further along the alchemy path. But, Yi Yuan, a tier 3 formation should not stump you, right? After all, you even walked out of a high tier 4 grand array easily. Mo Yuntian spoke. Yi Yuan shook his head and said, I don't have full confidence. Everyone felt stifled when they heard this. Yi Yuan was like in his own home, inside such a horrifying grand array like the absolute blaze barrier. He actually said that he was not confident facing a tier 3 array formation. This was seriously something inconceivable, seemingly detecting everyone's bewilderment. Yi Yuan said, The comprehension. A formation's path is similarly divided into high and low. The same array. Formation can unleash completely different power in different people's hands. Although this lesser nine revolutions interlocking formation is not high rank. Wanting to crack it is extremely difficult. They all only came to a realization now that turns out this was the same logic. As comprehending concepts. Except, even Yi Yuan was not confident in cracking the formation. Wouldn't. Everybody be in danger? Coming. Everyone's hearts tightened. Only to see the long swords in those sword. Puppets' hands tremble. Piercingly cold sword chi stung until everyone felt. Very uncomfortable. Swoosh. 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 The movements of these sword puppets were highly erratic, instantly destroying. The tranquil cloud sect eight people's formation into pieces. Yi Yuan's figure moved dashing towards Pang Wanyan's side, pushing aside the long sword that came close to stabbing his back. But he yelled out, Elder, may this place's essence energy restriction is already gone. You can deal with these sword puppets without any shackles. Mei Jun was overjoyed when he heard that. His aura immediately skyrocketed, rising to third level C transformation realm strength. Indeed, in this main hall, the heavenly thunder essence locking grand array was actually blocked. With Mei Jun's formidable strength keeping things in check, the pressure on. The other disciples suddenly reduced by a great deal. But even so, dangers were constantly appearing everywhere around the others, including Mo Yuntian. Now they finally know what Yi Yuan's words meant. The might of this lesser. Nine revolutions interlocking formation was seriously too terrifying. Even Mo Yuntian, this late stage crystal formation realm also felt that he was struggling hard when facing one sword puppet. After a few rounds, they were immediately unable to withstand it. These 18 sword puppets formed pairs. Each series of attack was interlinked. 
simply not giving their opponents any time to catch their breath. Moreover, the attacks of these nine teams of sword puppets actually had compounding effects. One blow was as strong as the other. Even Mei Jun this third level C transformation realm did not dare to fight head on to. This lesser nine revolutions interlocking formation was simply infallible. Just like an integrated mass attack machine. From the start, Yi Yuan was running his legs off to help support his seniors. If not for Yi Yuan, most likely, there would already be quite a few people who lost their lives under the swords of the sword puppets. Currently, in Yi Yuan's heart, he had already extended his greetings to Lu, Lin Feng's ancestors countless times. However, this lesser nine revolutions interlocking formation is incomparably profound. With Yi Yuan's array Dao attainments, he could also just protect himself inside the array formation. A sword puppet appeared behind Tian Yu expressionlessly, its long sword, stabbing towards his back without any hesitation. Yi Yuan's gaze grew intent. He arrived by his side with a flash and pulled, hard, barely avoiding this fatal blow. Even so, Tian Yu was still stabbed in the shoulder by the sword puppet. Suffering this wound, Tian Yu's strength would surely be heavily discounted. Yi Yuan was incredibly worried in his heart. At this rate, there would definitely be casualties. Yi Yuan's mind spun like a drill and knew that being passive like this was not the way. He suddenly hollered at Mei Jin. Elder Mei, you defend the other. Senor. Although Mei Jun's combat strength was already full-blown at this time, he completely could not gain any advantage inside the array formation. Instead, he became more alarmed as he fought. He could sense that if he faced this array formation alone, the outcome would ultimately still be being defeated and killed. Eighteen late-stage crystal formation realm puppets could kill a third-level C. Transformation realm expert. This was simply mind-boggling. Hearing Yi Yuan's howl, Mei Zhen immediately took Yi Yuan's place without any word. While he did not know much about array formations, his realm was right there. After all, stepping in for others briefly was still feasible. Yi Yuan, hurry up. I'm afraid that I can't hold on for too long. Mei Zhen said anxiously. The attacks of the 18 sword puppets made people's eyes go blurry. Mei Zhen could still withstand for others temporarily but it would be hard to avoid. Oversight as time passed. Yi Yuan dodged a sword puppet's attack with a squat and said gravely, Give me ten breaths of time. Mei Jin gritted his teeth and said, Okay, ten breaths, that was also the time needed to breath ten times. Wanting to find the flaw in this array formation was truly too challenging. But Yi Yuan had no other alternatives either. He could only burn his boats. Taking in a deep breath, Yi Yuan actually shut his eyes and instantly entered. The heart like still water state. Shutting his eyes, the surrounding happenings were imprinted within Yi Yuan's. Divine soul as extremely fine details appeared. The orbit of the eighteen sword puppets, Mei Zhen, Mo Yun Tian, Ti Wu Jiu, Tian Yu, Pang Wanyan. All of this and everything were so clear. The originally uncapturable traces looked so clear right now. It was just like, the entire world slowed down. Unknowingly, Yi Yuan's heart like still water realm heightened again. One breath, two breaths, three breaths. Time trickled away. Only without Yi Yuan's tying down did Mei Zhen feel the incredible pressure on him. His nerves were wounded tightly to the limits, and he did not dare to slack. Off in the slightest, because any easing up could cost a disciple's life. Every breath, Mei Zhen felt like it was as drawn out as a century. Every breath, Mei Zhen was exhausted from running around. Saving this person. The previous second, but the next second, dashing to another person's side. Every breath was likewise felt endless to Yi Yuan. Yi Yuan's soul force spread out, capturing every movement of the eighteen sword. Puppets. A sword attacked from behind. It was as if Yi Yuan grew eyes at the back dodging easily with a slight tilt of his body. It was as if these eighteen sword puppets formed an all-encompassing net within this area. What Yi Yuan wanted to do was to unravel this inescapable net. In a twinkle eight breaths of time had passed. But Mei Jin had already 
reached his limits in this short eight breaths of time. Clank! Meijin helped Du Chang deflect a sword, but his nerves suddenly tightened, because another sword had already arrived in front of the one-armed Pang. Wanyin, this lesser nine revolutions interlocking formation was unbelievably profound. Meijin being able to sustain for eight breaths of time was already the limits. He was truly helpless against this sword. In Pang Wanyin's eyes, that sword enlarged continually. He used all the strength in his body to try to evade the sword, but it was already too late. Am I still going to die here after all? Pang Wanyin closed his eyes in despair. Ding! A crisp sound sounded. The sword puppet sword was pushed aside. Pang Wanyin was stunned. He opened his eyes to take a look. Turns out that it was Yi Yuan who charged out from the side and helped him deflect the sword. Yi Yuan saved his life again. Three steps to the left, five steps forward. Follow me. Don't walk. Incorrectly. Pang Wanyin did not have time to give thanks yet when Yi Yuan's voice sounded beside his ears. No time to think too much, Pang Wanyin instinctively followed Yi Yuan's footsteps and walked three steps to the left and five steps forward. A total distance of merely eight steps, but the two of them suffered the attacks of over a dozen swords. During this process, Yi Yuan helped Pang Wanyin resolve several incidences of danger again. After eight steps, Yi Yuan said again, move two steps back, three steps to the right. Pang Wanyin did not dare to delay. He continued following Yi Yuan. Just like that, after Pang Wanyin twirled around with Yi Yuan six times only to see his eyes blur, there was actually no more sword puppets around him. The two of them exited the sword formation just like that. Go to one side and rest, senior apprentice brother Pang. I'll go and bring the other seniors out. Yi Yuan did not wait for Pang Wanyin's reply. With a flash, he entered the formation again. With a few leaps and bounds, Yi Yuan arrived at Du Cheng's side. Currently, Du Cheng's body was full of sword wounds. If not for Mei Zhen protecting him. Fervently this whole time, he would probably be a dead soul claimed by a sword. Already. Follow my footsteps. Senior apprentice brother Du. Take care not to get. Lost. Yi Yuan said. Du Cheng gritted his teeth and said, Okay. Yi Yuan brought Du Chang and arrived beside Tian Yu in two or three steps. Then he brought Tian Yu and arrived at Ti Wu Jiu's side. Just like that, Yi Yuan finally gathered all the seniors together. Seniors, follow me out of the formation first. Leave the rest to me. Finish talking, Yi Yuan brought everyone to break out of the encirclement by following a set pattern. Fortunately, these sword puppets were lifeless objects and did not have their own will. Otherwise, it would not be so easy either for Yi Yuan to want to bring everyone out so smoothly. When Yi Yuan brought everybody out of the formation, the 18 sword puppets focused all of their attacks on Mei Zhen. Mei Zhen's exhaustion earlier was also enormous. When everybody went out, he immediately felt the pressure rise significantly. Seniors, go rest first. I'll go and swap Elder Mei out. Yi Yuan was about to Enter the formation after he finished talking. Hang on. Yi Yuan, you want to crack the formation alone? Even Elder Mei can't. Handle these puppets? Can you do it alone? Mo Yun Tian asked in surprise. Yi Yuan smiled faintly and said, Not crack the formation. You'll know in a while. Finished talking, Yi Yuan leaped and clashed together with those sword puppets. Once more. Elder Mei, you exit the formation first. Leave this place to me. Ye Yuan. Shouted. In? You alone. Mei Zhen was flabbergasted when he heard that. Don't ask so much anymore. Follow my instructions and take your steps. Six. Steps to the right, one step back. Yi Yuan said. Mei Zhen's trust in Yi Yuan had already reached an unconditional extent. He immediately hesitated no more and moved his feet according to Yi Yuan's instructions. With Mei Zhen's third level C transformation realm strength, wanting to charge outside was not hard as long as he knew the secret of leaving the formation. Indeed, under Yi Yuan's directions, Mei Zhen's eyes blurred, and he left the array formation. 
Now, there was only Yi Yuan alone left within the lesser nine revolutions. Interlocking formation. Yi Yuan looked at those expressionless sword puppets and said with a cold smile, Lu Linfeng, you miser. Today I'm gonna take in all of these sword puppets of yours. Consider it collecting some interest first. And also this lesser nine revolutions interlocking formation. I won't be courteous. Finish talking. Yi Yuan shut his eyes once more and entered heart like still. Water state. Without the impediment from his seniors, Yi Yuan could experience this lesser. Nine revolutions interlocking formation to his heart's content. He only used eight breaths of time just now and barely managed to find the way. Out of the formation. But he was still far off from wanting to completely. Crack this lesser nine revolutions interlocking formation. Mei Jun and the rest already witnessed the power of this lesser nine. Revolutions interlocking formation but did not know how powerful this array. Formation was, but Yi Yuan knew that inside Lu Linfeng's formation's path nine scripts, there was an array formation called Greater Nine Revolutions Profound Heaven. Interlocking formation. It was evolved from this lesser nine revolutions. Interlocking formation. The power of the Great Nine Revolutions Profound Heaven Interlocking Formation was enough to slaughter over a dozen ordinary divine kings. Even when compared to the spirit bristle divine king's nine suns burning. Heaven, it was not any weaker. This array formation before their eyes was only a dead object. Yi Yuan knew that if Lu Linfeng were here presiding over it, their party would simply have no chance to escape. Forget about sea transformation realm experts. Even soul sea realm powerhouses might not be able to escape. That was the true strength of the Divine Realm's Ten Great Divine Kings. And the current Yi Yuan was actually challenging the Grand Yen Divine King, Lu. Lin Feng, when he was young. If Yi Yuan's conjectures were correct, this array formation in front of him should have been created when Lu Lin Feng was at the Sea Transformation Realm. Or Soul Sea Realm. Otherwise, these sword puppets would definitely not be limited to this power. Very evidently, the Lu Linfeng back then was not mature enough yet. The might of this lesser nine revolutions interlocking formation also did not reach a heaven-defying degree. But even so, it was also an existence far beyond the reach of the vast majority of people. What Yi Yuan wanted to do now was to completely comprehend this array. Formation and control these eighteen sword puppets. These eighteen sword puppets were automatically controlled by the array formation. Ownerless objects. Pang Wanyan accidentally activated the array formation previously. That was why these eighteen sword puppets attacked the Tranquil Cloud Sect group. As long as Yi Yuan comprehended the lesser nine revolutions interlocking formation fully, he would be able to control these eighteen sword puppets. If Yi Yuan had these eighteen sword puppets, he would have the ability to protect himself in front of sea transformation realm experts. With Yi Yuan's present strength, facing early stage and middle stage crystal, formation realm martial artists should not pose a problem. But facing late stage crystal formation realm martial artists would be more challenging. As for sea transformation realm experts, Yi Yuan virtually did not have any leeway to resist. Actually, Yi Yuan had confronted quite a few sea transformation realm powerhouses. But regardless of whether it was Black Crow Old Man Yao Qian or Wang Fan, he drew support from environmental conditions and depended on his meticulous calculations in order to gain an advantage. If battling a sea transformation realm head-on, Yi Yuan would have no chance of winning. But with these sword puppets, it would be different. Yi Yuan could even clash. With third level C transformation realm experts by using the lesser nine. Revolutions interlocking formation to control them. Yi Yuan's strength was indeed not powerful. But under heart like still water. Realm, he already had an initial glimpse into the door of this array. Formation. Currently, Yi Yuan's soul force was projected out and could capture every. Minute movement from the sword puppets clearly. Hence it was very hard for these sword puppets to want to hurt him. Of course, the price of doing so was that his soul force was in the midst of being depleted rapidly. No way right? 
It was unbelievably arduous for so many of us inside this array. Formation. Yi Yuan is doing this with ease alone inside instead. Tianyu exclaimed in shock. Yi Yuan should have comprehended something. Otherwise, it's impossible to be. So, Meijin said. But what on earth is Yi Yuan trying to do? To actually bring Elder Mei out. Two, if there were him guiding by the side, cracking the formation with Elder. Mei's strength should be promising, right? Now he is inside all alone. How is he going to crack the formation? Tian Yu said puzzledly. Now that it came to this, we can only believe in him. This array formation is truly exceptionally powerful. By relying on a bunch of crystal formation realm. Puppets. Even I am not a match. Meijin sighed with admiration. While Yi Yuan was trapped in the lesser nine revolutions interlocking. Formation inside the absolute blaze barrier Zhao Yuyang's entire head was covered in dense sweat beads. After such a long period of deduction, he was on the verge of collapsing. But he also knew that it was no longer far from the exit of the Grand Array. If he did not grit his teeth and persevere, all the benefits in the Eternal Splendor Palace would be acquired by the Tranquil Cloud Sect. Hence, he was clenching his teeth and pushing on, still missing a little more, just a little bit more, deducing this absolute. Blaze Barrier this time has tremendous inspiration to my formation path. As long as I can tough it out, I might have hopes of becoming a Tier 4 Array. Master in this life, Zhao Yuyang kept on encouraging himself. Everyone held their breath as they looked at Zhao Yuyang. Walking until now, all the great sects paid a devastatingly heavy price. There were only two or three people left in some sects right now. Even the Purple Mansion sect, one person also perished among the four of them, burnt to ashes by the Grand Array. Zhao Yuyang took another step forward. His every step affected everyone's heart. The next instant, Zhao Yuyang's face revealed wild elation. Senior apprentice brother, I found the exit. Zhao Yuyang exclaimed in joy. Everybody's faces revealed wild excitement. This grand array was seriously too terrifying. One had to say that them being able to escape with their lives was by luck. Wu Zhao was similarly overjoyed as he said, Ha ha! Yi Yuan that punk most. Likely never dreamt that we would find the exit so quickly. Right? Wait until your father leaves. I'll definitely hack that punk into pieces. Otherwise, I'll find it hard to dispel the hatred in my heart. Junior apprentice brother. Yu Yang quickly. Zhao Yu Yang nodded and said, This is the final juncture. As long as we find the correct path, we only need at most two hours to be able to leave. Yi Yuan's soul force was being depleted rapidly. But his understanding of the Lesser Nine Revolutions interlocking formation was rising swiftly at the same time. He had the experience and knowledge of a Tier Nine Array Master. Although this Lesser Nine Revolutions interlocking formation was extremely profound, it was merely Lu Linfeng's work from several thousand years ago after all. Yi Yuan was operating from an advantageous position. Comprehending a set of Tier Three Array formation was not something very monstrous. In truth, his greatest obstacle was still these 18 sword puppets. These 18 sword puppets were too strong for Yi Yuan. Most of his energy still needed to be placed on the sword puppets. Otherwise, a moment of carelessness and it would be the outcome of perishing. And his Tao dissipating. Fortunately, under the heart like still water state, Yi Yuan could take in all of the sword puppets' actions into his divine soul to analyze and Understanding, slowly comprehending the lesser nine revolutions interlocking. Formation. In reality, Yi Yuan perceived it right after entering the formation. These sword puppets attacks looked disorderly, but in truth they were adherent to rules. These sword puppets paired up together, forming nine attack points. After one team finished attacking, the second team would follow up seamlessly, followed by the third team, fourth team. This kind of attacks formed a subtle compounding, making the attacks progressively stronger. When the ninth team released their attack, the augmentation of the attacks would have already reached a very horrifying degree. 
logically speaking, when the first team unleashed their attack should be when. The array formation was at its weakest. But the truth was not this case. These 18 sword puppets' cooperation was unbelievably ingenious. Talking about, it was slow. In fact, the time between their attacks was extremely minute. Hence, forming a perfect circle, making every attack look so powerful. Of course, seeing through it was one thing, comprehending the array formation was another. Even a more secretive array formation would have its weak points. Even a messier hemp rope would have its head. But what Yi Yuan wanted to do now was to find this head within this perfect circle. As the saying went, pull one hair and the entire body is affected. As long as he found where the end of this circle was, he could take control of this grand array. But the cleverness of Lu Linfeng's array formation lied in that this rope head was hidden very deeply by him. Yi Yuan's soul force already looked to be almost fully depleted, but he still had not found that rope head. Time trickled away, and Yi Yuan's soul force was almost hitting rock bottom. His divine soul was already so fatigued that he was about to fall asleep. Once his soul force dried up, Yi Yuan only had the outcome of being dismembered by chaotic swords. Not good. Yi Yuan, he can't hold on much longer. Mo Yuntian saw that Yi Yuan's movements were somewhat irregular and immediately noticed that Something was not right. Mei Zhen's expression also changed greatly as he said solemnly. Yi Yuan has only been evading up until now and did not exhaust much essence energy. Could it be? He has been using soul force the entire time. My God, isn't his control over soul force too precise? The radius it covers is only that small patch in the array formation. Tian Yu cried out in shock. What's the point of talking about that now? No way, I have to go save Yi. Yuan. Mei Jin could not sit still any longer. He could not watch Yi Yuan. Being dismembered by a mass of swords helplessly. Without any hesitation, Mei Jin wielded his sword and was about to charge. Into the Grand Array. But just as he reached the borders of the Grand Array, Yi Yuan's voice suddenly sounded out, I'm fine. Don't come over. Regarding array formations, fully comprehending it and cracking it were two entirely different concepts. The degree of difficulty was not even on the same order of magnitude. Cracking was knowing the hows. Comprehending was knowing the hows and the whys. Just like humans knew that it was going to rain right from the start. But understanding the reason wasted far too much time. One had to acknowledge that Lu Linfeng's array formation was seriously incomparably profound. Even if it was an array formation that he created thousands of years ago, wanting to comprehend it was also so hard. Yi Yuan used heart like still water state and completely drained his soul. Force. But he still could not find that rope head. Where is it? Where the hell is it? Yi Yuan screaming inyartly. Following his soul force's rapid consumption, Yi Yuan's consciousness became increasingly blurry. All of his dodgings were now completely reliant on his body's instinctive reactions. Yi Yuan felt anguished in his heart. Could this be it? Lu Linfeng on the array formations path. I really still can't beat you. Just as Yi Yuan's soul force was about to be completely depleted, a golden text character suddenly lit up within Yi Yuan's divine soul. It was as if Yi Yuan's divine soul was being stabbed by a needle and he Abruptly woke with a start. Then, Yi Yuan discovered to his delight that his divine soul was in the midst of recovering rapidly. At this precise moment, Yi Yuan noticed that Mei Zhen was just about to dash into the formation to save him. That was why he hurried, said, I'm fine. Don't come over. That golden word was the simplest character in the medicine god's soul canon. For the past few months, Yi Yuan had always been contemplating this character. He only vaguely grasped some things which could not be explained clearly. Yi Yuan frequently felt like he had grasped something, but in the end, discovered that he did not capture anything at all. He did not think that the character would actually give rise to such a miraculous effect at this time. After several breaths, Yi Yuan discovered that his divine soul had never been so full before. 
it had actually reached the perfect state of alchemy master. Introspecting his own divine soul, Yi Yuan could not help being unbelievably astonished, because his divine soul was even more perfect than his previous life's alchemy master time, and even more condensed and pure. At this time, Yi Yuan unwittingly recalled the words his father, Ji Zhengyang, said before he left. Could this be the situation that father experienced before his death? Turns out that the divine soul of alchemy masters can still go a step further. Although my current divine soul strength is still inferior to early stage alchemy grandmasters, it's like the impurities were completely removed, being reborn anew. This is the true alchemy master perfection. In my previous life, I cultivated to the alchemy emperor realm and did not even know that the divine soul of alchemy masters can actually reach this step. Ye Yuan sighed emotionally. He, Lu Lin Feng, I won't be courteous with your sword puppets. I'll take them. All. After breaking through, Ye Yuan entered heart like still water state once. Again. And with the support of a perfect grade divine soul, Ye Yuan's. Perception became even more acute this time. Sword shadows crisscrossed. Ye Yuan continuously stripped them, analyzed, and finally found some clues. Turns out it's like this. No wonder Lu Linfeng can affirm his Tao as the Grand Yen Divine King. Indeed, incomparable from normal people. Yi Yuan's eyes lit up, his figure pouncing towards one of the sword puppets. Like lightning, this sword puppet was precisely where the crux of the Lesser Nine Revolutions. Interlocking formation lead. With Yi Yuan's formation path cultivation, he could discover the principle. Behind this array formation set very quickly. But finding this node expended far too much time. From a macroscopic view, this sword puppet was no different from other sword. Puppets, sword art, moves, even the speed of unleashing its sword was exactly the same. But Yi Yuan discovered that when each round ended, the frequency PF which this sword puppet unleashed its sword would produce a trace of extremely minute fluctuation. It was precisely this hint of fluctuation that perfectly wrapped up the previous round of attacks and kickstarted the next round of attacks. It looked simple, but wanting to find this hint of fluctuation within the limitless sword shadows was undoubtedly fishing for a needle in the ocean. Yi Yuan's deduction abilities and perception strength was God know how many times stronger than Zhao Yuyang's, but he nearly exhausted his soul force. Fully without finding this trace of fluctuation, one could tell how challenging that was. Yi Yuan dashed in front of that sword puppet very quickly, but that sword puppet did not detect it at all. It still brandished the long sword in its hands according to the routine. A series of overwhelmingly powerful attacks landed like raindrops where Yi Yuan stood but was dodged niftily by Yi Yuan. Right at this moment, that trace of fluctuation occurred once again. This was the time. Yi Yuan did not hesitate at all. Songhua sword stabbed towards the sword. Puppet like lightning. The strike was fast and accurate. But the goal was not the sword puppets. Main body, but the long sword in its hands. Only to hear a clank, the sword puppet's long sword was sent flying by Yi. Yuan's sword. The other sword puppets were brewing the next round of ferocious attacks. This time, all of their movements stopped abruptly, pausing in midair. Hu-u. Yi Yuan put away Tsanghua's sword and let out a long breath. What happened? Could it be that these sword puppets exhausted all of their essence energy and can't move anymore? Tian Yu asked in bafflement. Wrong. Yi Yuan made a move earlier. That was his first time making a move. Is it possible that this was caused by him? Mo Yun Tian said. No way, right? The only time he attacked and he made all of the puppets stop and cease movement. This, I don't know either. Maybe he cracked this formation. Mei Jun was also very bewildered. He cautiously made his way across those sword puppets rooted to the ground like wooden chickens and arrived in front of Yi Yuan. Yi Yuan, are you all right? Mei Jun asked concernedly. Still all right. Nearly bit off more than I can chew. Haha. <laughs> Ye Yuan laughed. Riley. 
Yi Yuan was also holding a grudge and wanted to pit against Lu Linfeng, but nearly bit off more than he could chew. But looking at it now, taking this risk was still worth it. Not only did Yi Yuan control these sword puppets fully, but he also fully comprehended the lesser nine revolutions interlocking formation. With these sword puppets, even if Yi Yuan faced sea transformation realm experts, he would also have no fear. Meijin also heaved a sigh in relief and said, It's good that you're okay. It's good that you're okay. Oh right, what did you do earlier? What's with these puppets? Seeing Meijin inquiring, Yi Yuan did not answer right away. Instead, he smiled and went in front of that sword puppet earlier and inserted his soul. Force inside. Although Lu Linfeng did not give Yi Yuan sword puppets, there was no shortage of bragging about it in front of him. Yi Yuan's understanding towards sword puppets was also considerable. Controlling sword puppets was a task that exhausted the divine soul. Yi Yuan just had to leave his divine soul imprint inside the sword puppets to be able to control these sword puppets. But when Yi Yuan plunged his divine soul into the sword puppet sea of consciousness, his expression turned peculiar. A young apparition image appeared in front of Yi Yuan. Who could it be but Lu? Lin Feng that fellow? This virtual image was not Lu Lin Feng's divine soul imprint. It was only a remnant thought message that he left behind. It was very clear that Lu Lin Feng wanted to tell his successor something. Through this remnant thought message. It was just that even if Lu Lin Feng divined all of the heavens, he most likely could not have calculated that this successor would actually be the Reincarnate Ti Quingyun. Young friend, for you to be able to see me means that you have already acquired the lesser nine revolutions interlocking formations true meaning and can be considered my legacy successor. If you can shatter the void and head to the divine realm in the future, you can come and find me to enter my tutelage. Remember, I'm Sage Grand Yen. Just a short message. After it finished talking, that virtual image dissipated. Into nothing. Young friend? Hee <laughs> hee. If you knew that it's me who comprehended your lesser. Nine revolutions interlocking formation, I wonder what kind of expression. You'll have. Yi Yuan snickered to himself. Actually, calculating it, it was justifiable for the Grand Yen Divine King to call Yi Yuan young friend, because he was several thousand years older than Yi Yuan. But in his previous life, Ji Qingyun's alchemy path strength surpassed all others. He naturally had the qualifications to talk as equals with Lu Linfeng. But in this lifetime, Ji Qingyun had already changed his looks and face. Even if he stood in front of Lu Linfeng, he probably would not be able to recognize him. Thinking up to here, Yi Yuan could not help overflowing with a surge of mischievousness. If Yi Yuan really went to acknowledge Master when the time came, who knew if that fellow would really pass the Formation's Path 9 scripts to him? But Yi Yuan was rather surprised. Lu Linfeng actually left behind these 18 sword puppets in order to seek out a successor. It was also uncertain whether it was a spur of the moment or deliberate. Back then when Lu Linfeng ascended, he probably did not think that he could attain such heights in the divine realm either, right? Yi Yuan's divine sense moved. The eighteen sword puppets stirred once again, making Mei Zhen who was by the side jump in fright as he hurriedly raised his sword to welcome the enemy. Yi Yuan chuckled and said, No need to get nervous, Elder Mei. These sword Puppets won't attack you. Mei Jin was stupefied. He understood very quickly and said in surprise, Is it possible that you were manipulating these puppets just now? Yi Yuan nodded and said, I've already fully comprehended this array. Formation. Now, these sword puppets have already acknowledged me as master. What? You only used four hours and already fully comprehended this array. Formation set. Mei Zhen was terribly frightened by Yi Yuan's words. In truth, Yi Yuan comprehending a set of array formations would not astound. Mei Zhen to such an extent. But through comparison, he knew just how perverse. This set of array formation was. The absolute blaze barrier outside was a high tier 4 grand array. Its might was unrivaled. 
Yi Yuan walked around inside such an array formation like it was flat ground, but Yi Yuan did not even have the confidence to crack the lesser nine. Revolutions interlocking formation previously. One could imagine just how intricate this set of array formation was. Such a perverse array formation and Yi Yuan actually used only four hours to fully comprehend it. Wasn't this sort of deduction ability overly perverse as, well, one had to know that for an array master to want to comprehend a set of array formation, they would easily require several years' time. Furthermore, the higher the array formation's tier, the more time needed to perceive it. Using four hours to perceive a set of array formation even more complicated than a high tier four grand array, this was simply not something that humans should be able to do. The others had also pretty much recovered at this time. Seeing Yi Yuan actually collect these sword puppets directly, they could not help being overjoyed. This was equivalent to their side having an additional sea transformation. Realm powerhouse. Everyone was just about to move a level down when a hubbub of voices sounded. From outside the main hall, Mei Jin involuntarily knitted his brows. To think that they really walked out. But Yi Yuan beamed and said, They did come out, but I'm afraid that the price isn't small either. Just as he was speaking, a large group of people poured into the main hall. The one leading was precisely Wu Zhao. Behind Wu Zhao, the other heavenly sky sex elder was supporting Zhao. Yu Yang. Zhao Yu Yang actually fainted already. Looking at this scene, it seemed that he already completely exhausted his mind. In order to calculate the absolute Blazeberry Grand Array, the moment Wu Zhao entered the main hall, he saw Yi Yuan currently sizing up. Their bunch composedly. The flames of fury in his heart immediately welled up. Hee hee, punk, you probably never imagined either that we could walk out alive. From the grand array, right? Wu Zhao laughed coldly as he said to Yi Yuan. Yi Yuan shrugged his shoulders and said, Not really. I just didn't think that. That elder from your family still has some capabilities to be able to exit so. Quickly. Wu Zhao's face fell. Since we walked out of the grand array, today will be. The day you die, not only you have to die, but the rest of the people from your tranquil cloud sect all also have to accompany you in death. Meijin, if you want to blame, then blame Yi Yuan. Finished talking, Wu Zhao turned again to the other six sects and said, Yi, Yuan gave us the slip and nearly caused you all to perish and your Dao to dissipate. Attack for me and kill these damnable guys from the tranquil cloud. Sect. Our heavenly sky sect doesn't want a single item on their bodies. However, nobody answered him at all. Yi Yuan laughed when he saw the situation and said, Looks like you did. Something that infuriates both God and men in order to pass through the grand. Array. Now, your heavenly sky sect lost all favor and still hope for them to help you. Yi Yuan simply swept a glance over these group of people and knew what happened inside the absolute blaze barrier grand array. With Zhao Yuyang's standards, wanting to find the exit so quickly was impossible, unless he used human flesh to scout ahead. The numbers in the six sects were a bit lesser than before. This naturally affirmed Ye Yuan's cause. Wu Zhao's expression was very ugly. He was so angry that his complexion turned green. He knew that he offended the other sex while he was inside the grand array. That was why he said that they did not want any of the items. But he clearly underestimated the severity of his actions. Not a single person actually responded. Harumph. So what? To deal with a bunch of dregs like you guys, my heavenly sky sect, this one sect is enough. Heavenly sky sect disciples, listen up. Follow me to kill all of the tranquil cloud sect disciples. Spare no one. Presently, the heavenly sky sect had the fewest losses apart from the tranquil cloud sect. They still had 15 to 16 people now. The head count was twice of the tranquil cloud sect. 2 versus 1. The heavenly sky sect wanting to utterly annihilate the tranquil cloud sect did not seem to be something challenging either. Yes. Each and every one of the Heavenly Sky Sect disciples was rolling up their sleeves for battle, especially Li Zhangyu. He had wanted to exterminate Yi 
Yuan long ago. At this time he took the initiative to request, Elder Wu, leave this Yi Yuan. To me, Wu Zhao shot him a glance and nodded, saying, Take good care of this punk, otherwise, it will be hard to dispel the hatred in my heart. Hee <laughs> hee, rest assured Elder Wu, I'll make him live to regret it. Li Zhengyu looked at Yi Yuan and said with a cold sneer, Wu Zhao knew that Li Zhangyu had suffered a loss in Yi Yuan's hands before. He naturally would not go easy. Fourth level crystal formation realm against eighth level spirit condensation. Realm. No matter how one looked at it, it was completely the precursor to. Trashing Ye Yuan. Although Wu Zhao had many complaints about Li Zhangyu, he knew that Li Zhangyu had real ability. His true combat strength was not inferior to late stage. Crystal formation realm. If not for this case, he would also not have been taken in as a disciple by. Kizong Tao. Among the junior generation, Li Zhangyu's strength was absolutely extremely powerful. Except, their conversation sounded freaking hilarious to the tranquil cloud. Sect disciples. Many of them showed odd facial expressions. Finally, it was still Pang Wanyang who could not resist divulging it. That guy over there, don't blame me for not warning you, I advise that you better. Not provoke ye yuan animore. Otherwise, you'll die very horribly. Li Zhangyu snickered coldly and said, All right, I want to see just how he's going to make me die horribly. I admit that he has some unorthodox ways, but as a martial artist, unorthodox paths will die very horribly sooner or later. One day, Yi Yuan, I'm going to let you see what is called true strength. Today, Yi Yuan was immediately ecstatic once he heard that. He said with a smile, all right, as it happens, I just acquired an unorthodox path toy. I'll use you to test it out. I wonder if I'll die horribly or not. While Yi Yuan was talking, disdain was written all over Li Zhangyu's face. But in the next instant, his eyes blurred. Eighteen sword puppets appeared out of thin air in front of him. The expression on Li Zhangyu's face became very interesting. That disdainful look became astonishment. Then. He noticed that his face was burning hot. Without looking, his face was surely red like an apple now. What did he say earlier? Unorthodox paths could not make the cut? Ask Yi Yuan to take a look at his strength? There were eighteen puppets before his eyes. Each one of the puppets had the strength not beneath his. Dealing with these puppets, one or two was still fine. Eighteen all at once would definitely pummel him into a pig's head. It was very clear that these sword puppets belonged to an unorthodox path. But, this unorthodox path was much stronger than him. The words that Li Zhangyu said to Yi Yuan earlier sounded like he was smacking. His own face right now. When the others saw the eighteen sword puppets, they were also immensely shocked. Eighteen late-stage crystal formation realm puppets. This was absolutely an extremely powerful force. The Heavenly Sky sect initially had the upper hand, in terms of numbers, but now the Tranquil Cloud sect's numbers surpassed the Heavenly Sky sect by as many as ten in an instant. Seeing these sword puppets, Wu Zhao's expression was also very ugly. Yi Yuan this brat's means were truly inexhaustible to actually take out so. Many late-stage crystal formation realm puppets in an instant. Right at this time, Zhao Yuyang who had been unconscious the entire time gradually woke up, seeing the heavenly sky sect and tranquil cloud sects, swords drawn, and bows stretched, he could not help being very baffled. He even thought that the tranquil cloud sect people already headed up long ago, but did not think that they were still at the first level after so long. But when his gaze landed on the eighteen sword puppets, he was filled with shock and fear. He was a formation master. He naturally saw these sword puppets' distinctness. At a glance, struggling over to Wu Zhao's side, Zhao Yuyang said softly, These puppets are most likely not ordinary puppets, but puppets that can execute array formations. Their combat strength most likely isn't weak. With Zhao Yuyang saying this, Wu Zhao's expression became even uglier. But then, Zhao Yuyang's face changed, and he said again, Senior Apprentice. Brother Wu, I can't sense the grand array's aura in this great hall. If my 
guesses are correct, you should be able to use C transformation realm. Strength now. Along the way, Zhao Yuyang saw the scenes of other sex elders being smitten. To death by the heavenly thunder essence locking grand array. Only then did he sense that this mystic realm was shrouded by a mysterious grand array. This grand array was very covert. If not triggered, martial artists practically could not detect it. But Zhao Yuyang was an array master after all. As long as he sensed carefully, he could still feel a hint of array formation undulations. For real, Wu Zhao was overjoyed upon hearing that. Zhao Yuyang was not quite certain. He closed his eyes and felt again. Only, then did he nod his head affirmatively and said, I'm 80% sure. Wu Zhao was wildly ecstatic as he said, Ha ha! Who knows where you got a bunch of junk puppets from? Do you really think that you're impressive? I'm going to smash those puppets of yours into smithereens today. Towards Zhao Yuyang, his junior Wu Zhao still had a lot of faith in him. To be able to bring them out of the absolute blaze barrier Zhao Yuyang's standards could be seen at a glance. Finished talking, Wu Zhao released his aura. The might of sea transformation. Realm was displayed fully. Ha ha. This place really doesn't restrict cultivation realms anymore. Yuan. Receive death. Wu Zhao's figure flashed and clashed together with the eighteen sword puppets. When the other heavenly sky sect disciples saw Wu Zhao attack, they obviously would not remain idle either. They charged over to the tranquil cloud sex. Sighed in unison. Wu Zhao's aura was originally surging. He wanted to rely on his C. Transformation realm strength to directly blast these sword puppets into residues. But the moment he exchanged blows with these sword puppets, he was involuntarily dumbfounded. With his peak third level C transformation realm strength, he actually did not gain the slightest bit of advantage over these sword puppets. Do these puppets really only have late stage crystal formation realm strength? This. How is this possible? The more Wu Zhao fought, the more alarmed he got. The astonished ones were not just Wu Zhao. Apart from the tranquil cloud sect. Disciples. Everyone present here was speechless with shock. No way. What am I seeing? Eighteen late stage crystal formation realm puppets. Fought to a draw with a third level C transformation realm expert. This is simply incredulous. I even thought that the tranquil cloud sect. People were dead for sure just now. I didn't imagine that they actually had. Such an incredible way out. Look, you guys, the heavenly sky sect disciples are all faced up against. These puppets. The number of these puppets are almost the same as the heavenly. Sky sect's headcount. Furthermore, the heavenly sky sect even has a third. Level C transformation realm. Both sides actually fought until they are. Evenly matched in strength. Is there a mistake? Zhao Yuyang stared unblinkingly at the eighteen sword puppets. His face turned. Increasingly solemn. Senior apprentice brother Zhu. These puppets formed an extremely powerful. Array formation. You don't bother with me anymore. Quickly go help senior. Apprentice brother Wu. Circle around from the sides. Be sure not to enter the. Array formation. As long as Yi Yuan is killed, these puppets will naturally become useless because the other sea transformation realm elder from the heavenly sky sect needed to take care of Zhao Yuyang. He had not moved the entire time. Originally, they all thought that Wu Zhao alone attacking was ample. They did not think that such a situation would actually occur. Even if Elder Zhu was completely ignorant about array formations, he also knew the extraordinariness of these sword puppets. He nodded slightly and made use of the sword puppets and heavenly sky sect. Disciples to block his line of vision. Sneakily approaching Yi Yuan. Yi Yuan currently had all of his attention placed on manipulating the sword. Puppets. Wu Zhao's strength was even stronger than Mei Zhun's. Yi Yuan. Naturally did not dare to take him lightly. Elder Zhu circled one big round and finally pulled the distance between him. And Yi Yuan closer. At this time, he suddenly exploded, wielding his sword as he stabbed straight at Yi Yuan's flank. But the sad thing was that Mei Zhen had long paid attention to Elder Zhu. At the same time, Elder Zhu attacked, 
Mei Zhen's figure also burst forth, using speed even faster than Elder Zhu's to dash over. The two people quickly clashed together. Elder Zhu was also at the third level C transformation realm. It was just that he had clearly entered the third level C transformation realm not long ago and was slightly worse compared to Mei Zhen and Wu Zhao. Of course, it was clearly not very possible for Mei Zhen to want to take down Elder Zhu in a short period of time. But right at this moment, miserable wails from some heavenly sky sect. Disciples whose strength were somewhat lacking sounded out unceasingly. Chi, a sword from a sword puppet pierced right through a fourth level crystal. Formation Realm Disciples. Ah, that disciple cried out miserably and looked like he would not make it. All the way until he died, he still looked at that sword puppet unbelievably. He probably never imagined that he would die at the hands of a puppet, right? The sword puppet had a frosty look the same as before because it was impossible for them to have any kind of expression. Throwing down a cold corpse, its long sword waved once more, slashing towards the others. Lu Linfeng's lesser nine revolutions interlocking formation was unbelievably profound. Human wave attacks were simply ineffective. After these heavenly sky sect disciples entered the formation, apart from diverting some attacks, they were actually not very useful to Wu Zhao. With the first, there was a second. Very soon, another heavenly sky sect disciple was killed by the sword puppets. For some time, miserably cries lingered on their ears. But right at this moment, an anomaly suddenly arose. A phantom flitted over from the grand array's side. Its target was shockingly. Yi Yuan, Mo Yun Tian was taken by surprise, but it was already too late to try and rescue. Careful, Yi Yuan, Mo Yun Tian cried out. This afterimage's speed was exceedingly quick. It was actually a C. Transformation Realm Expert. In this place, apart from Wu Zhao, Mei Zhen, Zhao Yuyang, and Elder Zhu, there was still one other C Transformation Realm Expert. Yu Feng. Currently, Mei Zhen was held back by Elder Zhu. There was nobody else who could hinder the footsteps of Yu Feng assassinating Yi Yuan. Although Yu Feng was the weakest one among the Sea Transformation Realms. Present, he was still one of the important experts there. With the speed of a Sea Transformation Realm expert, no crystal formation. Realm experts could not catch up even if they tried their best. A hint of ridicule flashed past the corner of Yu Feng's mouth. He gave a low cry. Yi Yuan, you didn't think that you'd die at my hands, right? I. Clarity Imperial Reverence Law. Thunderous Nine Heavens. Go and die. Yu Feng formed seals with both hands. Several streaks of lightning power. Surged towards Yi Yuan with extreme speed. Honestly, among so many people, Yu Feng's hatred towards Yi Yuan was the deepest, including him swallowing humiliation and taking on a heavy burden to ally with. The Heavenly Sky sect later on, as well as having Wu Zhao burning down the bridge after crossing the river, Yu Feng finally concentrated all of that resentment onto Yi Yuan. The way he saw it, if there weren't any actions from Yi Yuan previously, he would not have needed to endure such humiliation. Hence, the instant the Tranquil Cloud sect and Heavenly Sky sect's conflict erupted, he had been planning on how to ambush Yi Yuan. And now he finally got the chance. Mo Yun Tian and the rest all shut their eyes painfully. The full power attack of a sea transformation realm. How could Yi Yuan evade it? Yi Yuan was currently thoroughly absorbed in manipulating the eighteen sword puppets right now and seemed to be completely oblivious to this. His brows just furrowed slightly. Then he continued operating the array formation as per normal. Yu Feng was very confident in his own deadly strike. Those streaks of lightning surged towards Yi Yuan, carrying an aura that made people feel asphyxiated. It arrived in front of Yi Yuan in virtually a blink of an eye, just when everyone thought that Yi Yuan was dead for sure. A scene which horrified everybody happened. Those powerful to the extreme lightning actually vanished around two feet away, in front of Yi Yuan, as if it was swallowed up by something, and Yi Yuan was still standing there perfectly well. Yu Feng watched the scene dumbfoundedly as he muttered, H. How is this? Possible? He clearly didn't do anything at all. 
How can my thunderous nine heavens be swallowed up? No way. Impossible. I don't believe it. Yu Feng's murmuring became roars. Then he flung caution to the winds and amassed heaven and earth essence energy. High clarity imperial reverence law. Thunderous nine heavens. Yu Feng wanted to unleash this powerful attack once more. However, rumble. Yu Feng's body flew out like a kite with a broken string. Everyone was stunned speechless once again. This. What in the world happened? Too inconceivable. Did you see that just now? Yu Feng's thunderous nine. Heavens didn't disappear, but appeared somehow from the void behind him and slammed directly onto him. You got to be shitting me, right? Yu Feng used the thunderous nine heavens to cripple himself. This. What the hell is this called? Yeah. I also feel like this is a joke, but that lightning power that appeared behind you Fong just now was clearly his own thunderous nine heavens. That scene earlier seriously looked rather ludicrous in everyone's eyes, but it genuinely happened in front of them. Yu Fong suffered his own full power attack while completely defenseless, heavily injuring himself. He coughed out a large mouthful of blood in midair, then fell onto the ground and was out cold. His ambush was out of everybody's expectations and was also unbelievably swift and fierce. But nobody could have thought that it would actually be such a conclusion. Everyone used revering and fearful eyes to look at Yi Yuan, thinking that it was Yi Yuan's means. But the most crucial thing was that they completely could not tell that Yi Yuan had any essence energy undulations that targeted Yu Feng. Therefore, Yi Yuan become mysterious and powerful in their eyes. Nobody treated Yi Yuan like an ordinary eighth-level spirit condensation realm. Anymore, Yi Yuan was currently controlling the eighteen sword puppets with all his strength, and simply could not care less about Yu Feng's matter. Within the array formation, tragic cries filled the air. There were already four or five heavenly sky sect disciples who were slightly weaker that died. Under the swords of the sword puppets, the more Wu Zhao fought, the more alarmed he became. He seriously could not figure out how a pair of late-stage crystal formation realm puppets could be powerful to such an extent. Listening to the heavenly sky sect disciples shrieks and wails, Wu Zhao's heart was dripping blood. Having entered the mystic realm for over half a month's time, the men that their heavenly sky sect lost were not even as many as this short while. If this continued, the heavenly sky sect disciples would be slaughtered one by one by Yi Yuan. You guys aren't a match for these puppets. Quickly go out. Wu Zhao bellowed. Elder Wu, not that we don't want to leave, but we totally cannot go out at all. Ah. As that disciple was talking, he was stabbed by a sword puppet. Elder Wu, I feel that the surroundings are all puppets, all sword shadows. We simply can't find the way out. Elder Wu, quickly save us. This was the formidable aspect of the Lesser Nine Revolutions interlocking. Formation. The number of puppets was clearly about the same as the Heavenly Sky Sect. Disciples. But each one of them would feel like there were many sword puppets. Surrounding them and beating them. This included Wu Zhao himself. All of the attacks interlocked, simply without any weak point to talk about. Those who did not know this array formation only had the outcome of being slowly ground to death by the sword puppets. Wu Zhao had already thoroughly crumbled. He originally thought that he could need the Tranquil Cloud sect as he pleased since he could unleash all of his strength. But who would thought that he did not succeed in needing a single one from the Tranquil Cloud Sect but now was being needed to an inch of his life by Ye Yuan. Another disciple fell in front of Wu Zhao. Wu Zhao could not bear it any longer. Ye Yuan stop. Wu Zhao yelled out. Ye Yuan sneered coldly and said, You say fight and we fight. You say stop and I have to stop? How can something so good be true? Wu Zhao completely had no temper as he hurriedly said, Marshal Nephew Ye. Wu Zhao admits my fault to you, all right? As long as you're willing to stop, any condition can be arranged. You're the one who said it, Yi Yuan said. 
Seeing that Yi Yuan had signs of easing up, Wu Zhao hastily said, I said it, I said it, quickly stop, quickly stop. Yi Yuan's divine sense stirred and the eighteen sword puppets kept their sword, potential and withdrew back to Yi Yuan's side respectively. He was not worried about Wu Zhao going back on his words. If he reneged, then, even if Wu Zhao could escape, the heavenly sky sect disciples could not run. When the sword puppets retreated, those heavenly sky sect disciples pressure immediately vanished, making them feel like collapsing. These remaining disciples were all elites among elites. Their strength among crystal formation realms were very formidable. But facing the sword puppets, they did not even have the leeway to retaliate. Looking at their bodies again, the vast majority of them had injuries. Some people's clothes were already shredded into ribbons, looking just like a beggar. There was no tier 9 formation master like Yi Yuan among these people. When they faced the lesser nine revolutions interlocking formation, they could only deal with it passively. Previously, if not for Yi Yuan, the Tranquil Cloud Sect disciples' outcome would unequivocally be even more tragic than the current Heavenly Sky Sect. Wu Zhao's expression was very ugly. His gaze when looking towards Yi Yuan actually carried a trace of fear. A puny spirit condensation realm martial artist actually took on the entire Heavenly Sky Sect with his own strength. Breathing in deeply, Wu Zhao went forward and said, Yi Yuan, state your terms. Inside the void, Two stunningly beautiful figures stood there. They were precisely Liur and Yen Er, master and servant. Miss, you couldn't resist making a move in the end, Yen Er said with a half hearted smile. That was a sea transformation realm martial artist after all. Or perhaps I did something unnecessary, Liur replied coolly. What? You mean that? Under that kind of situation, Mr. Yi still has. Leeway to resist? How is that possible? Yenner said in surprise. When I made my move earlier, I clearly felt Mr. Ye's breathing fluctuate. Although it was only that split second, I sensed that Mr. Yi he seemed to have detected me making a move. That's why he didn't react at all. Yenner's pretty eyes narrowed slightly. She clearly also felt that it was relatively far-fetched. Hee hee. This is really getting more and more fascinating. Even I'm also very interested in this Mr. Yi now. Also, he can actually comprehend the array. Formation that the Grand Yen Divine King left behind. Truly an unrivaled prodigy. Yenner giggled. Lear also smiled sweetly and said, Yeah, I really didn't expect that this endless world was the land that the Grand Yen Divine King rose to power. In? Yenner, what are you looking at? Yenner's gaze pierced through the void and landed on Yi Yuan. She muttered, Miss, do you feel that Mr. Yi is very similar to that person? Liur's heart jolted. Her gaze also involuntarily landed on Yi Yuan's body. It was fine if Yenner did not mention it, but when she said it, she really had such a feeling. After a brief moment, Liur smiled bitterly and said, That person is already gone. How can he possibly be him? Aya, my missus, you already said that that person is already gone. Why does it matter if he isn't him? If we can get to the bottom of this Yi Yuan's unknown background, I feel that he is a perfect match for you. Although he is only at the spirit condensation realm now, he'll definitely be a figure who will cause a stir in the divine realm in the future. Yenner said with a titter. Lear's gorgeous face was flushed red from what Yenner said as she said, annoyedly, you're not allowed to talk any more nonsense. Watch if you I don't tear apart that mouth of yours. In the great hall, everybody stared at Yi Yuan very curious about what kind of conditions he would raise. To the other six sects, this sort of opportunity to watch the fun was probably the first and last time. The Heavenly Sky Sect had always been tyrannical in the Southern Domain. Had always been them extorting the other sects. But today, the Tranquil Cloud Sect, which ranked at the bottom actually, thoroughly beat the Heavenly Sky Sect until they were convinced. What conditions you have, just state them. But I warn you, don't go too overboard. 
I'm only a heavenly sky sect elder. I can't decide anything for the sect, Wu Zhao said with a solemn face. Rest assured, I'm not foolish to that extent. My demand isn't high either. Each person, 20 high-grade essence crystals according to the number of people. Additionally, I want three stalks of tier 4 medicinal herbs, 30 stalks of quasi-tier 4 medicinal herbs. Don't tell me that you don't have it, Yi Yuan, listed his terms in one breath. What? You really dare to demand that? Wu Zhao nearly leaped up. It was no wonder that Wu Zhao's reaction was so big. Yi Yuan's conditions did not sound like a lot, but actually it was demanding an exorbitant price. Among the Southern Domain's eight great sects, what was in circulation was primarily low-grade essence crystals. One piece of high-grade essence crystal was equivalent to 100 pieces of middle-grade essence crystals, while one piece of middle-grade essence crystal was equal to 100 low-grade essence crystals. The problem was that there were many low-grade essence crystals, but middle Grade essence crystals were much scarcer. As for high-grade essence crystals, there was basically demand for it, but no. Market. There were still a total of 10 people left in the Heavenly Sky sect. That was also to say that they needed to pass Yi Yuan 200 pieces of high-grade essence crystals. This amount was plenty to purchase a 16 restrictions spirit artifact. One had to know that a sect hall head like Xiao Jian was merely using an 8. Restrictions Spirit Artifact For 16 restrictions and 32 restrictions spirit artifact, normally only the sex sect master or grand elder level individuals had the qualifications to use them. But Yi Yuan said apathetically, If you don't have it, let's carry on fighting. All the way until we determine the victor. Wu Zhao was immediately mum when he heard this. He said with a solemn face, I'm only an elder, so how would I have so many high-grade essence crystals on? Me? As for them? Even less likely. Yi Yuan grinned and said, Doesn't matter. Just take out whatever you have. Using middle-grade essence crystals and low-grade essence crystals to write. Off the remainder also works. But if you're making up for it, the quantity needs to be 20% more than normal. Calculating it this way, if using middle-grade essence crystals to make up for it, they would need 120 pieces, equivalent to buy five get one free. Yi Yuan obviously knew the scarcity of high-grade essence crystals. It was impossible for Wu Zhao to take them out. But as the number one great sect in the Southern Domain, the Heavenly Sky Sect, was also the Southern Domain's number one wealthiest sect. Their disciples were all obscenely rich. The quantity of 200 pieces of high-grade essence crystals, it shouldn't be far. Off by scraping it together. Hearing Yi Yuan say so, Wu Zhao's expression eased up quite a bit. But he still grimaced in pain and said, Then you wait a while. I have to go back and ask them if they can scrape together that amount or not. Wu Zhao was just about to turn around and leave, but was halted by Yi Yuan. Hang on. I said each person twenty pieces just now. It refers to each and every one of you who entered the main hall, including them. Yi Yuan's finger pointed to those few heavenly sky sect disciples' corpses, lying on the ground. Wu Zhao's expression, which had just taken a turn for the better, became as black as the bottom of a pot again. He bellowed, Yi Yuan, don't go too far. Yi Yuan smirked and said, I just stated my terms and conditions. You can choose not to accept. Furthermore, compared to their lives, I don't feel that my terms are in any way overboard. The conditions that Yi Yuan raised were naturally not spoken at random. He had long calculated that these terms would make Wu Zhao uncomfortable, but also able to tolerate the pain. In the Tranquil Cloud sect, the elite disciples and personal disciples would Get five pieces of middle-grade essence crystals and one thousand pieces of low-grade essence crystals every month as an offering. But in reality, for pinnacle disciples like Ti Wujio and Mo Yuntian, the amount of middle-grade essence crystals they had accumulated was still rather substantial. There was no other way. To a small sect like the Tranquil Cloud sect, they could only focus resources on a small number of extremely talented disciples. 
But when Luo Qingfeng introduced the Heavenly Sky Sect to Yi Yuan, he mentioned the disparity between both sides' strength. Among it included the part about resource allocation. For disciples at the same level, the treatment for Heavenly Sky Sect disciples was ten times of the Tranquil Cloud Sect. That was also to say that the Heavenly Sky Sect's elite disciples could get fifty pieces of middle-grade essence crystals and ten thousand low-grade essence crystals every month, 20 pieces of high-grade essence crystals each. Computing it, that was also 2,400 pieces of middle-grade essence crystals per person. This figure, Wu Zhao and the rest could take it out, but it would absolutely slice off a very huge chunk of their flesh. Even if they still have some essence crystals left on them, it would also surely be rock bottom. Adding in three stalks of Tier 4 Medicinal Herbs and 30 stalks of Quasi-Tier 4 Medicinal Herbs, the Heavenly Sky Sect would absolutely hemorrhage massively. Indeed, after some time, Wu Zhao brought back that face of his that was sullen. Enough that it was about to drop water and came in front of Yi Yuan once. Again, Wu Zhao casually threw a storage ring to Yi Yuan and said in an unkind tone, This is the essence crystals and medicinal herbs you wanted such a large appetite. I hope that you don't stuff yourself to death. Yi Yuan smiled leisurely and said, My appetite is perfectly fine. No need for Elder Wu to worry about it. Yi Yuan sunk his divine sense into that storage ring and checked over the number of essence crystals and medicinal herbs inside. Only the three of us elders have high-grade essence crystals. Tallying it up is merely around thirty. The remainder has all been converted into middle grade. Essence crystals and low grade essence crystals. Not a piece is missing. Who? Zhao said with a somber look when he saw Yi Yuan checking over the inventory. Yi Yuan's calculation abilities were very heaven defying. He just briefly scanned and knew that what Wu Zhao said was not false. The heavenly sky sect is indeed loaded. Carrying so many essence crystals on. A trip to a mystic realm. Hmm. Looks like you're short of ten pieces of low, grade essence crystals, but forget about it. Everyone says that the wealthier one is the more miserly. Certainly true. Then. Many thanks to Elder. Wu for gifting these. Yi Yuan clasped his hands and said. Wu Zhao was stunned. He did not think that Yi Yuan just swept a glance over it. And finished checking it. Furthermore, he actually even caught the missing ten pieces of low-grade essence crystals. One could see that Yi Yuan's tallying earlier was not done carelessly. The essence crystals that they gave the Tranquil Cloud Sect was pooling. Together all the low-grade essence crystals only using middle-grade essence crystals to make up for it if it was insufficient. But the number of low-grade essence crystals was just nice missing ten pieces. Wu Zhao obviously did not wish to use a piece of middle-grade essence crystal to substitute it. Moreover, it was also not possible for Yi Yuan to check so. Attentively, who knew that Yi Yuan just scanned once and caught it. This punk really had some capabilities. Since Yi Yuan already said forget about it, Wu Zhao obviously could not really haggle over ten pieces of low-grade essence crystals with him. He snorted coldly and said, since that's the case, can we discuss the issue regarding the distribution of treasures later? On the surface, Yi Yuan did indeed thrash the Heavenly Sky Sect brutally just now. But in reality, both parties could only be considered evenly matched in strength right now. If not for Yi Yuan being ruthless with his actions and reaped many Heavenly Sky Sect disciples' lives, Wu Zhao probably would not have agreed to Yi Yuan's terms either. The Heavenly Sky Sect had three sea transformation realm powerhouses here. If he really forced their hand, Zhao Yuyang's combat strength was not for show. Either, even if he was not a pure martial artist. But the combat strength of formation masters when compared to alchemists was much greater. If both sides really refused to stop unless they achieved their aim, the Tranquil Cloud Sect might not gain any advantages. This was also the reason. Why Yi Yuan agreed to stop. Although the Lesser Nine Revolution's interlocking formation was powerful, when facing the peak third level C transformation realm Wu Zhao, it was at best 
the conclusion of both sides suffering heavy losses. Hence, this negotiation also embodied the argumentation of the main topic. But Yi Yuan said, No rush. There's still one other thing not taken care of. Finished talking, Yi Yuan turned around and went in front of Yu Feng. The present Yu Feng was already like a dead dog. That move previously, Yu Feng did not hold back at all, but it struck himself. In full force. Now he was on his dying breath. When Yi Yuan recalled that ripple in the void earlier, he involuntarily frowned a little. Since the beginning, he had a feeling like he was being watched. But he completely could not detect the other party at all. This sort of feeling made him very uncomfortable. However, Yi Yuan also did not expect that that person hidden in the dark would actually make a move to help him. The method of making use of spatial laws to draw the other party's attack into the void was an exceedingly profound spatial concept. Its strength was definitely mighty beyond imagination. Why would such a character target him? Also, why would they help him? Yi Yuan could not figure it out no matter how he racked his brains. He had rebirthed for close to a year. The strongest person he met was merely Sky Maple. When did he provoke such a formidable existence? But looking at it now, the other party did not seem to have any intention of being detrimental to himself. Otherwise, with his current pathetic bit of strength, he would not even be enough to fill the crevices between that person's teeth. Since that mysterious person would not harm him for the time being, Yi Yuan did not think too much either. Anyway, thinking so much was also pointless. Yu Feng, I originally have no grudge nor enmity with you, but your high clarity sect is bullying others too far. You reap what you sow. You only have yourself to blame for today. Don't blame me for it. Go in peace. As for the other disciples, I won't do anything to them. As for whether or not they can walk out of this mystic realm that will have to depend on their fortunes. Finish talking, Yi Yuan spat out essence energy. Palm landed on the top of Yu Feng's skull. He died straight away. Everyone's hearts quivered. An exalted sea transformation realm powerhouse was killed by an eighth level spirit condensation realm just like this. Although many sea transformation realm experts already died inside this mystic realm, they were all struck to death by heavenly thunder. A sea transformation realm powerhouse was killed in front of them. This sort of feeling that shook the soul was totally different. Sea transformation realm experts were the mid-level pillars in sections. Every one of them was very precious, and the might of sea transformation realm was even more deeply rooted in the hearts of the people. Sea transformation realm and spirit condensation realm were two realms that simply could not be linked together. But now a spirit condensation realm killed a sea transformation realm other than Yi Yuan. There was simply no one who detected Lier making a move. The way others saw it, the one who used bizarre means to severely injure you. Feng was precisely Yi Yuan. This also intensified their fear towards Yi Yuan. But when the high clarity sect disciples heard Yi Yuan's words, they could not help letting out a sigh of relief. They did not tag along with Wang Fan and Yu Feng previously to find trouble. With Yi Yuan, if Yi Yuan settled the score with them, they could not get angry at all. Unknowingly, the only spirit condensation realm martial artist present became the most terrifying existence. This was probably something that nobody thought of before entering the mystic realm. After dealing with Yu Feng, Yi Yuan dusted his hands and came in front of Wu Zhao. He said with a smile, Elder Wu, we can talk now. Wu Zhao's expression was clearly not very good. When he was trapped in the formation earlier, he completely did not notice that Yu Feng already ended up like this. He only found out what happened after inquiring about it just now and could not help becoming even more fearful of Yi Yuan. Yi Yuan was able to detect the minute ripples in space by relying on his knowledge and experience that surpassed this plane. He believed that apart from himself, it was simply impossible for the rest present here to perceive. Hence, he went to finish off Yu Feng personally earlier just so to awe everyone, especially Wu Zhao, to make him even more fearful of him. If he did not do so, 
How could he take the initiative during the negotiations? Wu Zhao's face quivered, and he said, I wonder what brilliant ideas Marshall, nephew Yi has. Wu Zhao originally already thought of a plan that was beneficial to the heavenly sky sect and planned on saying it first. But seeing Yi Yuan kill Yu Feng with one palm, he somehow became slightly mortified. That was why he changed his words at the last moment. He asked Zhao Yuyang earlier, Yu Feng ended up like that due to being struck by his own attack. Such methods were seriously unthinkable, leaving him unable to grasp Yi Yuan's foundation. If Yi Yuan really had such means and did this at a crucial moment, wouldn't he also be beaten to death by himself? Looking at Yu Feng's appearance, Wu Zhao felt that this sort of death was seriously too vexing. Yi Yuan smiled and said, Far from a brilliant idea, everyone relies on their own abilities then. I feel that since everybody went through life and death to come here, we can't very well let everyone return empty-handed. Right? Therefore, after heading up to the second level, everyone will rely on your own means and own capabilities. Whoever finds anything will belong to them. What does Elder Wu think? When Yi Yuan finished saying this, the faces of the other six sects could not help revealing great joy. Presently, only the Heavenly Sky Sect and Tranquil Cloud Sect had C. Transformation Realms holding down the fort among the eight great sects. They all thought that they no longer had anything to do with this, but they did not think that Yi Yuan was actually so kind-hearted to even give them a share of the broth. While they were thrilled, Wu Zhao was displeased. How can that do? If that's the case, what if they obtain some heaven-defying treasure? Wouldn't there not be our share? The six sects were originally unhappy with Wu Zhao already. With him saying these words, everyone greeted his ancestors all the more so in their hearts. Yi Yuan shrugged his shoulders and said, Since Elder Wu doesn't agree then, you give your opinion. Wu Zhao hastily said, Since only our two sects have sea transformation realms. Now, then obviously the two of us split the treasures. In my opinion, let's divide the treasures according to the number of C transformation realm. When Wu Zhao said this, he was even more so cussed quietly by the six sects. Disciples. Except, they did not have C transformation realm elders holding. Down the fort now. They dared to get angry, but dare not voice out. Yi Yuan smiled and said, Is Elder Wu kidding me? Your heavenly sky sect have three sea transformation realms while my tranquil cloud sect only has one. You mean that you get three parts while I get one? How so? Although you're not a sea transformation realm, these puppets you control have sea transformation realm combat strength. Naturally, you also get a share. Wu Zhao hurriedly said. Yi Yuan shook his head and said, Elder Wu, don't be too merciless when doing things. Since your heavenly sky sect invited everyone to explore the mystic realm together, you got to give everybody an account. We eat the meat, but we got to at least give people some soup to drink. How about this, our two sects? Take 40% of the treasure obtained. The remainder 20% will be given to their six sects to divide equally. On choosing treasures, our two sects have priority. No can do. We have three sea transformation realms. If we really fought to, the bitter end, you guys might not gain any advantage. Why should we split? Equally with you. Wu Zhao immediately rejected. Yi Yuan's eyes narrowed, but his tone became frosty. Since that's the case, then that means the negotiations fell out? Fine then. Let's showcase our true abilities and talk after we finish fighting. As he spoke, Yi Yuan really displayed a stance like he wanted to fight and mobilized the sword puppets again. Wu Zhao did not expect Yi Yuan to fight at once and was taken aback. Yi Yuan was fully confident while Wu Zhao was simply unable to grasp his foundation. How would he dare to make a move? Hang on, hang on. Already at this time, what's there to fight about? Wouldn't we let others benefit if we cause heavy losses to both sides? Wu Zhao hastily said, him saying this was already showing weakness. But Yi Yuan still behaved like he wanted to risk his life and said icily, since Elder Wu say that we don't have the qualifications to split the 
treasures evenly, then I obviously have to weigh up my own strength. If we really can't beat you guys, then there's no harm in you all taking a bit. More. Wu Zhao was thoroughly defeated. He could only say, All right then, all right, have it your way. With Wu Zhao yielding, everyone also let out a long breath. Especially the six sex disciples who were ecstatic with joy. Their gazes, when looking at Yi Yuan was filled with gratitude. They were certain that if not for Yi Yuan, forget about drinking soup, they would not even be able to drink the swill. Although they only had 20% of the treasures, it was more or less not considered returning empty-handed. This mystic realm was dangerous, but the good stuff should not be few. Perhaps they could dredge out some nice treasures. Nice, isn't everybody happy like this? Why must you make everyone part on bad terms? Yi Yuan grumbled as he put away the sword puppets. Wu Zhao was dejected and thought to himself, I was just fighting with you. Verbally. Okay? Who knew that you would want to attack at a single disagreement? Wasn't negotiations all done like this? You were the one who didn't play your cards according to convention. Now, you're actually blaming me? But let's make things clear first. If there are two treasures of the same grade, everyone split equally. But if there is only one, it will belong to whoever gets it. But they must compensate the party that didn't get it. Zhao supplemented. Ye Yuan noted. He naturally did not have any objection to this. Everything was set. Everyone naturally ceased fighting and regrouped. But nobody noticed that in the Purple Mansion Sex Camp, there was already a person missing since who knew when. When Ye Yuan and the rest headed to the Eternal Splendor Palace's second floor, a silhouette appeared in a hidden side hall on the first level. If Yi Yuan were here, he would instantly identify that this person was. Shockingly, the purple mansion sex Lin Chao. This side hall was highly obscured. After Yi Yuan and the rest entered the Eternal Splendor Palace, they completely did not discover this place. But Lin Chao actually looked very familiar with this place. He was scanning left and right, looking everywhere in the side hall as if he was searching for something. Roughly the time it took to brew a pot of tea later, Lin Chao touched a landscape painting on the wall and discovered that it could not be shifted and was immediately elated. Lin Chao took a step back, both hands forming a peculiar seal, and fired it onto the landscape painting. The landscape painting actually reflected that seal onto the center of the floor of the side hall. Creek. The next instant, a large hole actually fissured on the floor, revealing a passage. When Lin Chao saw the situation, his face revealed wild elation. Ha ha ha! Our Purple Mansion sect endured hardships to plan for retaliation for thousands of years. We finally found it. As he spoke, Lin Chao's figure leaped and entered that pitch black passageway. Only after Yi Yuan and the rest headed up the second floor of the Eternal Splendor Palace did everyone discover that the second level space was much larger than the first floor. This was clearly the use of some spatial array. Formation. One could tell from this that this eternal splendor place was undeniably an extremely powerful sect back then. In the endless world, anything that touched upon spatial concept was all extremely powerful existences. What was different from the first level was that the second level had quite a number of rooms. Even if these more than 30 people split up to search, they would likely need two hours too. Due to the hidden nature of the rooms, the division of treasures was also a huge problem. If everyone placed the items inside their own storage rings and not handed over, what freaking treasure was there to split at the end? What do you think, Yi Yuan? Wu Zhao looked at Yi Yuan and said, Yi Yuan smiled and said, Elder Wu probably has a plan already, right? Just say it out. Wu Zhao nodded his head and fished out a compass-like thing from his storage. Ring. Yi Yuan fixed his eyes on it. It was actually a 16 restriction spirit. Artifact. The heavenly sky sect was indeed loaded as hell. 16 restriction spirit. Artifacts could be casually brought outside. Wu Zhao surveyed everyone and said, This is my heavenly sky sect's 16. 
Restrictions Spirit Artifact The Restrictions Compass It has a function and that is to plant restrictions on objects. As long as this restriction is touched, the restrictions compass will react to a certain extent. Hence, everyone, please hand over your storage rings now to let the restrictions compass place a miniature restriction. If you put treasures in your storage rings, the restrictions compass will know. At that time, he will be everybody's common enemy. Yi Yuan looked at the restrictions compass rather amusedly. This highly obscure auxiliary spirit artifact truly had some capabilities. The 16 restrictions spirit artifact should not be Wu Zhao's own personal belonging. The heavenly sky sect really took things into consideration very thoroughly. For the sake of exploring this mystic realm, they actually even anticipated this kind of scenario. Seemed like the heavenly sky sect was well deserved to be the southern domain's number one great sect. They had quite a few capable people. Wu Zhao finished talking and involuntarily looked at Yi Yuan. He was clearly seeking his opinion. Yi Yuan smiled and took out his three storage rings and tossed them to Wu Zhao. Since Elder Wu already worked everything out so carefully, how can I disagree? I also feel that this way is rather fair. Wu Zhao reached over and received Yi Yuan's storage rings, placing them one by one into the restriction compass's opening. Very soon, those three storage rings were placed under restrictions and appeared in Wu Zhao's hands once again. Wu Zhao threw the storage rings back to Yi Yuan and said, Apart from placing the restriction, I didn't touch your storage rings. Take a look yourself. Yi Yuan swept with his divine sense and said smilingly, I can set my mind at ease when Elder Wu does things. With Yi Yuan leading, the others naturally would not say anything else. They took out their storage rings in succession and passed them to Wu Zhao. Since this spirit artifact is called Restrictions Compass, it naturally has a search function other than placing restrictions. I've already set it up. If I find out that anyone secretly hid storage rings, don't blame me for being discourteous. Wu Zhao said solemnly as he placed restrictions for other people's storage rings. With him saying that many people's faces changed and took out their hidden storage rings unwillingly. Majority of the sect disciples used magic artifact rank storage rings. Not considered valuable. It was normal for a person to have quite a few. Spirit artifact rank storage rings would be extremely rare items. Yi Yuan only had three storage rings on him and were already all placed under. Restriction by Wu Zhao. But Wu Zhao probably never imagined that Yi Yuan still had a spatial spirit. Artifact on him apart from storage rings. The rank of the spatial spirit artifact was much higher than the restrictions. Compass. Even if the restrictions compass had a detecting function, it was also not possible to probe out. This restrictions compass of Wu Zhao indeed prevented everyone from secretly stashing treasures to the greatest extent. However, Yi Yuan was not subjected to the restrictions. Wu Zhao placed everyone's storage rings under restriction very quickly. Then, he casually took out a stack of storage rings and distributed them to everybody. These are all precious artifact grade storage rings. It's sufficient for everybody to use this to store treasures. Now everyone split up and go seek out treasures yourselves. In the end, you still have to gather back here. That time, split according to the ratios that we agreed upon, Wu Zhao said. When Wu Zhao finished talking, they all nodded their heads. Such a distribution manner, the more treasures everybody found, the greater. The amount each team naturally could get. Hence, no need to fear that they would not put in the effort. Yi Yuan spoke at this time. Since the preparation works are all done, we can also start seeking treasures now. Elder May, I won't follow you guys this time. You all be more careful. This sect has quite a bit of foundation in terms of the array formations path. Don't be impatient when encountering any treasure. Always put safety first. Meijin nodded and said, All right, you be careful too. Finish talking, Yi Yuan left alone. Coming to a place with nobody, Yi Yuan's finger twitched, and the cat-like 
white light immediately appeared before him. White light had not seen Yi Yuan for quite some time. He jumped on Yi Yuan's shoulder directly and extended its tongue to lick Yi Yuan's face. All right, all right, it wasn't very convenient these few days, so I didn't let you out. It's now time for you to display your talents fully. There should be quite a few nice treasures here. Bring me to hunt them all out. Ye Yuan pulled white light off and said. White light also perked up when it heard it. Roaring softly twice it turned into a beam of light and ran off. Ye Yuan was also taken aback by white light speed. This little fellow was indeed worthy of the name of white light. With his current speed, ordinary spirit condensation realm martial artists most likely could not catch up at all and white light's cultivation speed was also highly outrageous it was also middle stage tier 2 going to break through to late stage tier 2 very soon but yi yuan's movement technique was not slow either executing spirit void shattering space he caught up very quickly white light arrived at a slightly hidden room with a couple of bounds Yi Yuan pushed open the door cautiously and could not help showing a thrilled. Look, this place was actually a pill refining room. What made Yi Yuan excited was that a square medicinal cauldron was placed in. The center of the refining room, Yi Yuan recognized with a single glance that this was a tier 5 medicinal cauldron. He did not think that this inconspicuous room would actually have a tier 5 item. To an alchemist, medicinal cauldrons were their lives. Ever since rebirth, Yi Yuan had never had a handy medicinal cauldron of his. Uh, he was basically scraping around everywhere when refining pills. Without a good medicinal cauldron, refining medicinal pills would, unsurprisingly, be all the more exhausting too. Tier 5 medicinal cauldrons naturally did not even count as trash to the previous life's Yi Yuan. But to the current him, it was an extremely hard to come by item. Although Yi Yuan could not unleash the full power of this medicinal cauldron. Now, refining pills or whatever in the future would obviously be much more convenient too. Cleansing sandal sacred flame coupled with a tier 5 medicinal cauldron. What? Medicinal pills were there that he could not refine? Take medicinal cauldrons for instance. Medicinal cauldrons below tier 4 were very easy to find. But medicinal cauldrons tier 4 and above were exceedingly rare. Because starting from refining tier 4 medicinal pills, array formations would be inscribed within the medicinal pills. Ordinary medicinal cauldrons simply could not withstand it. Tier 4 and above medicinal cauldrons must be forged using special materials and then have intricate array formations placed internally by tier 4 and above. Formation masters before it could take form. As for the preciousness of tier 5 medicinal cauldrons, that went even more. Without saying, at least in the land of the southern domain it was impossible to have tier 5 medicinal cauldrons, because there was simply no one who could refine tier 5 medicinal pills. Yi Yuan did not go to collect the tier 5 medicinal cauldrons right away. Instead, he surveyed the surroundings. This refining room's configuration was relatively complete. Yi Yuan just swept a glance and could tell that the owner of this place should have been a tier 5 alchemist, which was also alchemy sovereign. In the endless world, alchemy sovereign was already an extremely powerful existence. Yi Yuan unwittingly held his chin and started pondering. He could sense that the Tao teachings that Lu Linfeng left behind back then was definitely extremely powerful. But why did it end up in such dire straits? This eternal splendor palace had an alchemy sovereign. It surely also had a tier 5 formation sovereign existence. A sect possessing a tier 5 formation sovereign. How could ordinary people dare to provoke the sect? Just based on that heavenly thunder essence locking grand array outside, not. Many people would dare to come and aggravate them, right? The divine realm's grand yen divine king. Even before he ascended, he would surely have been an endless world legend already. Even if his disciples and followers were complete trash, there should also not be any problem to sustain for several thousand years. But looking at this eternal splendor palace, why did it look like it vanished? Into thin air overnight? What in the world happened back then? What was with this mystic realm? 
Yi Yuan thought carefully and felt that there just seemed to be something not right. All of a sudden, Yi Yuan's peripheral sight scanned and discovered a jade slip, fragment on the operating platform. Yi Yuan casually waved his hand, and that jade slip fragment flew into his hand. He sunk his divine sense into it but discovered that the information inside was incomplete especially the content towards the back tended to only be a few short words. It did not even form sentences. Only invasion, bloody battle, death. These simple few words attracted Yi. Yuan's attention. Looks like this eternal splendor palace seemed to have suffered a catastrophe. Back then, that's why it met such an end. Or perhaps Lu Linfeng exhausted the sex destiny alone resulting in the eternal splendor palace bearing such an undeserved calamity. Yi Yuan sighed and muttered to himself. Yi Yuan put down the jade slip and came to the tier 5 medicinal cauldrons. Sighed, only to see the word square on the side of the medicinal cauldron. This should be the medicinal cauldron's name, right? Square cauldron. Very fitting. Yi Yuan said smilingly. Yi Yuan used divine sense to sweep over square cauldron and could not helping. Praising again. Indeed well deserved of the Tao teachings that Lu Linfeng left behind. The array formations inscribed on this medicinal cauldrons is also so extravagant. The previous owner of this square cauldron had clearly already passed away a long time ago. Now it was an ownerless object. Yi Yuan just had to leave his own divine sense imprint on it to be able to utilize the medicinal cauldron. But when Yi Yuan was planting his divine sense imprint, the square cauldron gave off a series of roars. It actually appeared to be rather opposed. This made Yi Yuan feel quite astonished. He sighed emotionally and said, Profound artifacts spirit link. Looks like you had very deep feelings with your previous owner. I wonder, how is that limitless cauldron of mine? Now, sigh. Above spirit artifacts were profound artifacts. The square cauldron was a profound artifact. Spirit artifact already had spirituality. Profound artifacts were naturally even more attuned. The owner of the square cauldron already passed away for several thousand years, but it still did not wish to acknowledge Yi Yuan as master. Could be seen just how deep its feelings for its former owner was. Seeing this reminded him of it. Medicinal cauldrons were no longer an artifact. Item but like their family members. A paltry square cauldron had such spirituality. Let along Yi Yuan's tier 9. Limitless cauldron. Seemingly sensing the sorrow in Yi Yuan's heart. The square cauldrons. Tremoring sounds became softer. Sounding like whimpering. It actually produced. A resonance with Yi Yuan. This made Yi Yuan stupefied. He smiled and said. You staying here will only let a fine artifact be covered in dust. Do you want to lie in this place for thousands of years? I know that you have very deep feelings for your previous owner. But if you bump into another owner who treasures you, wouldn't it be a hundred times better than you lying here? Rest assured, I'll let you give off even more dazzling brilliance than before. The square cauldron obviously could not understand Yi Yuan's words. But it could understand Yi Yuan's meaning through Yi Yuan's divine sense. Yi Yuan's confidence regarding the alchemy path simply did not need to be feigned. Because in this world, he was one of those strongest few people. Of course, if he was given time, he might perhaps be the strongest and not one. Of, or maybe Yi Yuan's lament before moved the square cauldron or perhaps Yi Yuan's powerful confidence infected the square cauldron. All in all, it did not resist this time and freely allowed Yi Yuan to leave an imprint on its body. All of a sudden, the square cauldron shone brilliantly. The dust on the cauldron body all fell off. A profound artifact that was covered in dust for thousands of years came into being once more. Yi Yuan smiled faintly and put away the square cauldron into the spatial spirit artifact. Then, he patted White Light's tiny head and said, Come, let's continue. To white light, seeking treasure seemed to be a very enjoyable thing. He jumped up joyfully and led Yi Yuan to set off again. 
This time, White Light ran a very long distance and arrived at a room again. But what made Yi Yuan surprised was that he was just about to push the door and enter when the door opened from inside. It was actually Wu Zhao who walked out from inside. He did not think that this room was actually grabbed by Wu Zhao first. And just as Wu Zhao was about to appear, white light vanished with a swoosh. He actually hid inside the spatial spirit artifact already. When Wu Zhao saw Yi Yuan, he was also stunned. Right after, he said, delightedly, So, it's Marshal Nephew Yi. You arrived a step late. I just found a 32 restrictions spirit artifact inside. You don't need to go in. Anymore. Haha. -ha. Wu Zhao suffered losses at Yi Yuan's hand repeatedly. But this time, he gained an edge over Yi Yuan. He immediately felt his spirit become refreshed. Yi Yuan smiled lightly and said, Then I'll have to congratulate Elder Wu. Since this place has already been searched by Elder Wu, I'll go look elsewhere. Presumably, Wu Zhao would not leave him anything either. Entering again was naturally a wild goose chase. Furthermore, Yi Yuan knew that the Heavenly Sky Sect surely had their own method to retain treasures. It was just that he did not expose it earlier. Since everyone was relying on their own means anyway, whoever found it would belong to that person. Yi Yuan believed that with white light this treasure-seeking expert, the things he found would naturally not be inferior to the Heavenly Sky Sect. Finished talking, Yi Yuan left straight away. Wu Zhao saw that Yi Yuan had no reaction at all and unwittingly felt like his. Punch struck the air. Incredibly depressed. Seeing Yi Yuan leave, Wu Zhao also left uninterestedly. But after Wu Zhao left, Yi Yuan's figure appeared at the entrance of this room. Again, Yi Yuan also thought that this room already had nothing much to search for. But after he had just left, white light appeared again, biting his pants as he dragged him over here. Could it be that this room still had some good stuff? But towards White Light's judgment, Yi Yuan was still very confident. This room was rather like a utility room, piled full of all sorts of things. Inside messily, sweeping a glance across, some places were already emptied out. Clearly, it was taken by Wu Zhao. White Light took three steps as two steps and came to the corner self against the wall, holding a shiny black bead and came in front of Yi Yuan. Yi Yuan reached out to receive the bead and involuntarily furrowed his brows. Slightly, this bead was too inconspicuous. At a glance, it was simply unranked. It was, no wonder that Wu Zhao did not notice it at all. Yi Yuan could not refrain from playing with this black bead and tried, inserting a trace of essence energy. But there was still no reaction at all. The unresigned Yi Yuan probed his divine sense inside again. But there was still no reaction at all. With this, Yi Yuan was completely bummed out. Presumably, the Eternal Splendor Palace person most likely tried all sorts of means after obtaining this bead as well but was fruitless in the end. That was why it was cast aside like an old shoe. Otherwise, it would also not be placed in a remote corner like this. With Yi Yuan's knowledge and experience, he was also unable to tell what on. Earth this bead was, let alone other people. Could it be that white light made a mistake this time? This was just a very ordinary bead? Yi Yuan could not help looking over at white light and noticed that he was currently wagging his tail to claim credit. He involuntarily laughed and said, I'm afraid that you misjudged this time. White light protested immediately when he heard that. He bounced up and down and bared his teeth just short of roaring at Yi Yuan. Speaking of it was strange, White Light was already middle stage tier 2, but his physique actually did not change at all. He still looked like a kitten. Yi Yuan was helpless and could only put the black bead away in the spatial spirit artifact. But right at that instant, a wave of stabbing pain flooded Yi Yuan's sea of consciousness. The golden characters gave off a blinding light. Then that black bead vanished. With a whoosh, Yi Yuan's divine sense fell into a trace briefly but recovered swiftly. He was secretly alarmed and quickly inspected his own sea of consciousness and could not help being taken aback. That black bead was currently suspended within his sea of consciousness. Quietly, 
and those golden characters were revolving around the black bead, appearing, very serene. What kind of situation was this? Yi Yuan was dumbfounded for a moment. He had never encountered such a bizarre incident. What the hell was this black bead to actually arouse the golden characters? Covetous eyes? It was very clear that the golden characters forcefully snatched away the black bead from his hands just now. Looking at it now, this black bead was more than just special. It was simply a heaven-defying object. But when Yi Yuan checked his body over, he did not discover any sort of changes. He could not help heaving a sigh of relief but was also somewhat faintly disappointed. If this bead were really some heaven-defying item, it would be good to bring some changes to his body. Letting out a long sigh, Yi Yuan brought white light and exited the room. Different from the other people searching blindly, Yi Yuan had white lights. Help. Everything he found was top-tier treasures. After two hours, apart from the square cauldron Yi Yuan's spatial spirit, artifact gained many more things. Large quantities of spirit medicine over twenty. Sets of spirit artifacts, magic artifacts, as well as large quantities of essence crystals. All of a sudden, Yi Yuan felt like he became an overnight millionaire. White light brought him to an herb storehouse. Inside the herb storehouse were spirit medicines of every rank. Just the tier four medicinal herbs were over a dozen. But the most peculiar thing was that this second level actually had no danger whatsoever. Everybody returned to the gathering place perfectly all right. As if the second level was a place especially for people to seek treasures. Yi Yuan casually summoned the things in the storage ring. Only two or three. Spirit artifact and some medicinal herbs that he had no use of. When Wu Zhao saw the things Yi Yuan found, his face could not help showing in. Odd expression. Martial nephew Yi Yuan only found these? Yi Yuan sighed helplessly and said, Yes, luck wasn't very good. I didn't find anything good. The way I see it, there probably isn't anything good here. Otherwise, there wouldn't be no danger at all here. Wu Zhao was actually very dejected too. The best thing he found was that 32. Restrictions spirit artifact. He even showed off in front of Yi Yuan. But this did not seem quite right no matter how one looked at it. This mysterious sect was plainly very powerful. A 32 restrictions spirit. Artifact should not be the best, right? Thinking up to here, Wu Zhao could not resist observing the restrictions. Compass secretly. But there was no reaction at all. That also meant that Yi Yuan did not cheat. It was really quite abnormal. He obviously did not know that the good stuff here were all lying inside Yi. Yuan's spatial spirit artifact quietly. Tallying up the final count. 264 restrictions spirit artifacts and 732. Restrictions spirit artifacts showed up. As for 8 restrictions and 16 restrictions, there was naturally plenty. Apart from this, the most that everyone found was still cultivation methods. And martial techniques. Of course, that was because Yi Yuan did not take fancy to them. These were mostly tier 3 or 4 cultivation methods and martial techniques. They were simply pretty useless to Yi Yuan. The final thing was the issue of distribution. The Heavenly Sky Sect and Tranquil Cloud Sect 2 sects possessed the greatest right to speak. After a round of intense discussion, the 264 Restrictions Spirit Artifact were split evenly by the two sections. As for the 32 Restriction Spirit Artifacts, for to the Heavenly Sky Sect and 3 to the Tranquil Cloud Sect. Additionally, the Heavenly Sky Sect compensate the Tranquil Cloud Sect for Pieces of 16 Restrictions Spirit Artifact. Among that included the Restrictions Compass. This was fought for by Yi Yuan. This Restrictions Compass was rather interesting. It seemed to be able to replicate inhibition array formations. This made Yi Yuan rather interested. As for the other spirit artifacts, there were divided up by the other six. Great Sex. The Heavenly Sky Sect turned their noses up on these low rank spirit. Artifacts, while the Tranquil Cloud Sect was also considered to have gained enormous benefits, they obviously would not haggle over this either. Those cultivation methods and martial techniques, the eight great sects, followed the ratio discussed beforehand. 
the Tranquil Cloud sect also got to pick several Tier 4 cultivation methods and martial techniques. So far, the Tranquil Cloud sect could be said to be the greatest winner of this. Mystic Realm Trip They did not lose a single man, but obtained the most natural treasures and riches. Looking at the Heavenly Sky sect, on the other hand, the lineup sent out this. Time was the strongest, but presently only a mere ten people were left. Although the three elders were all here, after they were extorted a sum by Yi. Yuan, their gains probably did not even match the Tranquil Cloud sect. Everything was distributed properly. A new problem appeared in front of everyone. Where was the entrance to the third level? There were still around 30 people left among the eight sections. But these people all said that they did not see the entrance to the third level after returning. Now that things came to this, everyone each had their own judgment in their hearts. This eternal splendor palace should be a sect possessing tier 5. Experts at its prime. But the things found by the eight sects now were basically all tier 4 and below tier 4. Then, where did the tier 5 articles go? This was the key point. To the southern domain's eight great sects, tier 5 was absolutely an enormous temptation. If they obtained a tier 5 cultivation method, their sex strength would surely have a qualitative leap. One had to know that the Heavenly Sky Sect's strongest expert at present was only at the third level Soul Sea Realm. Marshal Nephew Yi, I wonder if you have any way of entering the third level? Wu Zhao was also at a loss as to what to do and could only ask Yi Yuan. But Yi Yuan was also clueless at the moment and shook his head and said, No. Idea. Or perhaps there isn't a third level at all. Wu Zhao said, how is that possible? Tier 5 experts clearly existed in this eternal splendor palace. And since we entered the mystic realm until now, all we saw were tier 4 stuff. What about tier 5 items then? Yi Yuan smiled and said, What's surprising about that? The eternal splendor palace had clearly suffered a severe blow. Or maybe the tier 5 items were plundered away by their foes. In truth, Yi Yuan was just saying, even he himself did not believe it either. The first level and second level items were preserved very completely. That at least showed that this great hall did not suffer heavy losses. Then the third level definitely existed. Except, where on earth was the entrance to the third level? Evidently, all the rooms in the second level were searched through by everyone, and they did not find any obvious entrance. Right at this moment, Yi Yuan's heart suddenly gave birth to a hint of ominous premonition, as if there was some danger currently approaching. But when he surveyed his surroundings, he did not find anything dangerous. Yi Yuan could not help recalling the contents of that jade slip fragment. Could it be? But just as Yi Yuan was pondering, rumbling sounds suddenly came from beneath his feet. The entire eternal splendor palace trembled at this very instant as if an Earthquake was happening. Many people lost their footing and fell to the ground. Ouch! What is it? What happened? Such a violent earthquake. The mystic realm isn't collapsing, right? Touchwood. You crow's beak. Saying any more and your father will shred your mouth. For a moment, the eight sex disciples fell into a disorderly mess. Deep beneath the earth, a light flashed and several silhouettes appeared. These people's looks were very rugged. Their attire was vastly different from Yi Yuan's company. Ha ha ha. It's been several thousand years. Our fierce gale world finally descended upon the endless world again. A bushy bearded burly fellow laughed. Wildly. Fierce gale world survivor. Lin Chao. Pays respect to your excellency. After that bushy bearded burly man burst into wild laughter, a person came forward to salute. It was precisely Lin Chao. And how was the present Lin Chao some crystal formation realm martial artist? He was shockingly already a sea transformation realm expert. Turned out that when he was traveling together with the Tranquil Cloud Sect, he had been concealing his strength all along. Even Yi Yuan surprisingly did not perceive it. That bushy-bearded burly man shot Lin Chao a glance and said in a booming voice, was this six extreme seals grand array broken by you? 
Lin Chao replied respectfully. Yes, us survivors have been lying low in this endless world's southern domain for thousands of years and finally found the way to crack the formation and the location of the seal. Today, the fortune of cracking the formation is truly my purple mansion sect disciples several thousand years long cherished wish. The bushy bearded burly man chortled with laughter and said, Ha ha ha! Also, considered that you guys have the heart. Back then, leaving you all in the endless world was the divine stroke of the previous generation's wind emperor. To think that it finally bore fruit today. You're called Lin Chao, right? Good. I've remembered you. I'll report your contributions to the higher ups. Lin Chao was overjoyed as he said, Lin Chao dare not claim credit for himself. My purple mansion sect all swallowed humiliation and shouldered heavy burdens to reside in the southern domain land just for today. The bushy bearded burly man nodded and said, All right, you don't need to say anymore. I know well in my heart. Your strength is decent. It's just that such. An appearance completely became this endless world's wuss-like look. Lin Chao smiled and said, didn't our fierce gale world want to enter the endless world in order to become like this? The bushy bearded burly man was stunned. But then he laughed loudly and said, Ha ha, what you said is correct. Oh right, I'm called Lan Bao. These three. Aremit Lan Sman, Lan Hu, Lan Feng, Lan Yun. Lin Chao clasped his hands and said with a salute, I've seen the three. Lords. Lan Bao waved his hands and said, no need to be so formal. Your strength is equal to theirs. Just address each other as brothers will do. This six extreme seal's grand array is unbelievably powerful. Although you broke the formations, base from this side only see transformation realms can pass through right. Now, I've already informed the higher-ups. They will send people over very soon to continue cracking the grand array, wanting to completely link the two. Worlds will probably still need half a year to a year's time. During this period, we have to guard this passageway well. Lin Chao nodded and said, What Big Brother Lan said is right. Actually, the Six Extreme Seals Grand Array is within a mystic realm in the Endless Worlds. Southern Domain. I snuck inside the team exploring the mystic realm and came. Together this time. As he spoke, Lin Chao briefly summarized the situation after entering the Mystic Realm to Lan Bao. Lan Bao was completely indifferent when he heard it and said, Turns out it's a bunch of crystal formation realm little bastards. The few of us is enough. Brother Lin Chao. Exterminate them together with the four of us brothers. Lin Chao said respectfully, Yes. After a long while, the rocking eternal splendor palace finally quietened. Down. But it was already in a big mess. The Eternal Splendor Palace had clearly been reinforced with array formations. Before, although the swaying was extremely intense, it was not damaged at all. This, what on earth happened? Why did it shake so violently just now? Wu Zhao's words were directed at Yi Yuan. Yi Yuan shook his head, but suddenly thought of something and his expression. Involuntarily changed drastically. His figure moved and came to a purple mansion sect disciple's side. Grabbing his collar, he asked, Quickly say, where is Lin Chao? That purple mansion sect disciple was first taken aback. Following that, he also had a sudden realization and said, As senior apprentice brother Lin? Ah, why yes, where is senior apprentice brother Lin? When did senior apprentice brother Lin disappear? Yi Yuan clenched his teeth and threw that purple mansion sect disciple onto the ground. He had been eyeing that disciple's eyes the entire time. If he lied, it definitely could not escape his eyes. That purple mansion sect disciple also did not know when Lin Chao disappeared or what he went to do. This was even stranger. The things that Lin Chao was going to do, even his fellow sect members were actually unaware. No wonder the first time he laid eyes on Lin Chao, he had a very strange feeling. Seemed like this fellow had a problem from the start. When Wu Zhao saw Yi Yuan lose his composure like so, he was also greatly startled. He came forward and asked, Marshal Nephew Yi, what happened? Who is 
This Lin Chao. With Wu Zhao's status, he obviously would not pay attention to a crystal. Formation Realm Martial Artist. Lin Chao's disappearance made Yi Yuan's heart give rise to an intense uneasiness. He had a feeling that the earthquake earlier definitely had a link. To Lin Chao, what in the world did he do? Yi Yuan briefly described Lin Chao's identity. In truth, he also did not know who on earth Lin Chao was. Looking at it now, Lin Chao most likely had some undisclosable identity. And his goal of entering the mystic realm was different from his group of people. When Wu Zhao heard Yi Yuan's words, he also could not figure it out and was somewhat uncertain. We'd better leave this place quickly. I keep feeling like something is about to happen. At this time, Wu Zhao clearly also sensed trouble. Yi Yuan let out a sigh and said, Already too late. I'm afraid that our exit is already blocked off. His words had yet to fade, only to see a flash of light. Five silhouettes appeared in front of everybody. When the eight sex disciples saw these five people, they all felt an intensely oppressive feeling. The visual shock that Lan Bao and his three brother's wild form gave everyone was too strong. When Wu Zhao saw Lan Bao, his eyes involuntarily became intent. Fifth level C transformation realm. Wu Zhao sucked in a cold breath. A fifth level C transformation realm expert was simply not somebody that they could contend with. One Lan Bao could take care of all of them. But Yi Yuan's gaze stopped on Lin Chao's body and similarly felt a wave of inconceivability. Turns out, presently, that the eighth level crystal formation realm Lin Chao was actually already third level C transformation realm. Lan Bao's group of five, one fifth level C transformation realm and four, third level C transformation realm. How were they going to fight? Seeing such a lineup, everyone revealed despairing looks. Brother Lin Chao, are these people the endless world people that explored the mystic realm together with you? Lan Bao asked as if there was nobody else present. Lin Chao nodded and said, That's right. A hundred of us came on this trip. The majority of the Sea Transformation Realm Elders have already been smitten. Down by the heavenly thunder essence locking grand array. Only these people are left. Lan Bao said with a disdainful face. A bunch of ant-like existences are the endless world's people all this week. Lin Chao smiled and said, How can the Endless World's natives be our fierce? Gale World's match? Back then, if not for the Grand Yen true sex sacrificing, the entire sex strength to seal the realm passageway, the Endless World, would have been our fierce Gale Worlds long ago. How could they have the opportunity to wander these several thousand years freely? Lan Bao guffawed when he heard that and said, Ha ha ha! What Brother Lin said is right. But before long, the endless world will be ours. At this time, a purple mansion sect disciple asked weakly, Lin, are you senior apprentice brother Lin? Why you said something about fierce gale world? Just now? What is happening here? Lin Chao looked at him and said with a smile, You probably don't know yet, right? Our purple mansion sect's upper echelons are all fierce gale world. Survivors. Our mission for staying in the endless world is to open up the two. World's passageway to welcome the Wind Emperor's arrival. Junior apprentice. Brother Wang, you and I are fellow sect apprentices. If you pledge allegiance to my fierce gale world now, I can give you a way out. Junior apprentice Brother Wang clearly did not know what fierce gale world was. But even if he was any dumber, he also knew that Lin Chao was not an Endless world native currently. Hearing Lin Chao's words, Junior Apprentice Brother Wang's face involuntarily became the color of dirt. For a moment, he did not know what he should do. But at the moment, Lin Chao's gaze landed on Yi Yuan. Junior Apprentice Brother Yi, we meet again. This entire way I'm really indebted to Junior Apprentice Brother Ye's care. Lin Chao said with a smile. Everything that was happening right now seriously far exceeded Yi Yuan's expectations. Even if Yi Yuan calculated everything, it was also impossible to predict such a drastic change. During this trip, the greatest adversary from start to finish was the heavenly sky sect. 
Yi Yuan's focus would naturally be placed on Wu Zhao. Yi Yuan obviously would not think that an eighth-level crystal formation realm could stir up such a large storm, let alone think that this mystic realm trip would actually involve the dispute between two worlds. At this very moment, Yi Yuan finally understood what the contents of that jade slip fragment meant. Invasion did not point to a powerful opponent in the endless world, but the invasion of the fierce gale world. In his previous life, Ji Qingyun was born in the divine realm and grew up in the divine realm. Most of what he knew about the lower realms were understood. From records, there were countless lower planes. Some worlds did not intersect with other worlds while there were worlds with a realm passageway to other worlds. Once this passageway opened up, the two worlds would frequently have a fierce battle. There were even realms that would have a large-scale war erupt every few hundred years if things continued this way. Living in such a world was unfortunate, because they did not know when they would die. The origin of this sort of war was normally to plunder resources. But later, on, it would become a mortal feud. Very clearly, the fierce gale world attempted to invade the endless world. Several thousand years ago, but the passageway was sealed by the endless world. And now, this seal was broken by Lin Chao. The passageway opening up again could mean that the endless world would be plunged into an abyss of suffering from now on. Yi Yuan's current expression was not too good either. Lin Chao suffered quite a loss at his hands. Looking at it now seemed like he was enduring it. Patiently, his goal was in order to infiltrate the Eternal Splendor Palace. Right now, Lin Chao had already completed his mission and even displayed his true strength. Using one's toes to think and one would also know that he wanted to regain face. In truth, Yi Yuan knew that not a single person here could escape. It was just that Lin Chao was probably going to place heavy emphasis on him, right? If it was Lin Chao alone, then things could be settled. But that bushy bearded, burly man was simply not who Yi Yuan could presently match, even if he possessed 18 sword puppets currently. At this time, Yi Yuan was already spinning the gears in his head at full speed to think of a strategy to escape. He quietly entered heart like still water state. Under heart like still water state, his thoughts would become even calmer and more acute. Yi Yuan had no way of making himself maintain the heart like still water state. All the way, that would exhaust too much mental strength. But with the passing of time, Yi Yuan's cultivation in heart realm already advanced further. The time he spent in heart like still water state now was already far longer compared to during the Dan Wu Academy's time. Senior Apprentice Brother Lin concealed so deeply. If Senior Apprentice Brother Lin displayed your cultivation sooner, I also wouldn't dare to show off my inadequacy in front of you. However, talking up to hear Yi, Yuan's gaze became sharp. Since you concealed your cultivation back then, then Senior Apprentice Brother Pang's score, I've noted it down. Looking at it now, back then when Lin Chao lured the wolf pack over, it was clearly because he did not wish to expose his strength in front of his fellow sect members. No matter what objective Lin Chao wanted to achieve, since it was intentional and it harmed people close to him, then this was completely a different case. Lin Chao's scheming was deep. Presently, their side had the absolute overwhelming strength. Why would he take to heart Yi Yuan's threat? Hur hur. What a coincidence. I also came to find junior apprentice brother Yi. To settle scores, Lin Chao said with a chuckle. Yi Yuan suddenly thought of something and put away his cold expression, changing into a smile and said, Oh, right, I nearly forgot. Looks like senior. Apprentice brother Lin wants to take back the soul jade on me. But these words from Yi Yuan were said to Lan Bao. M.M. Soul jade. Lan Bao had clearly also heard of the name Soul Jade before. Hearing Yi Yuan mention it currently, he could not help showing a curious look. But Lin Chao was secretly alarmed and wished that he could tear Yi Yuan into pieces immediately. This move from Yi Yuan was too ruthless. To see Transformation Realm martial artists, Soul Jades were essentially an irresistible temptation. 
Even if Lan Bao did not know the function of soul jades, Yi Yuan would likely say it out too. This was a blatantly open plot, an undisguised sowing of dissension. But Lin Chao was also somebody with an exceedingly sharp mind. The expression on his face did not change at all as he said to Lan Bao unperturbedly. Prior to this, I was fortunate enough to acquire some soul jades. But along the way, the greater part of it was extorted by this brat. I was just planning on killing this brat to retrieve the soul jades to offer up to Big Brother Lan. Bao! Although Lan Bao's strength was powerful in terms of mind games, he clearly could not compare with Lin Chao. He involuntarily nodded and said, Then what are you waiting for? Leaving such a priceless treasure like soul jade on a spirit condensation realm brat's body. Isn't that a waste of God's good gift? Quickly kill him and be done with it. This Lan Bao evidently had a violent and tyrannical personality. He could not even be bothered to waste any breath on these people. Lin Chao sniggered coldly and looked at Yi Yuan. Third level C. Transformation Realm Aura was suddenly released as he attacked Yi Yuan. But what awaited him were sword puppets. Eighteen sword puppets appeared abruptly. Lin Chao instantly fell into the lesser. Nine revolutions interlocking formation. Lin Chao was frightened by this scene at first and thought that Yi Yuan unleashed some mighty move. After he saw that these sword puppets only had late-stage crystal formation realm strength, he involuntarily sneered coldly and said, Paltry tricks. But he discovered very soon that he was too nah. V. These dense sword shadows forced him until he simply did not have the strength to counterattack. Lan Bao's aura locked onto Wu Zhao, Mei Zhen, and Elder Zhu, these three people the whole time. As long as the three of them dared to move, he would give a thunderbolt-like attack. In Lan Bao's opinion, Lin Chao, a third-level sea transformation realm, dealing with an eighth-level spirit condensation realm was definitely given. Instant kill as the conclusion. Who knew that Lin Chao was actually blocked by a bunch of late-stage crystal? Formation Realm Pupé? Did Brother Lin Chao stay too long in the endless world and your combat? Strength fell until you can't even beat a group of crystal formation realm. Puppets. Lan Bao said with slight displeasure. Fierce Gale world martial artists all revered their own personal strength and completely did not understand profound things like array formations. Hence he totally could not see through the actual situation with these sword puppets. Lin Chao was crying bitterness in his heart. There was simply no way of talking reason with this boorish fellow. Even a fool could tell that these puppets were extraordinary. Are you poking fun at me? Big Brother Lan Bao, these puppets are controlled by Yi Yuan using an abstruse array formation. It's very powerful. I, I can't handle it. Alone, Lin Chao said while dealing with the sword puppets. Although he really did not wish to admit it, he truly could not take down these sword puppets within a short period of time. Even if this was not Yi Yuan's true combat strength, Lin Chao still felt very disgraced to ask Lan Bao for help. He originally even thought about showing a good performance. Who knew that he lifted up a stone to smash his own feet? Lan Bao impression of Lin Chao was originally pretty good. After all, to the Fierce Gale world, he performed an outstanding service. But now, Lan Bao's disdain towards Lin Chao came from the bottom of his heart. The Fierce Gale world's martial era was extremely prosperous. Martial artists all had extremely strong faith in their own combat strength. Lin Chao, a sea transformation realm, actually asked him for help to deal with. A spirit condensation realm. The way Lan Bao saw it, Lin Chao had stayed too long in the endless world and already lost the pride that a fierce gale world martial artist should have. But Lan Bao also knew the severity of the matter and said to Lan Yun at the side, Lan Yun, you go and test out what amazing aspects these lousy puppets have. Lan Yun nodded and said, Yes, big brother. Mei Jin saw these boorish men going to join the fight, and in a panic, he wanted to make a move. Lan Bao snorted coldly and said, Whoever dares to move will be the first to. D. The words were brief, but the deterrent was impactful. 
that powerful aura from Lan Bao crushed the three people until they were completely out of breath. Mei Jin also knew that once this Lan Bao attacked, it would surely be earth, shattering. He would certainly not be a match, but Yi Yuan was fighting too alone now. Could it be that he had to fold his arms and look on just like that? For a moment, Mei Jin's inner heart incomparably anguished. Lending a hand, he most likely would not even have the chance to make a move. Not lifting a finger, this ridge in his heart could not be cleared no matter what. Calm down, Elder Mei. I can still hang on. Just then Yi Yuan's voice. Transmission arrived. Not knowing why, hearing Yi Yuan's words, Mei Jun's anxious mood immediately. Calm down. Lan Yun's aura was the weakest among the four people. Only the likes of early, stage third level C transformation realm. He came in front of the formation and released his aura. The faces of the eight sex people all changed. This, is this really the aura released by a third level C? Transformation realm. Zhao Yuyang exclaimed in shock. Elder Zhu's face was solemn as he said, I feel that. I'm not his match. This person called Lan Yun is definitely someone who is a veteran in battle. His true combat strength is extremely strong. Seeing this scene, Mei Jun's heart that had just calmed down surged great. Waves again. Lan Yun did not hesitate, charging into the formation directly. Lan Yun's aura billowed. A set of fist techniques struck until it was impermeable. For a moment, clanking sounds could be heard without end. Lan Yun actually forcefully clashed with those myriad sword shadows with a pair of iron fists. When experts made their move, the genuine and the fake would become clear at a glance. This Lan Yun's strength was truly powerful to the extreme. Wu Zhao and Mei Jin had all fallen into the Lesser Nine Revolutions. Interlocking formation before and was deeply aware of the prowess of this set. Of array formations. Just those sword shadows that might come out of nowhere. At any time was enough to drive people insane. But this Lan Yun could react right away no matter which direction the long sword came from in the array formation and perform an accurate response. This was completely the instinct of fighting. Lan Yun's actions totally did not need to be processed through his head. And his fist would arrive already. Such formidable fighting instinct made everyone draw a cold breath. Even Wu Zhao was also measuring himself with Lan Yun's strength. His realm was that tiny bit higher than Lan Yun. But if they really faced off, he might not be able to gain an advantage. Nobody noticed that among these endless world folks, there was someone looking at Lan Yun inside the array formation with sparkling eyes as if he was absorbed in thought. Lan Yun's fist art had an extremely strong personal style. Although he had not formed true intent yet, he was already not far from it. T. Wujo's eyes were fixated dead at Lan Yun's fists. A hint of comprehension was gradually born in his heart. This, this Lan Yun is so strong. Yi Yuan, can he hold on while fighting too alone? Tian Yu could not help worrying. No idea. But at present, I'm also at my wit's end. Mei Zhen said with a bitter smile. Yi Yuan, you definitely have to hang on. You must stay strong. Tian Yu gritted his teeth and said, Ever since his divine soul reached the perfection of alchemy master, although Yi Yuan's soul force did not increase much, his endurance soared tremendously. Presently, facing the two third level C transformation realms within the array formation, while it was somewhat taxing on Yi Yuan, it was still far from his limits. Lan Yun's strength also amazed Yi Yuan quite a bit, but this fellow was Clearly a moron who knew nothing about array formations. After he entered the array formation, he was of completely no help at all to Lin Chao. The two of them were fighting their own battles. If Lan Yun understood array formation slightly and joined hands with Lin Chao, to break the formation, the pressure on Yi Yuan would immediately be much greater. Facing the lesser nine revolutions interlocking formation, there was basically only breaking the formation using strength this soul path. Though there were two people inside the array formation now, they were fighting separately and were unable to focus their attacks. The threat to Yi 
Yuan naturally also reduced quite a bit. But at this time, Lan Bao finally perceived that something was not quite right. He was very clear about Lan Yun's combat strength. While his strength among the four brothers was the weakest, facing these few guys opposite should not pose an issue. But even so, after Lan Yun entered the puppet formation, he actually did not even stir up a single wave. In a twinkle of an eye, dozens of moves had passed, but the puppets were still as stable as Mount Tai. That eighth-level spirit condensation realm brat actually did not show the slightest hint of being defeated. Lan Bao's face fell. He said to Lan Hu and Lan Feng, You two go as well. Don't believe that a puny little eighth-level spirit condensation realm can overturn the heavens. Once Lan Bao's words came out, Mei Zhen and the rest were greatly startled. You people, you're too shameless. For sea transformation realms fighting a spirit condensation realm? Do you guys still have shame? Mei Zhen said in a great rage. Lan Bao grinned and said, What? Are you very unresigned? Mei Zhen gritted his teeth and said, So what if I'm unresigned? Lan Bao turned to Lan Hu and Lan Feng and signaled with his eyes to make them attack faster. Mei Zhen was very anxious and wanted to stop them. Suddenly there was a blur in front of his eyes which involuntarily gave him a great shock. He hurriedly retreated, but that figure was even faster than him. Too slow. Lan Bao's words sounded beside Mei Zhen's ears like a nightmare. Then he did not know anything anymore. Lan Bao lightly tapped Mei Zhen's body. Mei Zhen's vision went dark, and he collapsed gently on the ground. Elder Mei! Elder Mei! When the Tranquil Cloud Sect disciples saw that Mei Zhen was subdued by Lan Bao in one move, they could not help being terrified. Their faces turned pale, as they all cried out in alarm. Lan Bao grinned and said, Relax, he isn't dead yet. You all don't move. If you move again, my temper isn't going to be so good anymore. Mo Yun Tian and the rest felt indignant but did not dare to speak out. Lan Bao was seriously too powerful. When Mei Jin saw that scene earlier, he felt he was about to suffocate. Was true that he was stronger than Mei Jin, but it was not possible to be way more powerful. Since Lan Bao could defeat Mei Jin in a single move, dealing with him naturally would not take too much work either. Although the fifth level C transformation realm was much stronger than the third level C transformation realm, it was not to such an extent that Mei Jin did not even have the chance to retaliate, right? Could all these fierce Gale world martial artists be this strong? At this moment, Wu Zhao and the rest revealed thick fear in their eyes and could not give rise to any hint of resisting in their hearts anymore. When Lan Bao saw such a situation, he was very pleased. The effect he wanted was achieved. And right then, Lan Hu and Lan Feng, these two third level C transformation. Realm experts had also already joined in the fight. Miss quickly make a move. If it continues like this, Mr. Yi won't be able to hold out much longer. Yenner watched Yi Yuan battle 4C transformation realm powerhouses with his own strength and could not help becoming very anxious. But Lear shook her head and said, Mr. Yi should have his own plans. We'd better not make a move rashly. Otherwise, he will be unhappy. But there's still a fifth level C transformation realm glaring with hostility. It's not possible for Yi Yuan to be lucky this time, right? Yenner asked. That might not be so. Let's watch first then say. Just a measly little fifth level C transformation realm. He can't stir much of a wave. If he really can't, it won't be too late for us to make a move then, Lear said. Lan Bao was obviously unaware that the mantis stalks the cicada, being unaware of the aureole behind. But his present expression was not too good either. After Lan Hu and Lan Feng, the two of them, entered the battlefield, they still could not break the stalemate. An eighth-level spirit condensation realm brat actually fought to a draw with. For third-level sea transformation realm by controlling a group of late-stage crystal formation realm puppets. What kind of joke was this? If the endless world were all as strong as this boy, then what the heck did? 
the fierce gale world still had to fight for. At this time, Lan Bao obviously would not really be dumb enough to think that. Lin Chao's strength was lacking. This brat was bizarre. Having been through these few rounds of great battles, Yi Yuan's operation of the Lesser Nine Revolution's interlocking formation also became even more proficient. When Yi Yuan himself was inside the array formation, the sword puppets were just lifeless objects which would not modify the array formation according to the opponent's variation. But now that Yi Yuan was manipulating the array formation, it was completely different. Lin Chao still had slight knowledge in array formations, but the Lan clan. Three brothers were completely ignorant. Hence, Yi Yuan mobilized the sword puppets to separate Lin Chao and the three of them completely and not let them have any chance to converge. As long as they could not come together, they would not be able to cause lethal damage to the sword puppets. The array formation would also naturally not be broken so easily. In a twinkle, another hundred over rounds passed. But Yi Yuan still had yet to show the slightest hint of being overpowered. The people from the endless world who were watching had shock written all over their faces. The tranquil cloud sect really picked up a treasure to actually groom such a monstrous youth. If Yi Yuan doesn't die, the rise of the tranquil cloud sect will be in the near future. Yeah, if I didn't witness it with my own eyes, I simply dare not believe that. This is real. He's only at the spirit condensation realm. After he reaches crystal formation realm or sea transformation realm, how horrifying would he become? What rise is there? No eggs can remain unbroken if the nest is overturned. This fierce gale world is going to attack soon. The sect masters are most likely still unaware of this matter. Furthermore, will Yi Yuan be lucky today? Sigh. It's too bad for this unparalleled genius. Another person said. This. That person involuntarily shot a glance at Lan Bao. The despair in his heart welled up once again. This man was extremely powerful until it made people unable to give rise to the thought of resisting. And at the moment, Lan Bao's eyes were staring at Yi Yuan like a cheetah. That unconcerned and leisurely feel was already gone. Yi Yuan's heaven-defying performance finally made Lan Bao take him seriously. A peerless genius like this, once he let him mature, there would be countless fierce gale world martial artists who would die in his hands. Therefore, Lan Bao's figure moved, vanishing instantly from where he stood. When he appeared again in the next instant, he already arrived beside Yi Yuan. Everyone watched this scene in terror, especially the tranquil cloud sect. Disciples, their eyes unwittingly revealed despair. Yi Yuan, careful Yi Yuan. The tranquil cloud sect disciples cried out, but their cries were not as fast as Lan Bao's action. That deadly palm of his had already landed like lightning. Everything seemed to have become a foregone conclusion. Ah, no. Yenner covered her eyes in pain and could not bear to look at this scene. But Lear's pretty eyes flickered by the side. She still did not have any intention of making a move. An ugly sneer flashed across the corner of Lan Bao's mouth. This sort of thing, like destroying geniuses, made people feel the greatest satisfaction. Especially a monstrous, unrivaled genius like this. Clang. A dull, colliding sound undulated out across the second level, vibrating. Everybody's eardrums until it hurt. Under everyone's disbelieving eyes, Yi Yuan's figure flew out like a cannonball, and in his arms, he was hugging a large square cauldron. Yi Yuan did not die. Facing imminent danger, Yi Yuan actually released the square cauldron and defended against Lan Bao's certain kill palm move. At the same time, Yi Yuan even put away all of the sword puppets inside his storage ring. Very clearly, he had calculated that scene earlier long ago. Hence, he was ready long ago. Keeping the sword puppets and pulling out the square cauldrons were actions. Done in just a blink of an eye. Therefore, Yi Yuan escaped this calamity. Wu Zhao watched this scene dumbfoundedly and dare not believe that this was real. Even he could not quite follow Lan Bao's actions earlier. Yi Yuan actually carried out a perfect defense. Goodbye. 
Don't bother to see me out. In midair, Yi Yuan's voice sounded out leisurely. Yi Yuan's inverted flight speed was extremely quick. But he was evidently well prepared. Putting away the square cauldron in midair, just as he was about to collide into a wall, he lightly tapped with the tip of his feet and turned toward a passageway. His figure disappeared. Lan Bao did not chase after right away. He placed his palm behind his back. If there were people standing behind him right now, they would notice that his palm was currently trembling faintly. Very clearly, he himself also suffered a tremendously powerful recoil from that palm just now. Tier 5 Profound Artifact Lan Bao clenched his teeth and enunciated each word. His face was currently livid with rage. It was apparent that he still could not quite accept the truth. A spirit condensation realm brat actually escaped. From his hands. Big brother, what now? Lan Hu asked. Take care of these people first. The passageways here are all sealed off by. He can't escape. Lan Bao said. Yes. Hearing Lan Bao's words, the people from the eight sects all turned ashen. Lan Bao came in front of everybody and said in a solemn voice. I'm very angry. Right now. So. All of you have to die. Hold your horses. Lin Chao suddenly said. Lan Bao frowned and said. What? Big brother Lan Bao, weren't you planning to turn into them slaves and send them to the fierce gale world previously? In my opinion, it's best not to kill them. Yi Yuan that brat is extremely cunning. These are all his fellow disciples. Just in case we can't find Yi Yuan, we can use them to force Yi Yuan to show himself. Lin Chao said. Lan Bao pondered for a moment and nodded his head as he said. What you said. Makes sense. Do as you say then. Although it was just a brief single exchange, Lan Bao could deeply sense Yi Yuan's boldness and cautiousness. But when Mo Yun Tian heard that, his face spontaneously became ashen. That bit of joy from Yi Yuan escaping instantly vanished into thin air. Want to take us as hostages? Dream on. Mo Yun Tian cried out and was about to commit suicide. But Lan Bao said coldly, Wanna die? Have you asked me? He just casually tapped, but was even faster than Mo Yun Tian's own actions. Then, Mo Yun Tian collapsed softly like Mei Jin. Lin Chao seal off their danchons and escort them back to the fierce gale. World, Lan Bao said coldly. Following that, he came in front of Wu Zhao and the rest again, saying, it's your turn now. You people can choose to die or become slaves. Actually, the instant Lan Bao and company appeared, Yi Yuan was already racking his brains on how to escape. After he saw Lan Bao's strength, he knew that wanting to bring everyone away was already something impossible. Yi Yuan was not a foolish person, being fully aware that he was outmatched. If he went on, it would be a certain death. That was not bravery. But stupidity, staying behind to die together with Mei Jun and the rest was the most stupid choice. Furthermore, if even he was sent inside too, then it would really be hopeless. As long as he, Yi Yuan, did not die, there would always be a chance to rescue everybody. Hence, from that time, Yi Yuan already made preparations to escape alone. Yi Yuan had made the decision long ago. If Mei Jun, Mo Yun Tian, or the rest, suffered anything untoward, he would definitely bury the entire fear scale. World with them someday. This might perhaps be as hard as ascending to the heaven to others. But to Yi Yuan it was not far off. Yi Yuan did not say any threatening words before leaving because him. Threatening at this time was overly feeble. Other than infuriating Lan Bao, it served no other use. Yi Yuan scuttled along. The entire second level's rooms and passageways appeared clearly inside his mind. There was only one exit in the second level. Then where was his path to? Survival? There was only one life road, which was the third level. From the beginning, Yi Yuan had never thought about leaving through the exit. On the first level, after Lan Bao came up, Yi Yuan quietly entered heart like still water realm. He wanted to find the third level's entrance. Hence, Yi Yuan recalled the entire process of seeking treasure in the second. Level desperately. Finally, 
he discovered a clue. The second level had many big and small rooms. Naturally, there were also big and small aisles. When Yi Yuan mapped out all the roads he walked through in his mind clearly, he unwittingly came to a sudden realization. The setup of the second level was essentially an array formation. This array formation was not some entrapping formation or killing formation, but it was an array formation setup in order to conceal the third levels. Entrance. Starting from the entrance, if one did not know array formations no matter where the person walked, he would never find the third level's entrance. Want to find the entrance leading to the third level? The only way was to crack this array formation in order to find the correct route. Thinking this through, Yi Yuan also could not help sighing emotionally at the ingenious mind of the person who designed this eternal splendor palace. And this eternal splendor palace was a legacy that Lu Linfeng left behind. Using this sort of method to conceal the third level's entrance also matched. With the theme, it was just that there was no obstruction whatsoever entering the second level. Everybody entering the array formation was also equivalent to placing themselves inside the game. As the saying went, those closely involved could not see clearly. That was not said for fun. It was an exceedingly difficult matter for a person inside the game to want to see through the puzzle. Even for a tier 9 array master like Yi Yuan when he did not enter heart-like. Still water realm, he was also completely clueless. Or maybe, the designer of this eternal splendor palace was Lu Linfeng himself. Starting from then, Yi Yuan started to plan his escape. Yi Yuan did not run away immediately. Because he simply could not escape. Lang. Bao's movement techniques were definitely much quicker than him. Provoking Lin Chao to confront him then luring the other three to attack, but the final goal was to bait Lan Bao to come and attack him. This was Yi Yuan's method to force himself to his wit's end, leaving no room for escape so that he would fight out of desperation and win. It was also a solution that was not a solution. When Lan Bao attacked, Yi Yuan was still inside heart like still water heart realm and could barely keep up with his movements. Hence, he released the square cauldron to forcefully withstand Lan Bao strike, and to borrow the recoil strength of this blow from him to escape swiftly. The square cauldron was a profound artifact. Even if Lan Bao's attack was stronger, it would also be hard to shake it in the slightest. Even the escape route was also planned out by Yi Yuan long ago. That strike from Lan Bao did not deviate, sending Yi Yuan exactly to his planned route leading to the entrance of the third level. And because of the backlash, it would definitely hinder Lan Bao's speed of pursuit. In addition, he was wary of Wu Zhao and the rest and might not choose to chase after right away. All of this and everything was all within Yi Yuan's calculations. He succeeded. Yi Yuan's movements were extremely swift. He mustered up all the essence, energy within his body and did not dare to rest at all. He was afraid of Lan. Bao and Ko chasing after. With his present strength, he was completely not Lan Bao's match. Soon, almost there. Still a bit more left. Yi Yuan tasted sweetness in his throat. A mouthful of blood surged to his chest but was forcefully suppressed by him. Lan Bao palm was no joke. That palm shocked his own hands until it went numb. One could imagine just how great the power was. Even if there was the square cauldron blocking in the middle neutralizing much of the force, that impact force still caused severe injuries to Yi Yuan. In truth, when he received that palm, Yi Yuan's internal organs already suffered serious wounds. His viscera felt terrible as they had shifted positions. But Yi Yuan had no time to be in pain. He had to escape at the first moment. Therefore, he forcefully persevered all the way until now. The current Yi Yuan was relying completely on his last trace of willpower to forcefully hang on. However, mustering essence energy with full force aggravated Yi Yuan's injuries even further. His consciousness had already become increasingly blurry. Yi Yuan already cracked the array formation in his mind previously and figured out the route. But walking toward it at this time felt so distant away. He did not have the opportunity to retry once more nor the time to fall. Unconscious. He must find the entrance to enter the third level. 
Finally, Yi Yuan saw a light pillar ahead. That was the third level's entrance. But the present Yi Yuan had already reached his limits. Is this as far as I go? Yi Yuan desperately wanted to move his feet, but they become increasingly heavier. The several dozen feet distance was a short distance away, yet poles apart. Shh says T. Yi Yuan's injuries finally could not be suppressed anymore and erupted. Fresh blood wetted the clothing in front of his chest. The landscape before Yi Yuan became increasingly fuzzier. He reached out, desperately wanting to be able to reach the light pillar ahead. But he collapsed in the end. In a trance, Yi Yuan saw a strikingly beautiful woman appeared out of the void and reach out a pair of elegant arms to support him. A wave of fragrance hit his nose. Then he was out cold. Lear sighed lightly and said, You have done enough already. Roughly an hour later, Wu Zhao and the rest had their danshan sealed, restricting their essence energy. And at this time, many more people appeared from the underground passageway. Again, these people were mostly crystal formation realm martial artists. Lan Bao passed the eight sect captives to them and let Lan Yun lead the escort to send them into the fierce gale world. Once Lan Yun left, Lan Bao said in a grave voice, Lan Hu, Lan Feng, you guys, bring people to guard the entrance area. If Yuan shows up, kill him on the spot. Yes. Lan Hu and Lan Feng received the orders and blocked off the entrance. Completely. Lin Chao, you follow me together with others to ransack this second level. Completely. I want to see where that brat can hide. Lan Bao sight. Since Yi Yuan fled, Lan Bao's heart had been raging the whole time. If not, because the passageway matter was important, he would have long brought people to seek Yi Yuan out. Now everything was settled. He was going to catch a turtle in a jar. Lan Bao brought his subordinates and launched a large manhunt. But after half a day passed, there was nothing. Bang! The irate Lan Bao slapped a palm on the wall. The wall was fine, but his hand vibrated until it tingled. The whole Eternal Splendor Palace had been reinforced with array formations. Before, it was incomparably sturdy. How could a sea transformation realm damage it with one palm? Lan Bao did not wish to lose face in front of his subordinates. He held back the pain and said furiously, Where on earth did that brat hide to? Hmm. Finished talking, he turned to look at Lin Chao. Lin Chao smiled bitterly. How would he know where Yi Yuan went? The second level was only so big. Places that should be searched had been searched. One could really say that they dug three feet underground but did not even catch a shadow. They completely did not find another exit in the second level. Could it be that he could fly up to the skies? Lin Chao suddenly thought of something and said, Could it be that he went up the third level? Lan Bao's face also changed as he asked, The third level? Where's the entrance? Lin Chao shook his head and said, I don't know. We've already searched all the places here. We even scoured the corners of every room. We totally did not find the entrance. With their knowledge, it was simply impossible to think that this second level itself was a large formation. Hence, they remained at a loss as to where the hell the third level's entrance was. Just like this, another half a day passed. Lan Bao finally gave up. The passageway had just opened up. There were too many things to be done. Lang. Bao also could not possibly place all of his energy here constantly. But he did not give up, leaving Lan Feng behind to guard the exit. Miss, why did you not bring Mr. Yi away but send him into the third level? Instead, Yenner asked, being somewhat puzzled. This place is the Tao teachings that the Grand Yen Divine King left behind. Even I'm unable to pry into any secrets in the third level. Perhaps this might. Be a fortuitous encounter for Mr. Yi, Lear said. So that's the case. But Mr. Yi really took every conceivable possibility into account and found a feeble thread of life in the middle of a hopeless situation. This second level is actually a large formation. We didn't discover it before this, but not only did Mr. Yi notice it, he even found the entrance to the third level. 
truly remarkable, but sadly, he lacked just a tiny bit in the end. If he didn't encounter Miss, he'd probably. Lear smiled beautifully and said, Maybe it's already foreordained by unseen. Forces for me to help him cross this tiny bit? This thing called fate who can say it clearly? One can only say that Mr. Yi was fated not to die. Yenner's eyes swirled around, and she asked with a slightly mischievous smile, Miss, then do you think? It's fate that guided the two of you to come. Together? Lear was secretly surprised but shook her head repeatedly and said, You, lass, keep spouting nonsense. Quickly follow those people. Otherwise, we'll lose them. As she spoke, Lear ignored Yenner and left first. Yenner giggled and also followed. Turned out that the two of them master and servant actually followed the escorting team into the fierce gale world. Not knowingly how long had passed, Yi Yuan's consciousness finally started to recover gradually. He struggled to open both eyes, but what he saw was a simple yet elegant study. Room. This. What place is this? I. I didn't die again, right? Ye Yuan. Moved his dry lips and muttered to himself. Young man, you aren't dead yet. Right then, an elderly voice was heard. Yi Yuan recovered some strength and struggled to sit up. He discovered an elderly person currently sitting at the desk leafing through books. Except, his body was transparent. He was actually the same as Lu Yen, a soul. Body. Yi Yuan shook his head hard and tried his best to recall what happened. Previously, when he finally remembered what happened, he could not help. Exclaiming in surprise, Old man, could this be? The Eternal Splendor. Palace's third level. The old man ceased his actions of thumbing through books and said to Yi Yuan, with a smile, That's right. This place is indeed the Eternal Splendor. Palace's third level. Its name is Grand Yen Space. Hearing Grand Yen Space these three words, Yi Yuan nearly spewed out a mouthful of blood again. Lu Linfeng this fellow, he really, seeing that Yi Yuan's expression was odd. The old man was also rather perplexed. This reaction was not quite right, yeah? A spirit condensation realm brat actually had no reaction at all seeing such a profound and mysterious place? Senior, forgive Junior for being unable to get up to salute, Yi Yuan said. It's fine. May I ask, Senior, did you save me? Yi Yuan asked rather uncertainly. Indeed, the old man shook his head and said, I believe you can tell as well. I'm just a soul body. I can't walk out of the Grand Yen space. Only by entering yourself can you see me. Yi Yuan could not help ruminating when he heard this. A lithe and graceful image surfaced in his mind. Was it possible that that was not a hallucination? I clearly remember that before losing consciousness, there was still several dozen feet distance away from that light pillar. But why did I already enter the third level after waking up? But who was that girl? Why did she save me? Yi Yuan tried to recall with all his might, wanting to remember that face he saw before fainting, but no matter how he recalled, it was a very fuzzy face. But even if it was hazy, Yi Yuan could also tell from the outline that that was absolutely a kingdom-toppling beautiful face. Yi Yuan unwittingly remembered what happened when Yu Feng ambushed. Could it be that? The one who made a move back then was this woman? But when he did know a major power like this, Yi Yuan thought for a long time and also could not figure out the reason why. No matter what, it was naturally a good thing that the woman saved him. Yi Yuan secretly remembered that blurry profile. The next time he met her, he definitely had to thank her properly. The old man saw that Yi Yuan was absorbed in his thoughts and did not interrupt him either. He just observed this young man quietly by the side. He noticed that Yi Yuan did not have the average young person's rashness and had prudence unsuited with his age. Although his realm was not high for his age, he was already a talented genius. After Yi Yuan recovered, he hurriedly apologized. Sorry, senior. I was lost. In thought just now. The old man smiled kindly and said, It doesn't matter. I've already been 
inside this grand yen space for several thousand years already and have long polished my edges and corners. Why would I mind this sort of minor thing? Yi Yuan smiled and said, Thank you very much, senior. Talking like this is overly rude. Junior will consume some medicinal pills first to recover a bit of strength before talking with senior properly. Please excuse me, senior. Finished talking, Yi Yuan fished out a medicinal pill from his storage ring to consume and began refining the medicinal strength. When that old man saw that medicinal pill, his pupils involuntarily constricted. Although the medicinal pill that Yi Yuan took was only tier 3, its quality was exceedingly high. Furthermore, with his experience and knowledge, he actually could not tell the origin of the medicinal pill. One had to know that the Grand Yen True Sect was the endless world's strongest sect back then, not one of them. The Grand Yen True Sect had alchemy sovereign existences. What endless worlds? Tier 3 medicinal pills had he not seen before? Yet, he had not seen before the medicinal pill that Yi Yuan consumed. Then, something that made him even more flabbergasted and tongue-tied happened. Under the old man's perception, Yi Yuan's aura was rapidly recovering. After an hour, Yi Yuan's injuries were basically already under control. Seeing Yi Yuan's complexion go from pale white to rosy, the old man's eyes were glued to him. He had lived for several thousand years and had yet to see such a heaven, defying medicinal pill before. Yi Yuan woke up to the old man's expression and could not help asking, Senior, what's wrong with you? Ah? Uh? Oh, what medicinal pill did you consume earlier? To actually have such miraculous effects, your injuries were very severe. Although you had already taken medicinal pills to treat internal injuries, it's hard to recover without. A month of quiet rest. But you actually recovered in an hour. The old man exclaimed in astonishment. Yi Yuan smiled and said, That's Azure Profound Heart Nourishing Pill. It has some effects in treating internal injuries. My master imparted me the pill. Formula. Azure Profound Heart Nourishing Pill? The old man searched his brain for a moment but apparently did not find the relevant content. In order to prevent this old man from thinking too much, Yi Yuan changed the topic and said, How should I address senior? Only then did the old man return to the present and hurriedly said, This old man is Wei Xiao. You can call me Old Wei. Yi Yuan went forward to greet, saying, Junior has seen Old Wei. Is Old Wei somebody from the Grand Yen True Sect? Wei Xiao nodded happily and said, That's right. You actually know the Grand Yen True Sex name. Could it be that my Grand Yen True Sex name is still circulating in the world? Yi Yuan heaved a sigh and said, Actually, I heard this name from the mouth of a fierce Gale World's martial artist. Wei Zhao's smile instantly froze on his face. He said in bewilderment, What are you talking about? The passageway between the fierce Gale World and Endless world has already been sealed off by my sex six extreme seals grand. Array, how can you possibly have met a fierce gale world's martial artist? Yi Yuan recounted the events in the mystic realm for Wei Xiao to hear. Wei, Xiao was silent for a long time after listening to it. Finally, he let out a long sigh. My grand yen true sect sealed off the realm passageway by sacrificing the entire sect as the price, but to think that it eventually fell short of success one day. Finished talking, Wei Zhao's tears already covered his old face. Yi Yuan thought to himself that it was indeed like so, but he asked curiously, May I ask just what in the world happened back then, old Wei? Why did the Grand Yen True Sect sacrifice the entire sect to seal off the passageway? Wei Xiao sighed faintly, his eyes revealing a reminiscing look as he said, pensively, recalling back then when my Grand Yen True Sect was flourishing. In its heyday we awed the entire endless world using the array formations. Path, our limelight knew no equal. But the weather can change abruptly. Turned out that roughly 4,000 years ago, the endless world and fierce, gale world, these two worlds suddenly converged together and formed a spatial passageway. Ever since then, 
the fierce gale world launched a large-scale invasion from. The spatial passageway, different from the endless world's comfortable living conditions, the reason why the fierce gale world was named fierce gale was because over there, piercingly cold gales blew all year around. For seasons a year, harsh living conditions as well as scarce cultivation resources made each martial artist who matured very powerful. Some inklings about this point could also be somewhat seen from the Lon clan. Brothers, the endless world had rich resources, and the living conditions were very mild. How could the fierce gale world let this chance pass by? Yi Yuan nodded when he heard that and said, Fierce gale world martial artists are indeed powerful. In the same realm, endless world martial artists will most likely find it hard to contend with them. Yi Yuan's judgment was exceedingly high and had long seen through the differences between the Lan clan brothers and the endless world martial artists. But Wei Xiao said scornfully, It's true that fierce gale world martial artists are strong, but our endless world's resources are abundant. The overall strength of our martial artists is not weaker than theirs. Furthermore, when our Grand Yen True Sect was at its prime back then, Exterminating the other side's divine traversing realm powerhouses was a cinch. Yi Yuan did not refute. Lu Lin Feng that fellow's character was somewhat wretchedly miserly, but he truly had the capabilities. The Tao teachings that he left behind was bound to be unbelievably powerful. Furthermore, calculating the time, Lu Lin Feng should not have ascended for a long time back then, at most several hundred to a thousand years. Wei Shao saying that they were at their prime was naturally within reason. Then that was odd. With the foundations that Lu Linfeng left behind, the Grand Yen True Sect should not go so far as to sacrifice the entire sect to seal off the passageway, unless Yi Yuan's expression changed, and he blurted out, Is it possible that the Fierce Gale world is actually a high-order small world? This time, it was Wei Zhao's turn to be perplexed. Looks like you know quite a bit to actually even know about high-order small worlds. That's right, my Grand Yen True Sect only came to know later that the Fierce Gale Worlds. Realm Lord is actually a boundless realm powerhouse known as Wind Emperor. If we allow the war to continue developing freely, the aftermath would be too ghastly to contemplate. Putting aside the Divine Realm, there were countless lower realm small worlds and they were split according to the small world's degree of essence energy. Limitation dividing into high order, middle order, and low order, these three levels. The limit that high order small worlds could withstand was tier 6, boundless realm, while the limit for middle order small worlds was at tier 5, divine. Traversing realm, theoretically speaking, when martial artists surpassed this world's essence. Energy limitations, they could shatter the void and ascend to the divine realm. Only then did Yi Yuan saw the light. He mumbled, So that's how it is. Wei Xiao said with mixed feelings. My grand Yen true sect reigned above the endless world sex and enjoyed innumerable resources. Naturally, we also have to take on responsibilities. Hence, the sect master made an extremely tough decision. All six of the sex formation sovereign powerhouses cast the tier six grand array, six extreme seals grand array, by sacrificing their divine souls as the price and moved the entire sect to the sealing area using a great arcane magic to hold down the seal. Listening to Wei Xiao finish speaking, Yi Yuan also felt great respect. Sacrificing oneself to achieve a righteous cause. Speaking of such things was Easy, but when it really came down to their turn, it would require immense resolution. Let alone back then, the ones sacrificing themselves were not just the sect. Master alone, but all of the sovereign level powerhouses in the Grand Yen True. Sect. Lu Linfeng's character had always been held in contempt by Yi Yuan. But his disciples and followers left Yi Yuan no choice but to hold great esteem for them. Not everyone could shoulder such a responsibility. It was precisely because of the Grand Yen True Sex sacrifice that exchanged for these several millennia of peace for the endless world. Tier 6 Grand Array was a grand formation that surpassed the limitations of the endless world. 
divine traversing realm experts naturally had to pay a price if they wanted to cross this limit, and the price was their lives. Yi Yuan got up and bowed deeply towards Wei Xiao, saying, Senior and the rest's actions fill people with deep veneration. Please accept this bow from Junior. As a matter of fact, Yi Yuan's soul was not an endless world's native, but he rebirthed in Yi Yuan's body currently so he naturally counted as a person from the endless world too. Even so, Wei Xiao was not worthy of a bow from Yi Yuan anyway. This bow from Yi Yuan was done on behalf of Yi Hang and Ren Hongling. Without the Grand Yen True Sex Sacrifice, there would also naturally not be Yi Hang and Ren Hongling, and there also would not be the present Yi Yuan. Wei Xiao waved his hands and said with a sigh, You don't need to bow to me. Just hate that my realm back then was insufficient and was unable to participate in the setting up of the Six Extreme Seals Grand Array. Otherwise, I also wouldn't have let Sect Master personally join in no matter what. Sect Master was an incredible prodigy who would surely have been able to follow. Founding Father's footsteps and ascend to the Divine Realm. But he suffered. Such an undeserved catastrophe. Sigh. Listening up to here, Yi Yuan also sighed unceasingly. He could also tell from Wei Zhao's words that the Grand Yen True Sex Sect. Master back then was definitely extremely powerful. After ascending to the Divine Realm, he could probably have been able to follow by the Grand Yen Divine King's side. Becoming a Divine King powerhouse would not be hard. Old Wei has guarded here for thousands of years. Just this loneliness can match the people who died in battle back then. Yi Yuan consoled him. It was unlikely that Wei Xiao hold himself up inside this Grand Yen space in order to avoid the chaotic war. He definitely had a role to fulfill. Wei Xiao sighed again and said, Since the Six Extreme Seals Grand Array is already broken, the Endless World will surely fall into a chaotic war again. But in this time and age, who can execute the Six Extreme Seals Grand Array? Once again, forget it, forget it. This is already matters after one's death. Leave it to you young people to worry about. His gaze turned to Yi Yuan and said again, You've already seen through the second level's array formation and found the Grand Yen space's entrance. This means that you're a fated individual. My Grand Yen true sex inheritance needs to rely on you to carry forward. Hearing Wei Zhao's words, Yi Yuan's expression unwittingly became odd again. Back then, he wanted to obtain Lu Linfeng's Formations Path 9 scripts but did not get it. Who knew that vicissitudes of the world would change? He actually became his successor now, becoming his disciple. If he met Lu Linfeng in the Divine Realm in the future, would he jeer at him? Or not? Once he thought of that smug smirk of Lu Linfeng's, the corner of Yi Yuan's mouth involuntarily twitched. When Wei Xiao saw Yi Yuan's expression, he thought that Yi Yuan did not wish to receive the Grand Yen True Sex Inheritance. He urged, What is it? Could it be that you're unwilling? Young man, do you know what my Grand Yen True Sectus Inheritance signifies? Yi Yuan smiled wryly and said, Old Wei has already said before to Junior. How can Junior not know? Since that's the case, what misgivings do you still have? Wei Zhao's facial. Expression became somewhat unhappy. When the Grand Yen True Sect was at its zenith, it was one sect with six sovereigns. Such a lineup was rarely seen since time immemorial too. Such an amazing inheritance, giving it to others they would have already been. Moved long ago until they were wailing inordinately. This brat actually had a face full of unwillingness. Yi Yuan was filled with resentment in his heart. Even if you old man are a Freaking genius, you also won't be able to guess what scruples I have. When he met Lu Linfeng, that old man in the Divine Realm next time, did he have to go forward and give a deep bow and call him Founding Father? Just thinking about it felt absurd. If I dared to bow, would that old man dare to accept? Better not say that. He might really. No, he would definitely dare to. Accept it. Has screw him. If I behave shamelessly and refuse to acknowledge when the time comes, what can that old punk do to me? Old Wei misunderstood. 
You don't know this, but this junior is one of the Southern Domain's eight great sects Tranquil Cloud sect disciple. Someone. With a master. I'm afraid. Yi Yuan casually found a reason. Old Wei did not become angry when he heard that. Instead, he nodded. Approvingly and said, You respect your teachers and esteem truth, which shows that you, boy, are worthy of my entrustment. Don't you worry, I don't want you to enter the Grand Yen True Sect. But you have to promise me to definitely find a successor to pass on my Grand Yen True Sect's Tao teachings. Yi Yuan was overjoyed when he heard that and said, That's of course, Junior. Thanks old way first. Seeing Yi Yuan flowing with true sentiments, Wei Xiao lauded even more in his heart. It was hard to come by that this young man actually respected his master and teachings so much. He was surely an honorable person. How could Wei Xiao know that Yi Yuan did not even have a sectarian bias in his heart at all? He was fine with acknowledging anyone as master, just so long as he did not have to call Lu Linfeng that old fellow founding father. At the thought of that proud look from Lu Linfeng Yi Yuan would feel abhorrence in his heart. Since Yi Yuan did not need to enter the Grand Yen True Sect, then he naturally did not need to call him founding father. Yi Yuan obviously flowed with true sentiments, but Yi Yuan was not that kind of faithless person. Things that he promised Wei Xiao he would naturally accomplish them. Wei Xiao waved his hands and said, No need to thank me with words, for you to be able to pass through the layer upon layer of trials to arrive here means. You're the person selected by my Grand Yen True Sect. I waited for thousands of years here for your sake. In Old Wei's meaning is that the various types of array formations in this mystic realm was in order to select a successor. Yi Yuan's mind was astute. When he recollected everything that happened along the way, he involuntarily produced a hint of understanding. Wei Xiao nodded and said with a smile, That is so, of course. After the six, Extreme Seal's grand array was completed, the sect master set up this selection. Method before passing. One who is able to pass through the layers of tests to enter here will be my grand Yen true sect's successor. Yi Yuan could not help being filled with a vicissitude of emotions again. That generation's grand Yen true sect sect master was indeed a prodigious talent. The ingenuity of his mind, the might of his strength, were matched by few. The entire mystic realm was enclosed by the heavenly thunder essence locking. Grand array. Firstly, it could prevent high-level martial artists from entering and destroying the seal. Secondly, it could lower the age and realm of the selected individual. The confounding mist forest was similarly extremely profound. Without exceedingly high array formation attainments, one would simply be unable to walk out of it. At the back, there was the even more powerful absolute blaze. Barrier grand array, as well as seeking out the array formation for the third level's entrance. Each layer was interlinked. Although this level of design was a little brutal, it could genuinely select the person that the Grand Yen True Sect needed. It's just that I never thought that the one who arrived here, in the end, would be a spirit condensation realm martial artist. Wei Xiao shook his head and said with a smile, Oh, is old Wei looking down on me, this spirit condensation realm martial artist? Yi Yuan also said with a smile, Ha ha! You boy are quite persistent. I like that. But some things you got. To accept it even if you don't want to. Your realm is too low. To be able to. Reach this place most likely has a large part to do with luck as well. Yi Yuan asked with a smile. How so? Wei Xiao ignored Yi Yuan's deriding look and continued. Don't be unconvinced. I know that your attainments in the array formations path likely isn't. Shallow. But my Grand Yen True Sect's pinnacle inheritance is the Array. Formations three volumes. Before founding Father Grand Yen True Lord ascended. To the Divine Realm, he left this within the Grand Yen space. It's not some secret cultivation law, but it requires you to comprehend it yourself. Sect. Master's talent back then was immensely high. But even with ninth level Divine. 
traversing realm cultivation, he only comprehended 50% of it. At your young age, do you want to challenge sect master? Yi Yuan chuckled but did not dispute it. Although he knew that the sect master was a prodigious talent, Yi Yuan himself was likewise a peerless genius. This point, he had never humbled himself. Unduly before, one was a lower plane's pinnacle genius while the other was a divine realm's pinnacle genius. The two people were not even on the same plane to begin with. Even if Yi Yuan refuted, Wei Xiao naturally would not believe either. But the name of this array formation's three volumes drew Yi Yuan's attention. He knew that Lu Linfeng's greatest asset was the formation's Path Nine scripts. Presumably, it was derived from this array formation's three volumes. This array formation's three volumes should be Lu Linfeng's pinnacle work. Before ascending, it was just a pity that after he ascended, nobody else in the Grand Yen Tru sect could reach his level anymore. Of course, this was also a normal phenomenon. After all, the Grand Yen Divine King Lu Linfeng was an existence that could laugh proudly and wander the divine realm as he pleased. How many people could measure up to his talent? Seeing Yi Yuan's disapproving look, Wei Xing unwittingly shook his head. Inwardly, this Yi Yuan indeed had exceptional composure, but he was still young and spirited after all, and did not know the immensity of heaven and earth. But, who was not young before? Even the sect master at that time, didn't he also fear nothing and no one? Let this brat take a hit, then he will know and repent. All right then, since that's the case, follow me. Wei Xiao said and exited the study room first. Walking out of the door, Yi Yuan's eye suddenly lit up. It was as if he had arrived at an otherworldly paradise. A small bridge over a flowing stream, pavilions, terraces, and towers. There was even a peach blossom forest in full bloom right beside. The stunning scenery gave people a completely relaxed and refreshing feeling. Yi Yuan could not help sighing in admiration. Lu Linfeng actually already had such strength before ascending. No wonder he could affirm his Tao as the Grand Yen Divine King. There was an open space not far from outside the door. Three stone book volumes were placed in that open space. This is the array formation's three volumes? Yi Yuan asked uncertainly. Wei Xiao nodded and said, That's right. Insert your divine sense into one of the volumes, and you'll naturally understand. Yi Yuan nodded his head and sent his divine sense into the left-hand side. Stone book is told. Suddenly, a suction force appeared. It actually sucked all of Yi Yuan's divine sense into the book volume. By the time he recovered, Yi Yuan had already plunged into limitless darkness. But Yi Yuan did not panic. With his experience and knowledge, he could obviously tell that this was a place that was the same as consciousness space. Looked like Lu Linfeng's array formation's realm before he ascended had already surpassed this plane by far too much. Without making Yi Yuan wait for too long, a smidgen of light started to peer within the darkness. That was a light moat. Right after, more and more light motes begun appearing. The dots of light made Yi Yuan feel as though he was within a vast expanse of starry sky. Yi Yuan's gaze turned intent, but he shook his head and said with a laugh, I didn't think that a casual choice would hit the lesser nine revolutions. Interlocking formation. If one did not understand array formations, they would naturally be unable to comprehend the meaning of these light motes. But Yi Yuan was a tier 9 formation's emperor. Comprehending it posed no difficulty at all. The array formation looked unbelievably profound. But any great Tao would go from simple to complex, from easy to difficult. Even more complicated array formations could be broken down into single individual small units. This small unit was known as an array element in the array formation's path and the meaning that these light motes represented was each array element of the lesser nine revolutions interlocking formation. Formation's path was the same as martial artists' comprehending concepts. They were all stuff that could only be sensed but not explained in words. There was simply no way of using words to describe them. 
Hence, Lu Linfeng set up such an array formation's three volumes consciousness. Space to let descent disciples enter inside to comprehend. But Yi Yuan already fully comprehended this lesser nine revolutions. Interlocking formation, so he naturally did not need to waste any more time. But the lesser nine revolutions interlocking formation here was quite a bit. More profound than the one Yi Yuan comprehended. Evidently, Lu Linfeng's comprehension of it before ascending went up another. Level. Yi Yuan spent an hour's time to fully comprehend the improved lesser nine. Revolution interlocking formation. His divine sense willed and he withdrew out of this consciousness space. When Wei Xiao saw Yi Yuan exit, he inquired with a smile. How do you feel, young man? Comprehending formations is extremely time-consuming. There's simply no way to accomplish it at one stroke. You'd better stay here too. Cultivate diligently and slowly comprehend it. Yi Yuan flashed a brilliant beam and said, Feels very simple. Old way I'll go comprehend the next array formation. Finished talking, Yi Yuan came directly in front of the second stone volume and sunk his divine sense into it once again, leaving Wei Xiao with a frozen look on his face. The corner of Wei Zhao's mouth twitched twice, and his expression became odd. Simple? This boy is putting up a front in order to look impressive, right? Originally, I still thought that this boy was rather reliable. Why does he look increasingly less trustworthy now? Would the things left behind by a heaven-defying character like Founding Father be simple? One had to know that Founding Father was only at the Divine Traversing Realm when he ascended. But he had already created a tier 6 array formation like the Six Extreme Seals Grand Array. Wei Zhao's face unwittingly showed thick disappointment. Seemed like he still needed to use some means to make this boy study the array formations three volumes in a down-to-earth manner. But he had already stayed in the Grand Yen space for thousands of years. There was no rush to do it now. After entering the second array formation, Yi Yuan's pressure clearly became much greater. Of course, that was with respect to the first array formation. Comprehending the array formation in this consciousness space was vastly different from the lesser nine revolutions interlocking formation comprehended. Previously, at that time, the pressure that those sword puppets gave Yi Yuan was huge. Ye. Yeah. Yuan needed to place most of his energy on dealing with the sword puppets. But in here, not only were there no threats from sword puppets, Lu Linfeng even broke down the array formation into each individual most basic array. Element. Yi Yuan comprehending it was naturally twice the result with half the effort. This second array formation was none other than the six extreme seals grand. Array. To be able to seal off the passageway between two worlds, this six extreme. Seal's grand array was obviously impossibly powerful, and also exceptionally. Profound and complex. Yi Yuan spent a full half day's time to fully comprehend it as well. One had to know that Yi Yuan only spent four hours on comprehending the lesser. Nine revolutions interlocking formation. This to others was a result to be extremely proud of. But to Yi Yuan it was not something worth flaunting much. After all, this was only the array formation that Lu Linfeng left behind. Before ascending, while it was already powerful to the extreme in the lower planes, to Yi Yuan this tier 9 formation's master, the difficulty was not that great. If Yi Yuan was made to comprehend the formation's path 9 scripts, he reckoned that without one or two decades it would be hard to have minor accomplishments in it. The Grand Yen Divine King's present strength was far more than a hundred times, a thousand times stronger than when he ascended. The degree of complexity of the formation's Path Nine scripts was simply incomparable to this array formation three volumes. Yi Yuan's divine sense withdrew again. He noticed that the eyes Wei Xiao looked at him with became somewhat different. An exasperated look like he failed to live up to expectations. What? The Six Extreme Seals Grand Array is also very simple. The time spent. This time is a little longer eh. Yi Yuan could noticeably tell that Wei Zhao's words carried thick displeasure. He laughed and said, And, and also not too difficult either. Let's talk again. 
after I finish comprehending the third set of array formations first. Wei Zhao's eyes opened wide as he said, You're not saying that you've already fully comprehended the first two array formations, right? Hur hur, yeah. With that, Yi Yuan's divine sense sunk one more time into the third stone. Volume. Wei Xiao was so angered that he nearly cuffed Yi Yuan's ears. He said huffily, This child can't be taught. If the array formation's three volumes are so easy to comprehend, then wouldn't my grand Yen Tru sect be a joke? It was just that Yi Yuan's divine sense had already sunk into the stone book and could not hear his words. The third set of array formation, Yi Yuan spent an entire day. This was an illusionary array named Azura Confounding Formation. This Azura Confounding Formation was only a tier 5 array formation. But the comprehending difficulty was even greater than the six extreme seals grand. Array. When he finished comprehending this set of array formation, Yi Yuan also felt like collapsing. Although this set of array formation was an illusionary array, the danger level was absolutely even greater than the lesser nine revolutions. Interlocking formation. It was just that with Yi Yuan's current strength, he was simply unable to set it up. But having finished comprehending these three sets of array formations, Yi Yuan also had a clear understanding of Lu Linfeng's array formation system. His formation's path nine scripts should have been progressively developed and evolved from these three sets of array formations. Wei Xiao saw Yi Yuan's dog-tired appearance. He did not have the slightest hint of pity. He said in an icy tone, Young man already know how daunting it is. Don't reach for what's beyond your grasp as a person. This array. Formation's three volumes is enough for you to digest for the rest of your life. Yi Yuan smiled bitterly and said, But these three array formations really aren't hard. The disappointment on Wei Zhao's face grew even thicker. Still being stubborn. These three array formations are where the essence of founding. Father's formation path lies. You, a tiny little spirit condensation realm. Martial artist actually dare to outrageously say that it's simple? Truly. Unaware of how high the sky is and how deep the earth is. Yi Yuan was helpless. He knew that no matter how he explained, this old fellow would not believe it either. Nonchalantly taking out a pile of low-grade essence crystals, Yi Yuan said to Wei Xiao with a smile. Old Wei, look closely. Finished talking, Yi Yuan casually struck out those low-grade essence crystals around the vicinity of a peach tree. As the last piece of essence crystal got in position, those essence crystals suddenly lit up and actually flew on their own surrounding that peach tree as they spun. Finally, the brilliant rays of light radiated by those essence crystals covered the peach tree. After a few moments, the luster dissipated completely. That peach tree did not exist anymore. It was actually utterly obliterated already. Wei Zhao's face was filled with astoundment. His shock was obviously not because of the peach tree's annihilation but due to the array formation that Yi Yuan laid out. This is the simplified version of the Lesser Nine Revolutions interlocking. Formation, Yi Yuan said. As he said, he took out another pile of low-grade essence crystals and casually struck them out. A huge commotion of light like before, but it thoroughly isolated the peach tree. This is the simplified Six Extreme Seals Grand Array, Yi Yuan continued, saying. Yi Yuan was still waiting to lay out the Azura confounding formation when he was halted by Wei Xiao. No need, no need anymore. I I believe you. But, H how? Is this possible? Wei Xiao's gaze when looking at Yi Yuan was like he had seen a ghost. Wei Xiao had stayed in this place for thousands of years and was all too familiar with these three sets of array formations. Although the simplified array formations did not have such incredible might. The principle was the same. Yi Yuan's technique when laying out the formation flowed smoothly and naturally. Clearly, he was already crystal clear with the array formations. Wei Xiao only gradually digested this outcome after a long while. Except the bewildered look on his face grew even thicker. Back then, the prodigious sect master took 500 years to comprehend. 
50% to 60% of the array formation's three volumes. You're only at the spirit, condensation realm. You! How did you do it? Wei Xiao was even somewhat tongue-tied when speaking. Yi Yuan put on an innocent face and said, I don't know either. I just looked at it like that and understood it. Yi Yuan was also not deliberately trying to anger Wei Xiao. He could not vary. Well say that he was a tier 9 array master in his previous life and understanding tier 5 or tier 6 array formations was not all that difficult, right? But Wei Xiao was still riled. The expression on his face right now was fascinating to the extreme. If he was not a soul body currently, he would probably spew out three liters of blood, right? What did he mean by just looked at it like that and understood it? Something that others might not necessarily comprehend even if they spent hundreds and thousands of years you understood after looking for less than two days. Do you still want people to live? The one way Xiao admired most in this lifetime was sect master. But looking at it now, there was utterly no way of comparing sect master to this youth in front of him. This was too depressing. Nothing was more dismal than your idol being defeated. This sentence from Yi Yuan also blocked off all of Wei Zhao's questions. I'm just this much of a genius. No other reason. Things that were as hard as climbing up to the sky to others was as simple as turning over my hand to me. What did you want to ask? At this instant, Wei Xiao really felt like he was an old person smacked down by the new generation. All right then, since you've already comprehended the array formations three volumes, follow me now. Yi Yuan followed Wei Xiao back to the study. Wei Xiao beckoned with one hand. A small and exquisite flag cut through the air into Yi Yuan's hand. Wei Xiao said, This is my grand Yen True Sex Sect Master's token. With it, around, my grand Yen True Sex legacy will never be extinguished. In the future, when you look for a successor, pass these three sets of array. Formations and this flag to him and it will be considered as fulfilling my long-cherished wish. Yi Yuan played around with the flag and exclaimed with some surprise, This flag is actually a profound artifact. Wei Xiao nodded and said, That's right. This is an array formation profound. Artifact named Profound Water Flag. Using it can raise the speed of you. Setting up array formations by 50%. Tier 3 and below array formations can be instantly formed through the flag. The larger scale the array formation, the longer the setup time. It was already very heaven-defying for this flag to be able to raise the speed of setup by 50%. Yi Yuan said in delight, Excellent stuff. Additionally, your realm is too low. This Grand Yen space still has an array. Formation setup within it. Its name is Enlightening Formation. As for what? Realm you can break through to that will have to depend on yourself, Wei. Xiao explained. In? That's excellent. Thank you very much, old Wei. Let's hurry up and begin. My fellow disciples' life and death are currently unknown. I'm very worried about their safety and want to go back quickly. Yi Yuan gave thanks to him. Wei Xiao nodded and said, Since that's the case, I'll activate the array. Formation now. Wei Xiao brought Yi Yuan to a hidden room and made Yi Yuan enter it. The array. Formation activated and then colossal amounts of essence energy began to gather within the secret room. Enlightening formation was an array formation even higher rank than the spirit. Gathering formation. It could amass enormous amounts of essence energy. Instantaneously and provide it for martial artists endlessly. Just like. Swallowing cultivation medicinal pills non-stop. Soon enough, layers of fog appeared inside the hidden room. The thick essence. Energy had already condensed to form mist. Yi Yuan absorbed the essence energy greedily into his body and refined them. In truth, ever since divine soul perfection previously, Yi Yuan could have taken advantage of the momentum to break through to the ninth level spirit. Condensation realm but he kept lacking the opportunity. Now that he was refining essence energy unceasingly, the spirit liquid within. His body condensed with exceptional speed. Very soon he broke through the bottleneck for the ninth level spirit condensation realm. 
Outside the formation, Wei Xiao was astonished once again. Why would this boy absorb so much essence energy to break through to the ninth level spirit? Condensation realm? Furthermore, his breakthrough to the ninth level spirit. Condensation realm actually did not have any hints of a bottleneck. Looks like his cultivation realm comprehension had long surpassed the standards of eighth level spirit condensation realm. This boy is truly remarkable. At this time, Wei Xiao no longer doubted Yi Yuan's degree of genius. And right then, the spirit liquid within Yi Yuan's Dantian became increasingly more satiated and gradually reach a saturated state. Peak ninth level spirit condensation realm. The next step was condensing and forming crystal. Right at this moment, the cultivation method that Yi Yuan was revolving changed quietly. The Spirit Bristle Nine Yang Divine Arts Human Chapters Third Level Cultivation Law revolved in full force. He actually wanted to break through to the Crystal Formation Realm directly. What? Does he want to break through to the Crystal Formation Realm right away? Too reckless. He went from the Eighth Level Spirit Condensation Realm to Peak Ninth Level Spirit Condensation Realm. In between, he crossed an entire minor realm. He actually didn't even consolidate his realm and didn't cross it. From half-step crystal formation realm, breaking through to the crystal. Formation realm directly. Seriously too reckless. Wei Xiao was frightened by Yi Yuan's act. He made Yi Yuan enter this formation to let him break through to peak ninth. Level spirit condensation realm, not to let him break through to the crystal. Formation realm directly. Who knew that this boy kept doing some unimaginable things? Without even catching his breath, he broke through to the crystal formation realm directly. Yi Yuan did not have so many misgivings and completely did not plan on crossing from half-step crystal formation realm either. He planned on breaking through to the crystal formation realm right from the start. Yi Yuan already laid his foundation extremely solid during the spirit. Condensation realm. Breaking through to the crystal formation realm now was something that happened without effort. Sometimes, breaking through realms also needed to be done in a single vigorous effort. Being overly cautious would adversely affect the success rate of breaking through instead. When Yi Yuan broke through to the ninth level spirit condensation realm, he already accumulated this momentum to the peak condition. Choosing to break through to the crystal formation realm right now was the Best option. 99. 81 spirit liquid drop seethed inside Yi Yuan's Dantian. Yi Yuan's aura rose continuously without pause. Under the guidance of the spirit bristle nine yang divine art. These nine, nine eighty one spirit liquid drops actually started revolving in high speed inside. Yi Yuan's Dantian. At this time, Yi Yuan did not compress the spirit liquid within his Dantian but circulated the spirit liquid to let them swim inside his meridians. The revolving spirit liquid gradually formed a vortex. The more it revolved, the faster it went. The more it revolved, the lesser it became. That vortex shrunk at a speed discernible to the naked eye. All the spirit liquid transformed into essence energy inside Yi Yuan's body and begun circulating. Finally, that vortex shrunk to the limit, virtually disappearing. 9 9 return to 1. Condense. Yi Yuan howled. An extremely soft splitting sound seemed to have come from inside the Dantian. Looking over closely, Yi Yuan's Dantian actually had an additional extremely tiny crystal. And that crystal was still revolving at high speeds. Right at this moment, the essence energy within Yi Yuan's body just happened. To finish circulating one complete cycle, returning to the Dantian once more. When the essence energy returned to the Dantian, it was immediately drawn in. By the crystal, circling one round around the crystal before flowing towards the meridians once again. And at this time, that tiny crystal expanded by a bit. This brat, such a large commotion breaking through to the crystal formation. Realm, Wei Xiao involuntarily furrowed his brows. The essence energy inside the array formation poured into Yi Yuan's body. Crazily, but Yi Yuan took it all in. The essence energy was like floodwaters that opened the gate, filling Wei Xiao, who was watching with apprehension. 
Yi Yuan's body was akin to a bottomless pit. No matter how the flood water poured in, it could not be filled. Eighty-one spirit liquid drops forming a crystal had probably never appeared before in the endless world's history. Therefore, Yi Yuan's upheaval when breaking through appeared TPP outrageous in Wei Zhao's eyes. The frenzied essence energy kept circulating a great circulatory cycle inside Yi Yuan's body without stopping. That small crystal was also expanding continuously. Finally, after orbiting 9981 great circulatory cycles, Yi Yuan's aura withdrew abruptly, ceasing the frenzied absorption of essence energy. And presently, a pale yellow crystal suspended peacefully in the center of his Dantian. Yi Yuan finally broke through to the crystal formation realm. Wei Zhao's gaze grew intent, but he heaved a long sigh and muttered to himself, Heh, this brat really succeeded. Seriously reckless. Yi Yuan also breathed a slow breath of turbid air but did not ease up. To other martial artists, divine soul transformation was a very relaxed step. But to him, this was a deadly step. Before long, the essence energy which had just calmed down became agitated. Again, Yi Yuan's mind suddenly burst in pain. The torment of the divine soul ripping. Apart came once again. This sort of perverse transformation manner really made Yi Yuan feel like going crazy. He knew that this kind of transformation was because of those golden texts inside his sea of consciousness. He also knew that he would obtain even greater benefits from such a transformation. But the anguish experienced during this process was unimaginable by ordinary people. This time Yi Yuan was mentally prepared long ago, clenching his teeth. Tightly, his pair of fists also balled up tightly. Even so, a series of muffled groans was still emitted from his throat. Right at this moment, that black bead which had been lying quietly inside Yi, Yuan's sea of consciousness the entire time stirred. The black bead quivered slightly and actually shook off some black powder. When the black powder fell off, it instantly vanished. Immediately after, Yi Yuan felt a trace of cool refreshingness coming from. Within his sea of consciousness, his head which initially felt like it was exploding actually did not ache anymore. However, Yi Yuan could clearly sense that his divine soul was still being ripped apart. The present Yi Yuan was like a spectator observing his own divine soul being torn bit by bit coldly. Finally, those golden characters moved out. These golden characters were like exquisite tailors, sewing up Yi Yuan's shredded divine soul again. But there were no fissures at all. Who? Yi Yuan spat out a long breath of turbid air. The divine soul transformation finally ended. What in the world is that black bead to actually have such miraculous effects? As a divine realm's pinnacle existence once, Yi Yuan actually had not heard of such a miraculous black bead before. It was clear that its origins were Absolutely extraordinary. It was just that from the surface, he simply could not tell this black bead's value. It also did not have any unusual aspects. If it were not sucked inside his sea of consciousness by the golden characters, he would probably have treated it the same as garbage and threw it. Side, right? Sensing the power belonging to crystal formation realm martial artists, Yi. Yuan felt like he was brimming with strength. The crystal within Yi Yuan's Dantian was formed by the condensation of nine, nine, eighty-one drops of spirit liquid. The quality was much higher than the average. First level crystal formation realm. Disregarding all else, just talking about essence energy Yi Yuan's current. First level crystal formation realm was not in any way weaker than the average. Third level crystal formation realm. When Wei Xiao saw Yi Yuan walk straight out of the hidden room, he could not help being stunned. Why did you come out so soon? You just broke through to the crystal formation realm. Aren't you going to consolidate your realm? Wei Xiao asked puzzledly. Most people would have to enter close seclusion for a period of time after. Newly breaking through realms to consolidate their realm. Who would exit? Seclusion directly like Yi Yuan? No need. Old Wei. Thank you for your care these two days, but I'm still worried about my fellow apprentices, so I'll bid my farewell here. No matter what, 
I have to confirm their life and death, Yi Yuan said. Wei Xiao said, I can understand your feelings, but even if you broke through to the crystal formation realm, leaving also can't change anything, right? In my opinion, you should stay here to raise your cultivation well and leave. After reaching the soul sea realm, only this way will you have the strength. For self-preservation in the war between two worlds, Yi Yuan shook his head and said, The six extreme seals is unbelievably powerful, can only be damaged further from endless world side. But even if the seal was destroyed right now, the fierce gale world would not be able to launch a massive attack for some time too. Even if my fellow apprentices are no longer around, I also have to hurry back to the sect. I don't wish for my friends to meet with any mishap, Wei Xiao sighed and said, Since your mind is made up, I won't hold you anymore. But since the passageway between the two worlds is already linked, together you have to take care of yourself after leaving. Finished talking, Wei Xiao brought Yi Yuan to a transmission array. Yi Yuan bowed deeply in Wei Xiao's direction and said his goodbyes. Take care, old Wei. Finished talking, Yi Yuan stepped into the transmission array. Yi Yuan's eyes blurred, and when he reappeared, he returned to the second level of the Eternal Splendor Palace again. Currently, the Eternal Splendor Palace was devoid of people, looking rather bleak. Yi Yuan did not hesitate and walked directly towards the direction of the exit. Yi Yuan was just about to go down one level when alarm bells suddenly sounded. A silhouette leaped out from the side. Who could it be but Lan Feng who was guarding here? You finally came out. I've waited for you for very long. This is nine by nine, so just nine nine. Mm? Having not seen you for a few days, you actually broke through to the crystal formation realm already. Sensing the aura coming off of Yi Yuan's body, Lan Feng felt rather surprised. But it was merely just a little surprised. The strength of a first level. Crystal formation realm was inadequate to make him take it to heart. What made Lan Feng truly wary was still those puppets. But he also figured out his plan too. As long as he did not enter the array formation, Yi Yuan would not be able to do anything to him. But when Yi Yuan saw Lan Feng, he grinned instead and said, Your gall really isn't small. To actually dare block me here alone doesn't matter. I've already asked my comrades for help. I just have to persevere until they arrive here. Although those puppets of yours are impressive, you're still not qualified to defeat me quickly, Lan Feng said, derisively. Fierce Gale World Martial Artists advocated personal martial force most of all, and disliked assistance from external items. They were very disdainful of Yi Yuan's methods. Lan Feng hoped to see a panicky expression on Yi Yuan's face, but he was disappointed. Not only was there not a trace of panic to be seen on his face, but Yi Yuan was also so composed that it made him a little flustered. Freaking absurd. Lan Feng cursed inwardly. That's also to say that as long as I finish you off before your comrades arrive, then it's all good, Yi Yuan said with a grin. Harumph. Wild arrogance. Lan Feng was furious when he heard that. Enough crap. Come on. Yi Yuan extended a hand. Songhua sword appeared in his hand. But Lan Feng did not make a move. He was afraid that Yi Yuan would suddenly release the sword puppets. Once he fell into the array formation, it would not be easy for him to want to free himself. This Lan Feng looked like he had a straightforward personality at first glance, but it did not mean that he was dumb. The anxious one right now was Yi Yuan, not him. He just had to waste time. And this was also all taught to him by big brother Lan Bao. Yi Yuan smiled slightly and said, You're not coming? Then I'm coming. Yi Yuan wielded his sword and pointed at Lan Feng. Exquisite flower petals started appearing in the air. Seeing this scene, Lan Feng's complexion changed drastically. This fellow was actually able to maneuver heaven and earth essence energy. He thought that what Yi Yuan was relying on were the sword puppets. He never thought that he still had such a fierce move. But the problem was that Yi Yuan was still only at the crystal formation realm. How did he do it? 
but there was already no more time for him to think. If he pondered any more, he was going to die. After breaking through to the crystal formation realm, Yi Yuan's perception, an affinity toward heaven and earth essence energy went up by a huge step. Executing thousand flowing petals again was no longer as demanding as it was. Before at the spirit condensation realm, the speed of execution naturally also sped up considerably. The Lan clan brothers were all the same type, exceptional speed and formidable. Fist strength. Only to see Lan Fong tap his feet and his figure moved explosively, shooting. Towards Yi Yuan. A cluster of flower petals blocked in front of Lan Fong like it floated along. With the wind, Lan Fong clenched his jaws. Break for me. A fist smashed out. Essence energy surged. And an exploding noise actually. Sounded. The fist without any ostentatiousness was a fist with a crushing force that overwhelmed all. Lan Fong belonged to those type who were extremely powerful in close combat. He did not mobilize large amounts of heaven and earth essence energy to face his opponents like Yi Yuan, but would condense heaven and earth essence energy onto his own fist to wield it as he pleased. This kind of brandishing method could muster heaven and earth essence energy the fastest and augment the might of his fist art to the maximum degree. In midair, Lan Feng's fist collided with that cluster of flower petals. There was no intense impact sound. That cluster of flower petals slowly melted, finally vanishing. But Lan Feng's fist force was already totally crumbled by Yi Yuan. Lan Feng was so greatly frightened that he turned pale. How is that possible? You're only at the crystal formation realm. How can you be so proficient in the usage of heaven and earth essence energy? The reason why Lan Feng was astonished was because that clump of flower petals was not Yi Yuan's full strength, but it was only a small tuft of the flower. Petals that Yi Yuan condensed, and this small cluster of flower petals was just enough to neutralize the fist. Force that Lan Feng invoked, just how accurately did he grasp it? It was as if Yi Yuan saw through it with one glance how much heaven and earth. Essence energy this fist of Lan Feng had amassed. Something that even he, the sea transformation realm, could not do but a first level crystal formation realm martial artist could accomplish. How could Lan Feng not be astounded? For close combat type martial artists like Lan Feng the most important thing was momentum. And presently, he was completely unable to gather his own momentum. Yi Yuan would not give him the opportunity to accumulate any momentum. Yi Yuan did not pay attention to Lan Feng's astonishment. All of his energy were placed on manipulating the thousand flowing petals. Although he had already broken through to the crystal formation realm, maneuvering heaven and earth essence energy was something that only Marshall. Artists at the sea transformation realm and above could accomplish. Accurately speaking, only soul sea realm martial artists could control heaven and earth essence energy as they wished. Sea transformation realms merely understood some superficial knowledge. Hence, manipulating thousand flowing petals was still something tremendously difficult for Yi Yuan. It was just that compared to while being at the spirit condensation realm, it was way easier now. Presently, a circumference of a hundred feet was already flooded with countless flower petals. Yi Yuan naturally would not give Lan Feng any chance. At all. He moved another small cluster of flower petals which churned towards Lan Feng. Lan Feng's expression darkened, and he gritted his teeth and said, Humph! So what if you can mobilize heaven and earth essence energy? How can I lose to a puny little crystal formation realm martial artist? Torrential pear. Blossom fist. Break for me. All of a sudden, Lan Feng's aura skyrocketed. A colossal aura swept away those. Flower petals. This was the true strength of a sea transformation realm powerhouse. Only to see Lan Feng's fist shadows cascade forth. Negating Yi Yuan's attack. One after another. It was seemingly as if no matter how many flower petal attacks Yi Yuan. Mustard. They were unable to breach Lan Feng's defense. Yes. After Lan Feng's aura skyrocketed, he did not attack but defended. Passively. Because his surroundings were already jam-packed with flower petals. Even if 
he unleashed the full strength of sea transformation realm, he would have no way of getting through these flower petals either. As a close combat martial artist, he already lost the only chance to approach Yi Yuan. With his speed, if he struck first to gain the initiative Yi Yuan's thousand, flowing petals would not have succeeded in launching so smoothly. But sadly, Lan Feng was cautious in taking action and did not attack first. By the time he felt that something was not right, there was already no chance. Left. Now he could only take a beating passively. Yi Yuan's thousand flowing petals was not some ordinary martial technique. But it was a supreme true intense sword move. When Yi Yuan was at the second level spirit condensation realm, he could already use this move to injure the sea transformation realm Yao Qian. One could imagine just how powerful the attack of this sword move was. Now that Yi Yuan already advanced an entire major realm, the might when displayed again could no longer be mentioned in the same breath. Even the formidable Lan Feng could only avoid contact when facing the thousand. Flowing petals. Those withering flower petals looked like they were harmless to humans and animals, but in truth, killing intent was concealed. What Lan Feng could rely on presently was his thick essence energy. As long as he could persist until Yi Yuan's essence energy ran out, he would have the chance to kill Yi Yuan. Lan Feng's torrential pear blossom fist danced flawlessly. However, there was not a wall without a crack in this world and also no absolute defense. No matter how fast his fists were, it was also not possible to defend. Everywhere, one had to know that the thousand flowing petals was not a straightforward attack but flower petals that could flutter. All pervasive, regardless of how compact Lan Feng's fist art was, how could it possibly block the limitless flying flowers? While Lan Feng did not detect it, a bunch of petals already flew into his defensive circle by following a path along his lower body. Thousand flowing petals explode. Yi Yuan gave a low cry, only to hear puffing sounds occurring everywhere. Countless tiny explosion sounds took place inside Lan Feng's defensive radius. Each flower petal's explosion was certainly not very strong. But the explosions from thousands and tens of thousands of flower petals, that was not something fun. Lan Feng's body was blasted away until it quivered non-stop like he was dancing drunkenly. The protective essence energy of a sea transformation realm was exceedingly powerful, especially for a close combat martial artist like Lan Feng. But no matter how powerful it was, it could not contend with this petal rain that filled the entire sky. Yi Yuan manipulated more and more flower petals to fly toward Lan Feng. By the end of it, he was already submerged by the petals. Countless flower petals exploded. Lan Feng's body trembled even more. Violently. Finally, that powerful protective essence energy was breached by these innumerable miniature explosions. Lan Feng's main body started to receive the explosions. Pew work. Lan Feng violently vomited a mouthful of fresh blood and kneeled feebly onto the ground. But right at this moment Yi Yuan moved. Yi Yuan did not wait for Lan Feng to hit to the ground. With a flash he arrived before him. God's stunning spike. Yi Yuan's divine soul force erupted abruptly, attacking Lan Feng's sea of consciousness. Lan Feng evidently did not imagine that Yi Yuan would suddenly perform a sneak attack using divine soul mystic arts to attack him, while completely caught off guard and still at a loss as to what was happening, Lan Feng only felt his mind go blank, and the whites of his eyes could be seen. Then he was out cold, but Yi Yuan's means had not ended yet. He formed seals with both hands swiftly. His soul force was released once more, plunging into Lan Feng's sea of consciousness. Slave seal, form. Currently, Lan Feng's divine soul was viciously attacked by Yi Yuan's god. Stunning spike and already sustained substantial injuries. It was also in a completely unprepared state. Making use of this time lag, Yi Yuan forcefully planted a slave seal in Lan Feng's divine soul. Different from Yuan Fei's soul contract, after having the slave seal planted, Lan Feng would lose his own consciousness. All actions must be taken from Yi. 
Yuan. Moreover, due to Yi Yuan forcefully planting the slave seal, it would also cause irreversible damage to Lan Feng's divine soul. Lan Feng's cultivation in this life would also halt here. Seeing the slave seal form successfully, Yi Yuan also felt like collapsing. The series of attacks earlier were all completed in the time it took for a spark to fly off a piece of flint. Regardless whether to his essence energy or divine soul, it was all an enormous burden. A crystal formation realm martial artist planted a slave seal on a sea. Transformation realm martial artist. This was something that others did not even dare to imagine. But Yi Yuan did it. See, transformation realm was not a major realm. Although the divine soul, strength of C transformation realm martial artist was enhanced to a certain degree compared to crystal formation realm martial artist, it was not that kind of major realm leap, especially for a pure martial artist like Lan Feng. In terms of divine soul, realm grinding, it barely reached the standards of middle to late stage. Alchemy Grandmaster. After Yi Yuan broke through to the crystal formation realm, his divine soul. Realm had already leaped directly to the perfection of early stage alchemy. Grandmaster. Roughly around Lan Feng's divine soul realm. It was precisely so that Yi Yuan dared to perform such a risky move. Planting. A slave seal in Lan Feng. Although Yi Yuan succeeded, the entire process was something incredibly perilous. Yi Yuan's divine soul realm was not as high as Lan Feng's when all was said and done. If Lan Feng had any bit of precaution, not only would he fail to succeed, it would cause his divine soul to suffer a backlash instead. Therefore, before Yi Yuan made his move, he already took into consideration each and every step. Not that Yi Yuan liked the thrill, but because Yi Yuan wanted to understand Mei Zhen and the rest's whereabouts through Lan Feng. Yi Yuan knew that no matter how he asked, Lan Feng would not tell him as well. Even if he told him, Yi Yuan would not dare believe it either. So the best way was to control Lan Feng. Furthermore, Yi Yuan still had even longer-term considerations. If Mei Xin and the rest died, everything was obviously too late. But if they did not die, he still had areas to use Lan Feng in. Yi Yuan did not waste too much time. Lan Feng already informed experts to come through secret methods previously. The more he delayed, the more dangerous it got. Open up your divine soul. I want to search your memories. Ye Yuan. Instructed. Lan Feng's eyes recovered some light, but he disregarded the injuries on his body and struggled to his feet to give a bow towards Ye Yuan. Yes, master. Ye Yuan's divine sense entered Lan Feng's sea of consciousness and read his memories. Seeing that Mei Zhen and the rest were fine, he could not help heaving along. Sigh in relief. Speaking of which, he had to thank Lin Chao. If not for him interjecting, Mei Zhen and the rest would probably already be dead now. Yi Yuan fished out an azure profound heart nourishing pill and threw it to Lin Chao. Quickly eat it. But there isn't time for you to refine the medicinal strength already. We leave now. Many thanks for master bestowing the pill. Lan Feng said deferentially. Eternal Splendor Palaces Underground, the location of the Six Extreme Seals. Grand Array, also the place where the passageway between the Endless World and Fierce Gale World lied. Lan Feng, who was covered in injuries, walked in, detaining Yi Yuan, whose essence energy was sealed. The Fierce Gale World already deployed a large number of troops underground, but they were all Crystal Formation Realm martial artists. It was just two to three days since the passageway was opened up. Large. Numbers of experts were still currently en route rushing over. Lord Lan Feng. When the guard saw Lan Feng, he bowed and said respectfully. Lan Feng nodded and said, The person that Big Brother Lan Bao made me capture is already caught. This prisoner is highly important. I have to escort him personally back to the tribe. Yes. This way please, Lord Lan Feng. The guard did not dare to obstruct and directly let him through. Lan Feng's status was the highest in this place. They naturally did not dare to say anything else. Furthermore, the matter of Lan Feng staying behind to capture someone was known by all these guards. 
Lan Bao and the rest already returned to the Fierce Gale world to arrange for the matters concerning the invasion of the Endless World. After all, compared to Yi Yuan alone, the War of Two Worlds was the major event. But Lan Bao should have already received Lan Feng's summons at this time and was currently hastening over. Yi Yuan glared at Lan Feng fiercely but refused to enter the passageway. What are you looking at? Move quickly. Lan Feng Sovet. Just kill me if you have the capabilities. Yi Yuan said wrathfully. Hee hee, you still have great use. How can I let you die so easily? Moreover, in order to catch you, I suffered heavy injuries. We have to settle this score. Properly later, Lan Feng said with a cold sneer. The pair carried out a conversation, putting up enough of a show. Finally, being shoved by Lan Feng, Yi Yuan entered the passageway. Lan Feng also followed in after. No way, right? That young man was only at the first level crystal formation. Realm. He actually beat Lord Lan Feng to that extent. This combat strength is also too terrifying, yeah. After the two people left, a guard exclaimed in. Surprise. What do you know? I heard previously that the Endless World martial artist that failed to be captured was only at the eighth level spirit condensation. Realm. It's definitely this punk. Just a few days of not seeing him, he actually broke through directly to the crystal formation realm. If not because, once he entered the fierce gale world, Yi Yuan felt the storm winds howl towards him like blades, slicing until his face hurt. Lan Feng noticed Yi Yuan's discomfort and inquired, Is master not used to this gale? Yi Yuan waved his hand and released his aura slightly. Those storm winds actually swept past his side automatically like he was filtered out. The might of this gale was roughly the same as the Nine Heavens Road. With Yi Yuan's understanding of the concept of wind, these storm winds naturally could not hurt him. Lan Feng's expression flickered. To think that master's attainments in the concept of wind are so high, our fierce gale world's natives come into contact with this gale ever since birth. But scarcely anyone can reach master's boundary. This hurricane is not strong. I can still handle it. If my conjectures are right, the fierce gale world's tempest should exceed this, right? Ye Yuan waved his hand and said. Lan Feng nodded and said, That's right. The fierce gale world storms are the weakest in the central capital. The intensity of the gales radiates outwards with the central capital as the center. Places that are closer to the central capital have weaker storms, while places further from the central capital have more powerful hurricanes. Yi Yuan nodded and said, So, that's the case. Then how strong is the place? With the strongest gales. Lan Feng said, The fierce gale world is divided into nine regions according to the strength of the storms. Level 1 is the weakest and level 9 the strongest. The gales in the level 9 region is exceptionally terrifying. Even Lord Wind Emperor also don't dare to set foot in that region. When he mentioned this level 9 region, Lan Feng's face carried thick apprehension. Evidently, it was an extremely terrifying place. Yi Yuan could not help asking interestedly, With your strength, what is the deepest region you can reach? Lan Feng said, This old slave's strength is meager. I can only move about at most in the level 5 region. Any deeper in and I'll be powerless. Oh? With your sea transformation realm strength you can actually only reach the level 5 region. Looks like the fierce gale world storms are indeed very powerful. Then what level is this region we're currently at now? The vast majority of the people all live in the level 3 region. Any further out and ordinary people will not be able to penetrate within. Only martial artists with formidable strength can do it. Hence the struggle for land inside the level 3 region is very intense. Tribes will frequently slaughter each other because of land. The place we're at right now is the location between the borders of the level 3 and level 4 regions. Yuan asked puzzledly, just the members of your tribe that I've seen were for sea transformation realm experts already. You're actually only able to 
stay in such a remote area. Replying Master, our Lan family is not an ordinary tribe but a branch of the Tempest Guards under the Wind Emperor's command. For thousand years ago, the Old Wind Emperor brought the Tempest Guards and planned on personally storming the Endless World. But the Grand Yen True Sect sealed the passageway between the two worlds using the Six Extreme Seals Grand Array. Hence, the Old Wind. Emperor left us Lan family clan behind here to guard the land of the seal. Yi Yuan came to a realization. No wonder you guys arrived so quickly. It was actually this reason. All right, this matter brooks no delay. Let's hurry to your tribe. If we waited until Lan Bao discovers a problem, it would make it a lot more troublesome for nothing. Yes, master. Around an hour later, Lan Bao brought Lan Hu back to the passageway area. The two of them strolled leisurely around the second level but did not see a shadow. An ominous premonition involuntarily welled up in their hearts. Did you all see Lan Feng? Lan Bao came back and asked the guards. That guard thought that Lan Bao came back for some other matter. He only knew that it was for Lan Feng when he heard it at this time. He hurriedly said, Replying your excellency, Lord Lan Feng already returned to the Fierce Gale, world around an hour ago. Lan Bao was secretly alarmed and asked, Um, why did he go back? That guard was also baffled. Logically speaking, Lord Lan Feng and Lord Lan Bao should have met. Could it be they took different paths? The guard also felt that something was not quite right. Hence, he recounted, the event of Lan Feng passing through the entrance from the very beginning to the end exactly as it was. Lan Bao's face involuntarily changed drastically when he heard that. Sending. That guard flying far away with a slap. He roared. You moron. When that brat. Was at the spirit condensation realm. The four of us couldn't even take him. Down combined. Now that he broke through to the crystal formation realm. How. Can Lan Feng possibly capture him alive alone? Lan Bao did not deal a lethal blow. That guard spat out blood as he begged for. Mercy. Have mercy, your excellency. Have mercy, your excellency. Humph. I'll find you to settle the scores later. Lan Hu. Let's chase after. Finish talking. Lan Bao led the charge into the fierce gale world. Lan Hu. Followed after. The group of guards was as silent as cicadas in cold weather. Nobody dared to. Make a sound. They all could not figure things out. Lord Lan Feng clearly detained that. Endless world boy. What problem would there be? Fierce Gale World. On the way to the Lan family tribe, Lan Bao said in a low voice, How do you see it, Lan Hu? Do you think that? There's a possibility of Lan Feng. Turning traitor. Lan Hu shook his head and said, Lan Feng grew up together with me. Understand his character the best. His loyalty towards the tribe may be even. We can't compare. Furthermore, he has no reason whatsoever to defect. But, why did he help that brat enter the Fierce Gale world? Is it possible that he really defeated that boy? The more Lan Bao thought, the more perplexed he got. His understanding of Yi Yuan merely stopped at the sword puppets. As for his combat strength, he was utterly ignorant. But even if that boy broke through to the crystal formation realm, even if Yi Yuan used the sword puppets, it was also impossible to take Lan Feng down in such a short amount of time, right? What happened in between all this? Lan Bao and Lan who did not even think in the area of Slave Seal. Because in their viewpoint, this was something that could not possibly occur. Saying anything is pointless. We'll know what happened after we return to the tribe, Lan Hu said. Lan Bao nodded and said unwillingly, We'll have to leave it at that. The Lan family tribe was located at the borders between the level 3 gale region and the level 4 gale region. The environment was rather harsh. Yellow sand pervaded this area. The gale winds were piercingly cold. People who had slightly weaker strength would be slashed by the storm winds. Immediately, not far away from the tribe, two silhouettes appeared. They were precisely Yi, Yuan and Lan Feng. With what you said earlier, I reckon that Lan Bao and the rest still have it. 
most another hour before they are back. You only have an hour's time to bring them out. Bring this spatial artifact with you. Once you have the opportunity, fit them inside according to the mantra that I recited. I'll receive you outside. Ye Yuan instructed Lan Feng. Yes, master. Lan Feng said. Lan Feng already became Yi Yuan's slave. All of his actions were done. According to Yi Yuan's will, passing the spatial artifact to him naturally had nothing to be concerned of. Lan Feng's current identity was not being suspected yet. He just had to come up with a reason to return to the tribe and then bring Mei Zhan and the rest out and that would do. Making use of this time difference, Yi Yuan could deal a back thrust and charge back to the realm passageway again. Although a large group of Crystal Formation Realm martial artists was stationed over there with his strength plus Lan Feng and throw in his fellow. Apprentices breaking through would be a cinch. This was Yi Yuan's plan. And now, he had to see if Lan Feng could successfully bring out the tranquil. Cloud sect disciples. Roughly the lesser part of an hour later, Lan Feng's figure appeared in Yi. Yuan's sight. You didn't find them? Seeing Lan Feng's expression, Yi Yuan immediately felt a foreboding feeling. This. Master had better ask him. As he spoke, a figure appeared in front of Yi Yuan. Who could it be but Pang? Wanyan? It was just that his body was currently covered in wounds. His face was already swollen. Clearly, these few days had not been very pleasant. The second Pang Wanyan saw Yi Yuan, he felt a multitude of feelings surge up, and tears gushed out. But there was no longer much time for them to catch up. Yi Yuan said, Senior, apprentice brother Pang, keep things short. Lan Bao might have already returned to the Lan family tribe. We don't have much time. Where did Elder Mei and the rest of the apprentices go? Pang Wanyan was shocked and hurriedly said, Elder Mei and the rest were escorted to the central capital. The Lan family tribe members said that they were to be sold over there as slaves. Because I'm missing an arm, they felt that it's unsightly. That's why they left me in the tribe. Oh yeah, it's the Lan family tribe's patriarch who personally escorted them there. Ye Yuan's Brahms knitted. This surprise thoroughly disrupted his plan. Why were the Lan family tribe's actions so quick? They shouldn't know that. I'm coming to save them, right? Ye Yuan said bewilderedly. Nothing to do with master. It's Lord Patriarch's decision. The realm. Passageway is already linked together. He must report to Lord Wind Emperor at the first moment. Hence, he brought a portion of the tribe's experts and master's fellow apprentices and set off that very night to hasten to the central capital, Lan Feng explained. Patriarch. Yes, the patriarch is the strongest expert in the Lan family tribe. The one and only Soul Sea Realm powerhouse. Our Lan family's mission is to guard the passageway between two worlds. Therefore, he dared not dawdle and had to report to His Majesty, the Wind Emperor, as soon as possible about this matter. Yi Yuan felt a wave of helplessness. Truly, plans could not catch up changes. He thought that he could catch the Lan family tribe completely unawares and rescue his fellow apprentices away, who knew that something like this would actually happen. This way, his plan to catch them off guard completely fell through. Yuan let out a sigh and said, Can't stay here too long then, since Elder, May and the rest of the disciples have already been brought to the central. Capital, we still need to talk about this at length. Yuan's voice had yet to fade when a bugle call sounded from Lan family. Tribe a little way off. Not good. Lan Bao's movements are too fast. Looks like he already discovered that something's wrong with Lan Feng and is chasing over right now. Let's Leave quickly, Yi Yuan said. Lan Bao's strength was a great deal stronger than Lan Feng's. Even though Yi Yuan had broken through now, he still was not Lan Bao's match. Direct confrontation right now was not the move of a wise man. Not far away, sand clouds billowed. The Lan family tribe was actually marching. Straight for Yi Yuan. Wang Panyin was also very anxious when he saw the situation and said, Junior. Apprentice Brother Yi, what should we do now? Flee in the direction of the 
Central Capital? Yuan shook his head and said, No, we'll flee towards the level four gale. Region. Lan Feng, you and senior apprentice brother Pan enter the spatial. Artifact first. As he said, Yi Yuan transferred the pair into the spatial artifact. Tiptoeing. Spirit void shattering space was executed, and he transformed into a streak of blue smoke that dashed towards the outer gale regions. Fifteen minutes later, Lan Bao brought Lan Hu along with the rest and appeared at the place where Yi Yuan was at previously. Lan Bao spat viciously and said gloomily, Truly didn't think that Lan Feng really turned traitor. Why? Lan Hu remained silent. But another person beside Lan Bao said, Lan Bao, there's something I don't know if I should say. That person was called Lan Yu. He was also a fifth level C transformation. Rim Edput Lai Lang Bao. The patriarch brought along the experts in the tribe and left the Lan family. Tribe. He and Lan Bao became the ones with the greatest strength in the tribe. In? Lan Yu, what's there not to say between us brothers? Lan Yu nodded and said, When I saw Lan Feng earlier, I felt that something was amiss, but it was not obvious so I didn't pay much attention either. Looking at it now, he seems to have really. Lan Bao's face darkened slightly. Really what? He seems to be controlled by somebody. Thinking about it now, his eyes back then were rather slack without that energy before. Because he said that he was previously injured by that endless world brat, I didn't pay much attention to, Lan Yu said. Are you saying that he had a slave seal planted by someone? Lan Bao was shocked and enraged. Lan Yu nodded his head and said, Only that can explain why he would do such an abnormal action. Impossible. That brat just broke through to the crystal formation realm. How can he possibly plant a slave seal on Lan Feng? Lan Bao bèo lao ác lan yu. But the more he roared, the guilt-ridden he felt. Lan Bao, Lan Hu, Lan Feng, and Lan Yun were cousins who grew up together since. Young. Their relationship was very good. Now, hearing that Lan Feng actually had a slave seal planted by someone, how could he not be furious? Lan Yu did not speak. He knew that Lan Bao actually already believed it in his heart. Honestly speaking, he also did not think in this area when he saw Lan Feng. Although he heard Lan Bao say before that Yi Yuan was terribly cunning in Lan Yu's impression, Yi Yuan was merely just a spirit condensation realm marshal. Artist after all. How could he possibly plant a slave seal on a martial artist? Two major realms higher than him? That was too preposterous. But right now, this was the only explanation that worked. Bang! Lan Bao half kneeled on the ground and smashed a fist onto the ground. Yellow. Sand billowed up. Ye Yuan. If I catch you, I'll definitely peel off your skin and pull out your tendons. Lan Bao gnashed his teeth hatefully and said. Lan Yu patted Lan Bao's shoulder and said with a sigh. All right, now's not the time to be saying this. Lan Feng's aura vanished after he reached here. In my opinion, they are very likely to be carrying a spatial artifact on them. Asked the guards. When Lan Feng came out, he was alone. That one-armed slave is definitely hiding inside a spatial artifact. Evidently, this Lan Yu was able and shrewd. He was certainly an existence like an intelligent military advisor in the Lan family tribe. Otherwise, the Patriarch could not possibly have put his heart at ease by leaving the tribe. To him too. In comparison, while Lan Bao's combat strength was high, he was clearly slightly inferior in the wits aspect. Being spoken to like that by Lan Yu, Lan Bao was shocked awake abruptly. He hurriedly said, Right. The matter on hand right now is to capture that brat. I will definitely hack him into tiny pieces. He should already know that that Group of apprentices of his was already brought to the central capital. Bring men to chase after in that direction right away. As he spoke, Lan Bao was about to bring men and head in the direction of the central capital. Hold your horses, Lan Feng said. In? What? Lan Bao asked questioning. Lan Yu said, Although I've never met that Yi Yuan, but from what you said, this boy is bound to be crafty and resourceful. 
what we can think of, he can. Surely think of it too. If we head in the direction of the central capital, it might just be exactly what he wants. You mean, he's headed for the level 4 gale region? Lan Bao Sai? Puzzledly, Lan Yu nodded his head and said, I'm 80% sure. At this time, smart men won't. Go towards the direction of the central capital. That's no different from seeking their own doom. How about this? I'll go back and bring a fierce wind. Vulture over. But only you alone can pursue him. In the sky-filled yellow sand, a person and a vulture tore through the air as they traveled. Their speed was exceedingly fast. Fierce wind vultures were indigenous demonic beasts born in the fierce gale. World. Not only could they fly in the gale winds, but they were also tracking. Experts. Fierce wind vultures were very rare. There were only two fierce wind vultures. In the Lan family tribe as well, this was one of them. It circled twice around the place that Yi Yuan stopped at previously. Then it flew straight for the level 4 gale region. It was in perfect harmony with Lan Feng's guests without prior consultation. Lan Bao sat on the back of the fierce wind vulture, his two eyes looking around everywhere like a hawk wanting to find Yi Yuan's figure. He already chased Yi Yuan for three days and night but did not find any trails at all. But he knew that with the fierce wind vulture here, Yi Yuan could not escape. In these three days and nights, the fierce wind vulture was brought around in circles several times. It nearly found him quite a few times but missed it by a narrow chance. Clearly, Yi Yuan already realized that somebody was tracking him, but it was precisely so that Lan Bao's killing intent grew even stronger, because Yi Yuan's fleeing was highly targeted. They were all ways to easily lead the fierce wind vulture astray. Yi Yuan could not have possibly known these methods in advance. He could only have learned them from Lan Feng. This fellow really treated Lan Feng as a slave to order about. Punk, just you wait. As long as I find you, I'll make you unable to wish for, neither to live nor to die. I want to see just how long your essence energy can last. Or perhaps, you can try fleeing into the level 5 region. Lan Bao said with a cold sneer. Right at this moment, Lan Bao's face changed. Innumerable flower petals floated up into the skies from God knew when and and si cung lan bao layer bi layer. These flower petals actually did not scatter in the slightest within the level. For gale wind and swept towards Lan Bao. Seeing this scene, Lan Bao was not startled but became pleased instead. Heh, heh. Finally can't resist making a move? Looks like you've already reached your limits, eh? If you continue running, you most likely won't even have the strength to attack, right? However, Lan Bao's gaze grew intently as he said in a grave voice, A newly broken, through crystal formation realm boy is actually able to mobilize heaven and earth essence energy. It truly makes me rather surprised. Lang Feng should have fallen to this, right? One had to say that Lan Bao's combat talent was very strong. Just from this move, thousand flowing petals, he could determine the reason that Lan Feng lost. Trying to use this move to deal with me? E, you're still a little too inexperienced. Finish talking. Lan Bao's aura suddenly erupted. The powerful aura field actually swept away the flower petals that filled the skies. In a twinkle of an eye, Lan Bao already completed the mustering of heaven and earth essence energy, only to see him tiptoed lightly and his entire body soared high into the air flying off the fierce wind vulture. Flood dragon goes to sea. Lan bao rau fai so li. Smashing a fist out, a series of wind-tearing sounds. Sounded. Striking the sky-filled flower petals until they were pulverized. One punch from Lan Bao actually blasted apart the thousand flowing petals that Ye Yuan Kondan said. The might of one fist was overwhelmingly powerful. Still going to be a coward, Ye Yuan? Do you think that you can escape my five-finger mountain? Lan Bao gave a loud cry and exerted pressure on Yi. Yuan. Rumble. Another punch smashed out. The acres of flower petals were sent scattering. Ha ha ha. To be able to maneuver heaven and earth essence energy at the crystal. 
Formation realm, I admit that you're a one-of-a-kind genius that I've ever seen. But you must die today. Lan Bao roared loudly again as he punched. Out of first. Rumble. Another punch. Lan Feng is my brother that grew up together with me since young. You actually dare to plant a slave seal on him. I'll make you wish you were dead. Each time he punched out, Lan Bao would say a sentence. It was to incite Yi Yuan out and also in order to vent out the killing intent. In his heart. But right then, Lan Bao's expression changed drastically. The limitless flower petals actually abandoned him and engulfed towards that. Fierce wind vulture. Turned out that Yi Yuan's goal was not Lan Bao at all but the fierce wind. Vulture. Lad, you dare? Lan Bao was anxious and furious as he howled. Lan Bao's three punches earlier were extremely powerful. The fierce wind. Vulture was simply unable to withstand his attacks. That was why he flew off. The fierce wind vulture. But he did not expect to fall for Yi Yuan's ploy to lure the tiger away. Now, no matter how swift his movements were, he would not be able to catch up. Either. The limitless flower petals already wrapped around the fierce wind vulture. Even if his fist was stronger, how could it possibly blast away all the flower petals? But why would Yi Yuan bother with Lan Bao's feelings? His goal was that fierce wind vulture from the very beginning. The fierce wind vulture was only a tier 3 demonic beast. How could it be a match for the thousand flowing petals? Thousand flowing petals. Decapitate. Yi Yuan shot out abruptly from the yellow sand and howled fiercely. The boundless flower petals were like myriad tiny blades, slicing towards that fierce wind vulture. Screech! The fierce wind vulture cried out lightly and flapped its wings desperately, trying to chase away these flower petals. But sadly, these were not ordinary flower petals, but ones formed from heaven, an earth essence energy. Each petal was extremely mesmerizing but also dangerous. In the fierce gales, only to hear slicing sounds coming over. When the flower petals scattered, only feathers that filled the sky and the fierce wind vulture covered in bloodstains were left. The gale winds blew, and the bird feathers floated away with the wind, looking very spectacular. Immediately after, a splat was heard. The fierce wind vulture's corpse hit the ground. When Lan Bao saw this scene, his face had long become as black as the bottom of a pan. Each fierce wind vulture was unbelievably precious. Yi Yuan actually killed it. Off just like killing a chicken, Lan Bao stood in the air, looking like an enraged demon god. Do you think that you can escape by killing the fierce wind vulture? Lan Bao emphasized each word as he said to Yi Yuan. But Yi Yuan cracked a smile and said, Feel free to chase after and see. Finish talking. Yi Yuan kept his long sword and turned around to flee. Spirit Void Shattering Space's third layer was displayed in full force, vanishing instantly without a trace. When Lan Bao saw Yi Yuan's speed, he was secretly startled. He immediately did. Not dare to be careless and pursue him at top speed. This punk, is it possible that he relied on a pair of legs and circled around? With me for three days and night. Lan Bao thought of this possibility and was inwardly shocked. Although the fierce wind vulture was a tier 3 demonic beast, its flying speed in the gale winds was not slower than sea transformation realm martial artists. It was even faster than first level and second level sea transformation realm martial artists. But such a speed actually could not catch up to Yi Yuan's pair of legs. Just how fast was this punk speed? Lan Bao's speed was naturally needless to say. The third level sea Transformation realm Mei Zhen and Wu Zhao could not follow his speed. Could be seen how fast he was. Lan Bao saw that Yi Yuan's speed was astonishing and also did not dare to hold. Back at this time, he pursued Yi Yuan with his own maximum speed. The fierce wind vulture was already dead. If Lan Bao lost Yi Yuan, he probably could not find him again. While Yi Yuan's present speed was extremely astounding, the two peoples Distance was still shrinking continuously. Gradually, Lan Bao could already see Yi Yuan's back view. A hint of smirk involuntarily flashed past the corner of his mouth. 
Run then. Keep running. I'll see where you can run to, Lan Bao said with a hideous sneer. However, his smile instantly froze on his face. Not knowing how, he saw Yi Yuan pull apart the distance from him once more. With a swoosh, although Lan Bao was a close combat martial artist, his fist wind could attack. From a distance, as long as Yi Yuan entered his attack range, Lan Bao did not even need to catch up to him to be able to strike him down. But just as Yi Yuan barely entered his attack range, he actually increased his speed. This made Lan Bao so dejected that he could choke on it. This boy, just how many cards has he not played? How is it possible for a first-level crystal formation realm to have such swift speed? Lan Bao fell that it was beyond understanding. But this was a fact. He also had no choice even if he did not understand. Toward a character who was formerly an alchemy emperor, Lan Bao not. Comprehending the situation was not unexpected. Entering the mystic realm this time, Yi Yuan made ample preparations. Before setting off, he spent a full 500,000 points and used all of it to exchange for tier 3 medicinal herbs to refine medicinal pills. The three days and nights of pursuing previously Yi Yuan was igniting his essence energy the entire time to execute spirit void shattering space. The most adequate preparation that he made this trip was essence energy. Recovering medicinal pills. Just like that, he swallowed medicinal pills and ran until now. Relying on fierce wind vulture knowledge gleaned from Lan Feng, he forcefully spun around in circles with Lan Bao for three days and nights. But this was already the limit. The fierce wind vulture speed was too fast. Even if Yi Yuan's movement speed was heaven-defying, being able to sustain. Until now was already very extraordinary. Yi Yuan knew that he could not escape, so he laid in ambush and plotted to finish off the fierce wind vulture. But after eliminating the fierce wind vulture, Yi Yuan would have to directly Gon Fong Lan Bao. With his present strength, he was simply not Lan Bao's match. That fight earlier also clearly showed many problems. The thousand flowing. Petals that could overpower and finish off Lan Feng by surprise was in Fetfiti against Lan Bao. So he only had one way, run. Comparing movement techniques, Yi Yuan was even slightly inferior to the fierce wind vulture, let alone Lan Bao. Regardless of whether it was essence energy or comprehension towards the concept of wind, Yi Yuan could not match Lan Bao. But Yi Yuan had medicinal pills. Tier 3 Medicinal Pill, Haste Pill. This haste pill was very heaven-defying among Tier 3 Medicinal Pills. Could double a martial artist's speed by stimulating the meridians and acupoints in the martial artist's body. Only Yi Yuan could refine out such a perverse medicinal effect too. Swapping an alchemy grandmaster in, he could probably only refine high-grade haste. Pills at the very most, which only had a 50% speed increase. Of course, a 50% speed increase was already very heaven-defying in the general sense. Except that the haste pills that Yi Yuan refined were all superior grade. Medicinal pills. Essence energy ignition under the transmission concept, plus spirit void. Shattering space movement technique, plus superior grade haste pills made Yi. Yuan's speed directly multiply several times over compared to normal. He opened up the distance between Lan Bao all at once. Lan Bao currently had an impulse to vomit blood. He watched as Yi Yuan was about to enter his attack range, but was shaken off by him right away, and Lan Bao's movement technique was already raised to the fastest. Looking on, the distance between him and Yi Yuan was actually widening ever more. A fifth level C transformation realm going all out actually could not catch. Up to a first level crystal formation realm. No matter how one looked at this, Seen, it was somewhat comical. This brat definitely cast some kind of mystic art. He absolutely can't. Sustain it for long. I don't believe that you can keep on maintaining this. Speed. Lan Bao pondered to himself. However, the result disappointed Lan Bao greatly. Yi Yuan's pair of legs ran. Like they never knew fatigue. Half a day passed. Not only did Lan Bao fail to catch up to Yi Yuan, he opened up a huge distance instead. 
Lan Bao could not help becoming very anxious. If he lost his perception of Yi, Yuan under this situation without the fierce wind vulture, he simply could not track Yi Yuan. Damn it! What kind of evil art did this brat use? He's actually able to maintain this kind of speed for such a long time. No way I'll lose him if it continues like this. Go all out. I must kill this boy. Lan Bao made his resolution. Biting his own tongue, he swallowed a drop of vital blood essence into his abdomen. This damn brat, to actually cause me to burn my vital blood essence. When I catch you, I'll definitely make you regret ever being born into this world. Lan Bao gnashed his teeth in hatred and said, Martial artist's vital blood essence was extremely precious. Once it was lost, it would be exceedingly difficult to replenish. And once vital blood essence loss exceeded a certain amount, the martial artist even faced the risk of cultivation realm falling. With the vital blood essence reaching his abdomen, Lan Bao's speed immediately soared. Under a wild chase, he actually reduced the distance between him and Yi Yuan. Little by little. Moreover, Lan Bao discovered to his delight that Yi Yuan's speed was gradually becoming slower. With these changes, catching up to Yi Yuan seemed to be something inevitable. Brat, this time you finally can't endure anymore. Right? Haha. <laughs> D. Lan Bao secretly amassed strength and prepared to give Yi Yuan a fatal blow. But right at this moment, Yi Yuan's speed skyrocketed once again and actually recovered to the speed at the very start. The blood essence that Lan Bao immolated was in the midst of being slowly expended. His speed was also naturally becoming increasingly slower. The two people's speed, one in front, the other at the back, was practically about the same. But this time, Lan Bao finally saw clearly. Yi Yuan swallowed two medicinal pills consecutively just now. This unwittingly made him have an impulse of cursing his mother. What the hell? Medicinal pill did this brat eat? To actually have such a perverse effect. Just like that, Yi Yuan and Lan Bao, one behind the other, ran speedily within the desolate and uninhabited level 4 gale region. At times, Yi Yuan's speed was a little faster, throwing Lan Bao behind. Sometimes, Lan Bao's speed was slightly faster, nearly catching up to Yi Yuan. One time, Lan Bao nearly entered the attack range, alarming Yi Yuan until he broke into a cold sweat as well. Ever since that time, Yi Yuan no longer dared to wait until the medicinal effect subsided to consume the haste pill. As long as his speed fell slightly, he would swallow one right away. The pair, racing each other, sprinted frenziedly like this for another three days and three nights. The specifics of how far they ran, the two of them already utterly could not recall exactly, but they could feel the gale winds getting stronger and stronger. They were about to enter the level 5 gale region soon. The level 5 gale region was a forbidden area to crystal formation realm. Martial artists, even a sea transformation realm expert like Lan Bao did not dare to go too deep in as well. Once it exceeded the limits of his ability, Lan Bao only had the outcome of being dismembered by the wind blades too. Yi Yuan, ahead is the level 5 gale region. I'll see where you can still run to. You should also know that the level 5 gale region is a forbidden area for crystal formation realms. I advise you to allow yourself to be seized. Obediently without resisting. I'll make it painless for you. Lan Bao Yao. My asterisk SS. Do you think I'm stupid? I'd rather be blown to death by the storms. Then stop. Just give up on this. If you have the capabilities, then chase. After. I'll see how much blood essence you can burn. Yi Yuan's voice came over from a long distance away. In truth, by this time, Yi Yuan and Lan Bao were already approaching their limits. Even if Yi Yuan's medicinal pill was any more heaven-defying, it was also impossible to keep eating endlessly. Moreover, the haste pills in his hands were already pretty much depleted. This kind of day and night running, Yi Yuan ate no less than 20 haste pills. The burden on his body was already at its limits. Lan Bao's situation was not any better. He already burned almost 10% of his blood essence. 
this was already his limit. If he burnt any more, he would be at risk of his realm falling. Furthermore, running frenziedly like this, he already reached his limit too. Presently, their speed were greatly reduced significantly compared to before. The burden on their bodies was already at the limits. Now they were battling. Whose willpower was more tenacious? Whoever eased up, the other party would win. In comparison, Yi Yuan's difficulty was a little greater. Because adding in the three days and night from before, he already ran non- Stopped for six days and night. Consuming twenty haste pills in succession not only made his body reach its limits, but it also greatly reduced the effects of the medicinal pills. But no matter what, he could not let out this sigh of relief. Because the price was death. Boy, do you really not want to live anymore? Ahead lies the level five gale. Region, with your strength, going in means certain death. Lan Bao shouted. Again. Stop yammering. Chase after if you have the capabilities. If you don't have the abilities, then shut your mouth for this little lord. I won't stop. He. Yuan gritted his teeth and said. He Yuan also did not think that this Lan Bao was actually so stubborn to actually chase until now in one breath. He could only grit his teeth and keep him company to the very end too. But this time, Lan Bao did not hurl a torrent of abuse. After keeping silent, for a moment, he said again, Kid, I admit that you're a peerless talent. As long as you're willing to join our fierce gale world, I can let bygones be. Bygones. Furthermore, I'll recommend you to Lord Wind Emperor. With your talent, you might be taken in by Lord Wind Emperor as a disciple. At that time, you can enjoy limitless cultivation resources. Yi Yuan also mused for a moment over on his side. He opened his mouth to ask, Is what you said true? When Lan Bao sensed that there was hope, he could not help rejoicing in his heart. Of course it's true. You can mobilize heaven and earth essence energy. At the crystal formation realm. In the future, you'll definitely be a peerless. Powerhouse, why do you have to end yourself here? Lord Wind Emperor is a boundless realm powerhouse. With his grooming, you might even have a possibility of becoming the next generation Wind Emperor. That is a boundless realm powerhouse. In the lower realms, boundless realm, these two words represented showing disdain for the world. It signified elegance and talent. It symbolized loneliness at the pinnacle. Nobody could resist the temptation of boundless realm especially Yi Yuan who was currently in a desperate situation. The allure of boundless realm could unleash an even greater effect. It was just that Lan Bao simply did not know that boundless realm was roughly the same as a fart in Yi Yuan's eyes. If he disregarded the comprehension of concepts, Yi Yuan would not spend too much time even to cultivate to the divine king realm. Boundless realm was too easy in his eyes. Then, you swear a heavenly Tao oath. Only then will I believe you. He, Yuan hesitated slightly. Lan Bao was overjoyed when he heard that. But he said indifferently, That's not a problem. How about we stop first? Going forward is the level five gale. Region already. All right, I'll count to three. We stop together. Yi Yuan said. Fine. Lan Bao's glimmered with brilliant light. He did his best to restrain the killing intent in his heart while he actually revolved all the essence. Energy in his body on the sly and prepared to deal Yi Yuan a certain kill. Blow. One. Two. Yi Yuan's voice came over leisurely. Lan Bao already mustered up his fist. Momentum. He just had to wait for Yi Yuan to stop and he would immediately erupt and kill him. Three. But when he counted to three, Yi Yuan threw another two medicinal pills into his mouth. Not only did he not stop, but he also ran even faster. Lan Bao thought that Yi Yuan fell for it and had long charged up his fist. Might fully. Seeing this scene, Lan Bao's eyes went wide and he hurriedly dissipated the amassed essence energy by force. Even so, the powerful backlash still made Lan Bao suffer some internal injuries. For this purpose, Lan Bao's speed was affected too. The pair pulled apart the 
distance all at once again. This made Lan Bao so furious until his teeth made grinding sounds. This brat absolutely did it on purpose. You tricked me. Lan Bao roared angrily. Didn't you not stop as well? Why isn't it you who tricked me? You ate medicinal pills again. How about you stop first? I'll stop when you stop. How could Lan Bao dare to stop? This brat was full of tricks who simply could not be trusted. But they were about to enter the level 5 Gale region in a moment. In his present condition, entering the level 5 area was very dangerous. If Yi Yuan really paid no heed to his life and entered, then was he entering. Or not, Yi Yuan was currently sprinting frantically when all of a sudden, a gust of fierce wind blew over, choking him till he coughed and nearly overturned him. On the ground, SSS. This level 5 gale region storm winds are indeed not on the same level as before. Finally, Yi Yuan stepped into the level 5 gale region. According to what Lan Feng said, the level 4 gale region to the level 5 gale region was a watershed. The strength of the level 5 gale winds was several times stronger than previously. Even Sea Transformation Realm did not dare to rashly go deep. Inside too. The level 5 storm wind's wind blades were close to materializing. Martial. Artists being inside was as if they were placed in a boundless blade. Formation. Furthermore, the level 5 storm winds could even erode martial artists. Protective essence energy. If they stayed too long, they would undoubtedly die. Without a burial ground. With Lan Feng's strength, he only dared to stay for a day's time in the level. 5 Gale Region 2. Any longer and he would not be able to leave. Now that Yi Yuan experienced it for himself, it indeed had a feeling of repute. Was not as good as encounter. Yi Yuan's comprehension of the concept of wind was not low. But even so, he also felt like he bit off more than he could chew. But he could no longer turn back. He could only run deeper inside. Seeing Yi Yuan plunge headfirst into the level 5 gale region, Lan Bao's expression flickered. Hesitating slightly, he also gritted his teeth and charged in. With his present body condition, he could at most stay for a day inside the level 5 gale region. If he could not kill off Yi Yuan within a day, the outcome would be too dreadful to contemplate. Stepping into the level 5 gale region, Lan Bao could only cut off all means of retreat. But the moment he entered the level 5 gale region, Lan Bao was taken aback. Yi Yuan disappeared. Yi Yuan actually vanished from his perception. How was this possible? He and Yi Yuan entering the level 5 gale region was only the time. Difference between the front foot and the back foot. How could Yi Yuan possibly shake him off in such a short time? All of a sudden, a type of emotion called panic welled up from the bottom of Lan Bao's heart. Pursuing Yi Yuan these few days without rest and even losing nearly 10% of his Vital blood essence, it could really be said to be shedding one's heart blood. And now, he actually lost Yi Yuan. Lan Bao was like a gambler right now. During these few days and nights, he bet. His own fortune bit by bit. Now, he suddenly discovered that he lost it all. But did not gain anything. This sort of feeling was just like suddenly dropping into hell. That sort of hesitation and powerlessness made him feel terror from the bottom of his heart. Yi Yuan. Yi Yuan. Lan Bao roared in the fierce winds. But what answered him was only the whistling of the fierce gales. Lan Bao's eyes turned red at once. He gritted his teeth and said, I don't believe this. You, a first level crystal formation realm, can go up to the skies in this level five gale region. Even if I have to dig three feet underground today, I'll also dig you out. If you have the capabilities, don't get sliced into pieces by the gale winds. Lan Bao ran wildly as if he was crazy, wanting to find Yi Yuan's silhouette, but it was as if Yi Yuan disappeared into thin air. No matter how he let out, his sense there was nobody all around. Ark, Yi Yuan, get out here for me. Lan Bao howled like a wild beast. There was still nobody that answered him. It was as if he was the only person left in the entire world. Lan Bao gave up all hope. He racked his brains and also could not figure out how the hell Yi Yuan disappeared. 
Yi Yuan had clearly been inside his perception the entire time. Why did he vanish all of a sudden? N. From the corner of his eyes, Lan Bao seemed to have discovered something. Walking closer to take a look, he noticed that the ground was spotted with blood. Ha ha! Turns out that he overestimated his own strength and was blown away by. The gale winds really gave this father of yours a fright. But even if you're dismembered by the gale winds, I also want to see your corpse. The blood stains on the ground had yet to dry. Clearly it had just dripped. There were only Lan Bao and Yi Yuan, these two people. Who could the bloodstains be but Yi Yuan's? Seeing this pool of bloodstains, Lan Bao finally heaved a great sigh in. Relief. This situation reversed too quickly, making a sea transformation realm expert. Like Lan Bao feel very out of sorts. He was still waiting in hell earlier. Now he flew to heaven all at once. Looking around, Lan Bao finally found another area of bloodstains and could not help being ecstatic. He started following the direction of the bloodstains and chased over. Those bloodstains were indeed left by Yi Yuan. His body was covered all over, with wounds left by wind blades. His arms, legs, chest, back, and even his face had streaks of bloodstains. These were all wounds left by the wind blades. Yi Yuan's clothes were already fully soaked in fresh blood, looking horrifyingly ghastly, but Yi Yuan seemed to be completely oblivious to all this, like he could not feel pain. At this moment, Yi Yuan was not running on land but was swept up into the air. By the gale winds, Yi Yuan's body drifted far along with the fierce winds just like a piece of paper, seemingly as if he already lost control of his body and could only Submit to the whims of the wild storms. But looking over closely, Yi Yuan's body seemed to be swaying slightly with a rhythm. Although that extent was very tiny, small until it could be overlooked, he was indeed moving. If Lan Bao was present, he would surely jump out of his skin, because Yi Yuan already withdrew protective essence energy. He was currently completely unprotected taking off protective essence energy in the level 5. Gale region, this was no different from suicide. The all-pervasive wind blades would mince martial artists into meat paste. Anytime. Even for fierce gale world martial artists who lived each day in the gale. Winds, nobody dared to do so too. But not only did Yi Yuan did it, he even stubbornly survived until now. Although the wounds on his body looked very dreadful and shocking. It was beyond all doubt that he was still alive. Lan Feng chased the bloodstains all the way. The initial exhilaration became doubt. Then, it turned into a foreboding feeling. The deeper in, the more intense that ominous feeling got. Evidently, Yi Yuan did not die. If Yi Yuan really lost resistance, he would be diced into pieces by these materialized wind blades very soon and the blood stains on the ground were only some flecks and spots. It looked rather like it dripped from some minor wounds. And along the way as he tracked, he discovered that the blood stains on the ground were becoming lesser and lesser. When he had just started, there were blood stains the size of two palms on the ground. Later, it gradually became one palm size. Then, to the back there, were only blood stains the size of a chicken egg. What did this show? It showed that Yi Yuan's wounds were currently healing. Lan Bao sucked in a deep breath and forcefully mustered up essence energy to increase speed and hunt him down. He wanted to see just what deceitful trick Yi Yuan was deliberately doing. Half a day after entering the level 5 gale region, Lan Bao finally saw Yi Yuan who was drifting in the air. When Yi Yuan appeared in front of Lan Bao, words were really unable to describe the astonishment in his heart. The blood stains on Yi Yuan already dried up, but that miserable feel came from straight ahead. Except, Lan Bao could not become happy at all when he saw Yi Yuan's tragic appearance. Because that was not the main point. The main point was that Yi Yuan was actually comprehending the concept of wind. In the level 5 gale region, comprehending the concept of wind by itself was not something impressive. One could say that fierce gale world martial artists have been comprehending the 
concept of wind without a moment's pause since birth. But there had never been anyone who would use this sort of insane method to comprehend concepts, removing protective essence energy to let their bodies be fully exposed to the gale winds. Nobody dared to try this kind of suicidal cultivation method, ignoring that this was the level 5 gale region even at the level 4 or even the level 3 gale region there would not be people doing this sort of thing. But Yi Yuan did it just like that. Not only did he do it, he even survived proper and well until now. This was truly something beyond understanding. Without essence energy protecting the body, how did Yi Yuan avoid those? Countless streaks of concentrated wind blades? When Lan Bao saw Yi Yuan's movements clearly, his pupils involuntarily constricted, Yi Yuan's body was swaying about in an extremely tiny range. And each time he swayed, he could evade the wind blades skillfully. With Lan Bao's visual prowess, he actually could not see clearly just how Yi Yuan avoided it. But undoubtedly, the wind blades that were everywhere and that could only be withstood using protective essence energy in his eyes, Yi Yuan could avoid them niftily. Those wind blades could not harm Yi Yuan. Whoosh! A wind blade cut Yi Yuan's body. Yi Yuan furrowed his brows in pain. Several drops of fresh blood flowed down his body. Seeing this scene, Lan Bao's heart plummeted. He plainly saw earlier that when that wind blade arrived in front of Yi Yuan, Yi Yuan already had nowhere to evade. But the final outcome was that it just left a trivial wound on Yi Yuan's arm. And just in that instant earlier, there were no less than several hundred wind blades that attacked Yi Yuan. But only this one wind blade left a shallow wound on Yi Yuan's body. No way. I can't let him continue to comprehend. Take this chance to kill him. Lan Bao had an ominous feeling. He decided to make a move. The next instant, Lan Bao's sea transformation realm aura abruptly erupted, only to see his body transform into an afterimage, sweeping over towards Yi Yuan in midair. Tumultuous violent wave. Go die Yi Yuan. An extremely violent punch, formidable until it made people feel stifled. But Yi Yuan in midair seemed to still be immersed in the world of comprehending the concept of wind and was oblivious to Lan Bao's attack. Lan Bao's explosive power was extremely strong and his speed was also exceedingly quick. His figure crossed a distance of several hundred feet in a blink of an eye and arrived in front of Yi Yuan. Powerful essence energy undulations blasted away all those materialized wind blades, forming a vacuum zone without wind blades. One could imagine just how formidable the might of this fist from Lan Bao was. Right at this moment Yi Yuan who had his eyes shut the whole time suddenly snapped them open. Looking at Lan Bao the corner of his mouth showed a derisive smile. Lan Bao was shocked inwardly and immediately felt that things were not going. Well, indeed he only felt a blur before his eyes. Yi Yuan's figure vanished from sight. You came at such a perfect timing. I can test the wind flow true intent that I just comprehended. It was as if Yi Yuan's voice came from hell.